Beep boop. Hello. Let's see, let's turn that on, turn that on. Hello. That works. Indeed does. That works. Indeed does as well. Do, do, do. Okay, let's see. Does this work here? Here, indeed. Let's hear it. It does as well. Good. Good. Okay, so... First things first, welcome to the stream. Second thing second... Ugh. There we go. I gotta make a cup of coffee. Then we'll play. We are going to craft a bow today. Maybe even two. So get ready for that so that's definitely going to to happen today and i need to make a bit okay i i've had this whole time i missed the patch right interesting just disconnected let's see patch no, there's nothing else in regards to patches. That's completely fine. Okay, coffee time and uh, be back shortly. I really need an intro screen. I really need to take one of my old intro screens and make it into an intro screen or something. So, beer me. Hello! Hey, Mouse! Mr. Cherry streaming! Yay! 
I did write coffee though. Come on. Always at the start of my stream, I make coffee. Because I always forget to make coffee. How are you doing? <laughs> Whoop. There you go. Oh, okay. Coffee is definitely... That's my startup screen, okay? That's my startup screen. Okay, here's what we need to do. Oh, sweet. You killed me. Okay. Anyways, I need to sort through these corpses. Ah! That's what I need to do. Like, I need to sift through all... I need some help. Yeah, so you're you're still taking, taking a break. Network protocol error. The fuck? There we go. So you're still taking it easy from yesterday. That's completely fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay, what do I need? Uh, scarce, scarce, uh, scarce, lightning. No, I need gem. Oh, you are you kidding me, dude? No way. No way. No way. He doesn't have any gem scares. No. I know I have scares here. No, I don't have any gem scares. No. I need this one. See, that's for my fizz bow. That's for the next bow. No. Okay. Uh, mana modifiers. Chance, chance, chance. Chance. Oh my god, dude. These are all increased chance. No. Really? Oh no. Okay, so that's going to be... Oh, scarce. There we go, scarce. Oh my god, scarce. Mana scarce. I need one more. Come on. Please, just one more. Damn it. Damn it, I just have one mana scares. Oh, that sucks. Mana scares one. And now resistance. Resistance are going to be ass. Increased chance. Increased chance. I'm gonna cry. Hey, twice. Oh, scarce. Oh, lovely. Oh, I'm gonna cry, man. Resistance of scarce. Oh, no. Explicit. You. It's irrelevant. Um, explicit. Okay, so I have two resistance scares, right? One, two, and actually three. That's poggers for me. Okay, three scares. Oops. Three scares, which means I have five out of 16 scares resistance. No, I need more more scarce resistance. How much are they? I need 11 more 11 more of these. How much are these 10 chaos each? Oh, okay, well, we gotta do it anyways, so Gem I need to buy gem modifiers. Okay, let's go to the trade site Gem I need to buy two Let's see, do these guys for five want to sell? That's the first thing. No. These for ten. <laughs> DND mode enabled. 
Okay, these for 15. Not a single one again. I'm I'm about to just delete all the corpses, right? Like I'm just gonna vendor them. Like I don't give a shit. Now it's 17. And now it's 20. Go fuck yourselves, all of you combined. A big group hug of just jizz and Unpleasantries. Rate limit exceeded. Go fuck yourself as well! 20 chaos. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, I hate this. I fucking hate this, man. I hate this. Like, every time I have to do fucking trade in this game for shitty-ass small items, I hate it. I fucking despise it. I want to rip my head out the screen and bite these people. Six sockets for green, one red, one blue, but not linked. Uh, you can you can link them for very cheap twice. You can link them for like 40, 50 chaos uh, total. Yeah, like I'm just gonna start deleting corpses. I want to make a video. I want to make how this works, but I cannot recommend anyone to do this i simply cannot i fucking hate it every time they make something tradable they fuck it up why i don't even know why couldn't they stack why couldn't you sell them normally why do you have to do that one by one why do they have to take two inventory spaces why in a piece okay so what you need to do is you need to grab one of these scarabs. I mean, I don't mind them being two by two by one, right? Or one by two. Because that's like how a coffin looks, right? It's fine. It looks cool. It looks good. But what I have a problem with is this. Physical. These are all increased physical chance. Why can't they stack to 10? Why? Is there a reason for it? There isn't. So, like, whatever. Okay, anyways. Uh, you need Einhar Scarab. You need Scarab of Duplicating, and you need Bestiary Scarab of the Shadowed Crow. What that is going to give you is going to give you... Yeah, they should they should stack. But, okay, so what does this give you? This gives you a unique monster called the Black Morrigan, right? You duplicate it with this one, so it's fine. Uh, the Black Morrigan is... Okay, so it's 9 for a Divine, so it's like 16 Chaos for one, right? 16 Chaos for one. Then, you go into a map... You clean a map with, with these with these scarabs, okay? Once you clean the map with these scarabs, you will get a you will get a pattern in the beast theory that's going to use the hey sweetie that's going to use the black morrigan. So the black morrigan, right? And you're going to get two of these. What you are looking for is you are looking for a link. Modify an item to have maximum possible links. Now, you will get Black Morgan. Hey, Shizu. What you need is Krakic Sand Spitter. So, Krakic Sand Spitter is a beast that you buy on the market for... How much is it now? It's now 8 Chaos, right? So, you buy Krakic Sand Spitter. Once you buy the Krakic Sand Spitter and you have the Black Morgan, you go to the Beast Theory... Or Menagerie. Pardon, Menagerie. You go to the menagerie, you go to the altar, type in link to have maximum possible links, and then you type, you put in the item and you kill these. Keep in mind, don't use that on your current weapon, because <laughs> you have to kill the beasts, right? <laughs> so, yeah, keep keep that in mind. Don't do it on your current weapon, because you, you need a weapon, right? Uh, by the way, sweetie, no more corpses. I'm I'm sick of it. I'm I'm sick of people trading. Like I I'm I'm sick of people. Okay, so no more corpses, sweetie. I will delete uh, the rest of the corpses uh, that I don't use today. Hey, Pixel, I will I will literally delete them because they're worthless. You are selling the ones that are worth money that I need that I would have gladly bought from you, 
It's just all of these are everything else is worthless as shit. And I'm not going to to go and buy every corpse one by one by one by one by one by one by one from these assholes. I'm fucking sick of it. What happened? What do you mean what happened? Oh, People are idiots when it comes to trading. Absolute garbage of humans. At least that's cool. Holy shit, that's cool. Thank you. Go fuck yourself for 20 chaos. Oh. Um, scarab of duplicating. So, scarab of... Uh, Beastiary scarab? Beastiary scarab of duplicating? Beastiary scarab of the shadowed crow? Like... Dude, this is awful. Like, fuck this. Fuck making, fuck making these, these, these shitty things, right? Because I just simply hate it. No, you have a different problem with trading. I'm doing this for the sake of a video, and I'm only doing it for the sake of the video. I know that this is bad. The problem is, GGG is never doing anything to prevent any of this from happening, right? Like, they do not do anything that that prevents this from happening because you know trading must matter yes if i click a stupid direct whisper and a person does not sell an item that's like it's not even posted on the website it's like it doesn't even exist i don't give a shit uh how do you avoid being shocked yes you do it for boots you do chance to avoid being shocked you buy boots with chance to suppress spell damage and then you you craft them with uh, essence of torment Definitely guesses of torment. Yeah, no one's answering. Like it's literally no one's answering. And like you know how this would be, how this would be uh, simply done and and fixed, right? Make a fucking trader. <gasps> it's not a concept that's unfamiliar with us. Make a fucking trader. Make a trader. Do it. China has it. Make a trader. So we can trade for this shit. Oh no, but that's going to ruin the economy. Meanwhile, people have been printing mirrors the first seven days of the league and you didn't restart the economy again. Make a fucking trader. End of the story. It's not that hard. China has it. We can have it too. Set a daily limit on the trader. How many you can trade? Set a daily limit on how many items you can list. I don't give a shit. Just give us better trading. Because this is annoying me. Every league. And it's getting worse and worse and worse. Yes. It should be one click done item in your inventory. Yes, that's a trader. That's what China has. China has a literal vendor where you put things in, you list them for a price. And that's it. Correct, sweetie. Like, they're not stat... Like, it's just... Dude, and all of these corpses are worthless. All of these are worthless. Like... And ch selling for cards... Uh, you, can, you can change that, Shizu. Do you know how, how you can change that? When you want to sell an item, if it's, sell if it's selling for chisels, you mouse over online... And you mouse over Chaos Orb, right? So you mouse over on online, you mouse over Chaos Orb. And that's how you see for, for chisels. I've already ignored the 50 people for, for chisels. Here's the problem, okay? I've made the physical bow. I've, I've done the corpses, okay? I've done the corpses. Now I just need to do the corpses for elemental bow. Just because I want to record a video. And I want to showcase it to people how to do it. I know, sweetie. I would buy those corpses from you. Like, I don't care. I need these. I need resistance and I need mana. Scares. I just cannot buy them. I can, but it goes like mad. It's like, dudes, what is the point of the fucking trading system if trading system doesn't work? You have people who sell items for... Where's the resistance? You have people who sell items for 4, 5, 8, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. But nobody is selling the items. 41 minutes ago, an hour ago, 41 minutes ago. 
8 minutes ago, 14 hours ago, 34 minutes ago, an hour ago. I don't want to use randomized corpses, Shizu. I'm crafting specific thing. Uh, you don't have to buy the scarabs. We can do the map together if you want. Let's do the map together. I'm fine. Yeah, but that's crafting is randomized. Those are worthless. I want to do a specific craft. Spam until one's answering. Yeah, true. Like, I want to do a specific craft. That's the problem. Okay, this is the strat that I'm doing. Yeah, but you can't dig them out. You have to, like, fish them specifically. You have to do this. You have to do that. Why Why make something something that's, like, so bad? It's insane. Uh, twice uh, Whisper Me in-game. You can probably do these modifiers. Um... But yeah, you, you need specific corpses. That's the worst part. You need specific freaking corpses. Yes, I know you can try to fish them out and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. I would rather these don't exist and every everything is random. I like either everything is deterministic or everything is random. I don't like half-half, right? Like, I really don't like half-half. I'm sick of this. I like the mechanic is amazing in maps. The mechanic is great. But when it comes to Necropolis crafting, it sucks your soul out. Literally. You take your soul, it sucks it through the thinnest of straws. Or pardon, the thickest of straws because it goes so slow. And then, you know. Yeah, but that's going to that's going to take a lot more time than actually going through the tedious process of trading, right? If I was doing that in SSF, sure, fine, whatever. But I'm doing this in the fucking trade league. That's what I have the problem with. And if you want to sell a quad tab of corpses, that's not going to work, right? So I need 11 resistance modifiers and one mana modifier. Scarce. Like, one mana scarce is what I need. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, somebody actually invited me. No. Bestiary Scarab of the Shadowed Crow. Bestiary Scarab of the Shadowed Crow. Yeah, yeah, but even to set it up, there's um, there's a proper way how to do it, Shizu. So, like, setting up, you have to do them in specific places, right? Because that gives you the best chance at obtaining the thing. Okay, mana, two out of two. Okay, I just need 11 resistance modified. Whew. Uh, IGN. I am, I am so frustrated, man. I didn't even start the stream and I'm already frustrated. <laughs> I'm like, I hate how good the mechanic is, but how bad and tedious it is. Shizu, that takes more time, money, and effort. Like, that takes a lot more time and investment. We are telling you the same thing again. Like, we are, we are actually telling you the same thing. It takes more time, money, and investment. That's basically it. It's, it's just tedious as shit. Yeah, I'm wasting time anyway, but I would waste 3x the time.
Like, I would waste 3x the time if I did it. Oh no, P please, please, please follow one wall. Please follow one wall, don't... Go on your own. These are my maps. You gotta... Oh, if I kill them, then... Don't go your way, I can clear the map. Don't try to clear the map. I do not need help, you are the one who needs help, okay? There we go. You just have to be close enough for the thing to, to count. That's it. So once when you guys are in my maps, it can become wild. So, one side, follow the wall, and let's go. My my maps do be do be kind of crazy, right? Just try to stay safe. Attack to stay safe, but my maps are a bit crazy, right? This is a fine capture. How? Where? I'll just clean the, the regular thing. Like, do you have a resistance problem or, or what? Purple flower. Lower. Yeah, sad. Okay, that's sad. Okay, good. But that was sad. That was really sad. Purple flowers, we hate those, right? Okay, so here's supposed to be the Black Moor again. Oh, Morg's almost full. Are you joking? I need to swap the support to Trinity. I forgot. Oh no, actually no, I don't want to swap to Trinity because I want my hits to... Okay, so that's his stuff. That's not my stuff, that's cool. Okay, I'll do the, the rest there, whatever. Let's just uh, finish the the beasts. My mana is gone. Okay, come, 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 come. Whoa. Well, so that's Black Morrigan. Oh, containment. Let's go, dude. Okay. So, I don't know if you got the beast. There, There is a 50-50 chance that you get the beast, right? But now that I got the beast... What do I have? Two spectrum setups. One is barrage. One is... Um, one is... What's it called? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, uh, I'll just I'll just finish the map. You can you can leave the map. There is nothing else uh, for you here. Um, go to your beast theory and tell me, do you have the um, Black Morgan? Did you get Black Morgan? So I have. Let's see. What is this? Yeah, that's the cheap one. Um, so I have. In order to me, that there is more rare plots than more slots. I mean, it's it's not weird. They just wanted people to use them, right? That's the that's the problem. So the reason why I have them is uh, why I have two setups. Is one setup is for barrage, right? And one setup is AOE setup. Your bog standard regular AOE setup. Now, with my um, regular setup, AOE setup, I can apply ailments. However, with my barrage setup, I cannot apply ailments, but if ailments are already applied, 
I can um, I can use that, right? Because it gets um, more damage based on the amount of ailments. So that's that's what happened, right? That's what happens here. So then, basically, what do I do? Is I attack once with my AOE, I apply the ailments, and then I attack with my barrage. Now, why do I have elemental focus? Elemental focus. It's more elemental damage, cannot inflict ailments, right? And it will give me plus one to level. You can do that or you can do Trinity. However, this one is kind of better. Your search is not saying you got it. Okay, that's that's fine. It has a 50-50 to, to appear, right? That's that's fine. I'll I'll sync slick your weapon, though, don't worry. Let me just finish the map. Now, when I attack with my weapon that cannot deal elemental ailments with my barrage setup, right? Um, because I have the 25% chance to count for, like, um, hits to count as elemental inverted. Like, um, hits have 25% chance to treat an enemy monster elemental resistance as inverted. If I am doing Trinity, Trinity lowers the enemy resistance if I use it with a skill, right? And I want their resistance to be as high as possible... So then it gets inverted to as low as possible, right? So that's why you do it. That's why I do do have uh, that one. I was thinking about going for um, Trinity. But then I decided if I can apply all the ailments anyways, right? And this gets per hit ailments, like whatever. Just to abuse the system. See? Wow. So you're using you're using your AOE to lower their uh, to apply ailments, not to lower their anything. Like, um, Skitterbots give you two ailments anyways. Like they give you uh, shocked and chilled. That's what they give you, shocked and chilled. Um, but your main skill gives you um, you cannot ignite. So your main skill gives you a brittle scorch and sap. And that's five. So that's five. Now, elemental hit of the spectrum, same as elemental hit, gains more damage the more ailments you have on an... Okay. That hasn't happened in a while. The fuck? I don't even know what killed me. Just died. There we go. It was just one off, I suppose. Where are you? That was, that was just one off. That's so bad. It was one off. Okay, uh, research. And there we go. That was weird. That was weird. Okay. Um. Anyways. Yeah, it's just to cheese more single target DPS. And here is Mr. Bomb. Yeah, yeah, it's just like... That, that's what happened, right? Okay, so now, um, let's see here. So we go to the menagerie, right? I mean, you don't have to go. You don't have to go. Like I can show you. Give me, give me your weapon, by the way. Twice. Let me, let me six link your weapon. Okay. So we take your weapon. Oh, you, you gave me sockets. Never mind. Okay, so I go to Menagerie. And this is what you do. Right? You you need to apply your beast. The the Krakic Vessel. Uh, sand Spitter, pardon. Krakic Sand Spitter. Then you go here. Put it here. Type in Link. And to have maximum possible links, right? Six sockets. Maximum possible links. Six. And then you kill these beasts. When once they're dead, you have a six link. There you go. And that's a six link. That's how you do a six link. You're welcome. And now you know. 
five. Uh, okay, I need to remove these. I need to add this, 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 and this. I need to buy scarabs. That's fine. Okay, so let's finish the corpses. I want to make. I want to make and finish with this. I don't want to touch corpses. I don't care about corpses. They can all burn in hell. I don't give a shit about them. I just want to make my shit and then probably like never use them again, right? Like it's it's where oh wait chance to additional item Ah oh, that one is the expensive one Yeah that one is the 300 chaos one okay cool Cool Fracture is whatever Okay, now, let's finish with the Agony. Hey, no worries. That's why, that's why I'm here. And now you're going to suffer with me. Ha, ha, ha. Modifier chance. Five sixteen. One for ten. Let's go. For the love of God, please. For the love of God. This guy has fourteen. He has one for five. He has one for five. Go suck on a Don't worry, Shizu. There's nothing to apologize for. I know you, so that you're fine. There's literally nothing to apologize for. You just need to... When you notice you are having an issue, just stop, reset. That's it. Stop, reset. I know you are, you're like capable of doing things. You just need to believe in yourself, right? I know that's hard, but sometimes you just have to force yourself. I'm sick of this. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Let's see. Why were there two live announcements on my stream? Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, anyways, uh, TFT. Or actually, no. Let's go to official path of exile trading, okay? They have entire tabs. This guy's selling scarabs. That's the problem. You need to like you need to do whatever mouse mousey. I'm gonna call um, I'm gonna call her mousey because of double E's. Mousey told you. I hope you're fine with that, mousey. Or mouse. Like I, I hope you're fine with me calling you mousey. Because I find that cute. Um So whatever mouse told you to do last night. That's what you need to do. Hey, Jonathan. Welcome to welcome to the YouTube stream. Let's see. Good. Uh, no problem. Link me your POB. Or profile. Um, I'll actually... Can you link...
There we go. Yeah, yeah. I, I like mouse ee -E, like mousey. That's that's cute. Um, okay, I wanted to buy corpses. Oh shit! Nice pokers. Three hundred kills. Let's go. TLDR, she told you to play something you enjoy, not something that's going to make uh, things efficient. That's it. And don't worry about... Uh... Thank you. That's good. Uh, and don't worry about uh, earning currency, playing and whatnot. Just, just literally play what you enjoy and don't give a shit about anything else. That's the TLDR, okay? By the way, I fixed my headset. Hey, I sued it in. But I still have to spend 30 euros to, to buy uh, uh, to buy new muffs. Yeah, that's the problem with, uh, with it, sweetie. I don't know what I enjoy. Well, then find something. That's insane. Um... <laughs> I love how standard just has one thing. Like, oh, that's opt in. Ah. Okay, that's good. Like, this is insane. Like, this is insane, dude. There's none here. Okay, what have I got? The Forbidden Trove, we go. Bulk Coffin, want to buy, not want to buy. Bulk Coffin, want to sell. Increased, scarce, resistant, 8 for 60. Resistant, scarce is 60 chaos each. Resistance scarce is 60 chaos each. What are you smoking? What are you smoking? 15 C each, but that's increased. 70 C each. What are you smoking, dude? Oh my god. I fucking hate this game. I fucking hate this. I fucking hate this, man. I just need to craft one fucking bow. I need 11 resistance mods. Yeah, they're, they're smoking some wild chaos crack. Okay. Chaos orb equivalent 12. Let's skip all the, all the assholes. Thank you. 13. This is pain. This is going to be reflected in the in the video that I'm going to make, right? Like this is this is absolute pain. No sugar, no calories. There you go. Arcos, Shadow, Juno. Trade. 15. Thank you. I have to buy so many, man. That's a nice uh, celestial hideout. That's a very nice celestial hideout. That's a very nice celestial hideout. This is an awesome hideout. Yeah. 
Yeah, GGG really needs like to 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 do a thing or two like. Like serious, they really need to do a thing or two. No, like here's here's like here's here's the main main thing that I have a problem with. How many people am I whispering? Good Shizu, good. Like how many people am I whispering to sell stuff? Here's the thing: a trader would make every price higher in the market for a while right for a, certainly for a whole league so a trader will 100 percent make everything more expensive for an entirety of a league like for an entirety of the league the prices are going to be what 30% more expensive, maybe 50% more expensive, right? The problem is... I don't see the problem. <laughs> That's the thing. That's it, sweetie. I don't see the fucking problem. Like, that... that, that. It's like, but you know, people who, who trade uh, so many items a day, blah, 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 they, they will limit the amount of items you can trade daily. Kaboom. It's done. Like, instead of being able to trade unlimited amount of items daily, make it like 100 items an hour. I love how a random 30 is there, right? A random 30 is there. Yeah, it'll also take 30% cost over whispering people. I agree, right? Like, it's, it's, simply, it's simply a thing that is going to be like... I mean... Thinking about it, it's it's like what I'm doing is annoying. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I need two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Come on, two more, man. By the way, I'll, I will turn off the music once we get to the graveyard so that we can we can do things properly, right? So I'll turn I'll turn off the the music because I want to I want to record the footages. I will never do the the graveyard again, just so you know. I will absolutely never do the graveyard again. I'm sorry. It's 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 a uh, I'm not going through this again. Yes, I got the spreadsheet too. In-game system like an auction house like WoW has would be genius, right?
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. 1660 resistance. I don't care about the outcome, sweetie. I sincerely don't care about the outcome. Jonathan still didn't didn't link me his profile. Um or told me the name of the profile. Like uh, This is like I don't I honestly do not care about the outcome. The reason why I don't care about the outcome is I already have everything of mine, right? Like, I sincerely do not care about the outcome of uh, whatever is going to happen with the corpses. No, I'll just say. He is right. Um, like your average person. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Your average person is never going to do this, right? Your average person is just going to, oh, look, I have uh, full corpses. Let's let's put them in the graveyard. Let's see what's going to happen. That's your average person. Okay, so let's get the spreadsheets going. Am I doing am I doing the the bleed bow or am I doing the proper bow with crit chance and crit multi? What is the difference? Oh, please be a sale, please be a sale. It's not a sale. Drift from reality. Oh, is it? No, it's not Drift from reality. Oops. He said ninth page. Uh... Okay, so it's one of these. I know it's one of these. To find quite you know, this this. Yeah, it's like it, it's 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 extremely tedious to even even find. Ah, uh, lost cove. Ah, uh, that's what I have. Yeah. Okay. So at least now I know where to where to look for. What do I think? 
Let's see. Uh, fire, crit attack, project speed. That's the same that I have. That's literally the same that I have. I mean, there, there's nothing to think that's the same that I have. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Brother? <laughs> that's the same that I have. Like... It's absolutely the same. Attack speed, attack speed, crit chance, crit chance, project speed, project speed. There you go. Um, okay, so we have, uh, oh no, wait, I don't need this, no, 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 I made a mistake, uh, not crit multi, damage over time multiplier, crit chance, attack speed, no, not crit chance, but, Bleeding, there we go. Bleeding, attack speed, bleeding, damage over time, multi. I am, I'm losing my mind. I'm sorry. I'm literally losing my mind. It, it could be that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, can you synthesize a bow like this? Synthesize an item. Cannot be used on unique influence synthesized or fractured items. Does this work on this shit, right? Stun mod on my bow. Yeah, I mean, an all. So can I use this, right? I could. Ape 6. Hey, <laughs> hamster. Maybe one day, maybe. This is mine. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I just need... I just need 5k juice. I just need juice. I just need juice. That's that's fine. We'll We'll get... We'll get to there. Okay, so we have this. Okay, we have 29 physical. How are you doing, hamster? 29 physical sorted. Attribute 1 scarce sorted. Chaos scarce sorted. Crit scarce. Yeah, I have crit scarce, right? Uh huh, hog. Want to change the stun mode to crit multi or proj speed? Is that possible? Um, it is. Prefixes cannot be changed, and then you. Um, so what you do is you put it. You put it in a crafting bench. You go prefixes cannot be changed. So that's two divines, <laughs> two drugs. You're not doing drugs. So prefixes cannot be changed, and then you go to horty crafting station, and then. Uh, you do um, speed, reforge rare item with random modifier speed. I do not recommend that. That's that's like whatever. How how much is this, sweetie? I need the crystallize thing. How did you get scammed in SSF? Okay, so chaos scares, chaos scares. LS scares, gem mod scares, life scares, mana scares. I don't have speed scares. Why don't I have speed scare? What did I do? What did I do? I, I'm just like, my brain is fried. Craft three helmets, one to fracture hypothermia, go triple elder influence. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good luck, my friend. Okay, let's let's do the synth then. I mean, this is my this is my main content hamster. So, like, sorry, it is what it is. It's my main content, but math math is uh, awful. Yeah. I just like the, I I had a brain brain aneurysm from from trading so Oh, I cannot 
feature I've done. Okay. Let's see. So wait, you can synthesize and then you can, you can add quality, yeah. Well, here we go again. Synthesize. I jumped today and lost it. Search for to the Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Mousy. I agree. Okay. Time to synth. Okay, synth in three, two, one. Boom. Why didn't it show what it was? Intimidate! Intelligence! That's good! That's good! Hey, intimidate, dude! That's good! That's actually good! That's actually good! Yeah! <laughs> That's nice! That's actually freaking nice! Hell yeah! Okay, 7-Eleven, right? 7-Eleven, there we go. Two mods means you can reroll. What? Synth? Uh. You still have Sacred Blossom. That's fine. I can buy. I can buy that Blossom off of you. But how can I reroll if two mods? Um. Cannot be used on unique influence synthesizer. Ah, beastery. Beastery. Pardon. Uh, Reroll a synthesis implicit. I see, I see. Amper. Imagine rolling. Yeah, good RNG. Uh, roll on only magic. So you can roll only magic. Okay. Um, wait, where are you? Uh, how much is 04? 04, 04 is 60C. There you go. Okay, let's kill Oshabi. There you go. That's actually cool, dude. 7% chance to intimidate is, is good. Also, intelligence is what I need, so that's fine. I still need to quality it, though, but that's fine. Okay, let's see. Why fight progress? Second Divine Spear drop, poggers. There you go. Why fight progress? I do. I fucking hate this. It's every time the problem with this same shit. Can't click on the tree, have to click on the thing. First daughter of Rayclast. Yes, indeed. Where did she go? She went that away. Progress. Tuk, 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 tuk. Be one with the grove. Where is she going? She is going to the tree, and now she is going here. Nice. There we go. Zing. That doesn't count as a zing, by the way. This doesn't count as a zing. The reason why that doesn't count as a zing is because it's the same price as... Uh, as killing Oshabi. However! Hey, Max Dot. How much damage do you have? I have no idea. I have some damage. Next boss fight. However! Gamba. Gamba Shaco. Wisdom in Ice Bite. Come on, click. Life Bleach burning damage. Pfft, that's shit. <laughs> Life Bleach burning damage. Do I divine it? Do I divine it once? Uh, duplicate bosses with Soul Eater. Yeah. Oh, Yop, I owe you a map, right? I owe you a map. I owe you a map. Let me show you a map, okay? I owe you a map. Okay. 
Are you guys ready for a map? Not heist. Rich. Um, uh, breach, searing, scarab, breach. Uh. Um, because Dying Sun is too expensive and I don't want to buy it. <laughs> There's no need to, to use Dying Sun. I'm gonna spend a divine on it. Okay, I owe you a map. Yup, ready? Two, four, six. Embers. Uh, tool. Two, four, five. Zoff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is low. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready? Look for a build again. I mean, that's fine. This is roughly 40 chaos investment in a map, or a little bit less, depending on how much you paid for embers. Oh, fucking Delirium, man. Fuck you, Delirium. Okay, okay, Delirium next! Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, shit, fuck. That I did not expect. Come on, enter the map. Now I'm gonna lose like two breach lords, yeah, because of intervention. Oh well, I died. It's intervention, it is what it is. Okay, next! Close two breach, guys. Oh wait, is this like lower shit? It probably is, right? Okay, next. And I loot at the end, like there's... Yeah, this is lower, that's why I don't have dashes. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Think. <laughs> Too much gamba. I mean, this is what you can do like on, a, on an archer type of build, right? The problem is the intervention. Intervention gets iffy, right? Ooh, the big fire. Okay. Yeah, that's the big, big ritual. Okay, we do this. And I honestly don't know my damage right now, right? But of course, it's all irrelevant because um, the moment you put in um, a headhunter, which is the next uh, part of this build, that's when it becomes like even more insane. However, I do have a lot of defense layers, so, well, a lot of. Spell suppression being one, the evasion being two, no ailments being three. Oh, double bosses, Pogger, double Chayula, let's go, dude. No Zing yet. Ha, huh, why, man? Why not Chayula Zing? Where's Zeshtula, dude? Where's Zeshtula? Why no Zeshtula? But yeah, welcome to my map. Do you want me to press Alt? 
Yeah, this is this this build is like 30 so far invested in it. Zashtula? Boss? No. Did I hear somebody somebody saying something about uh, pressing alt? <laughs> Did I hear somebody saying something about pressing alt as a button? <laughs> am I am I hearing some alt gamers? <laughs> am I hearing some alt gamers? <laughs> Any alt gamers here? <laughs> alt, four monsters remaining. Right? Okay, time to loot. <laughs> alt doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still not done with the map, by the way. There's still harvest to do. There's still a uh, research encounter to do. And there's... Uh... What else is there? And... Yeah, there, there's a ritual, right? Like, the problem with the, the map is too much currency, right? Too too many of these small things. What do you mean? Hope I don't crash. Here's alt. My PC doesn't crash, dude. Like, crashing is a myth. Like, my PC doesn't crash. Well, technically it does sometimes. But my PC doesn't crash on lo on high loot. high amount of loot. It simply doesn't. I need more crit multi to make this build pop even more. I'm lacking crit multi. Yeah, there, there's not that much loot here. Yeah. there, There's not that much loot here. Hi, SFK. By the way, SFK, I'm putting all the... Um, uh, I need to do save house. Oh, by the way, a boss. I'm doing a boss after this, okay? Like, I'm doing a boss after this. I'm putting breach rings in everything. <laughs> it's not... I'm not doing MF. Like, I'm not doing MF. I don't care about MF. I just care about the experience. Uh, also, I will remove the corpses. Don't worry. I'm gonna finish the corpses. But we're doing a boss after this. Lootage and finishing the, the map, right? So keep in mind, I will be buying all of those embers that you guys have, right? Like, I will be buying all of those embers. That's what I will definitely buy. Um, no, 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 any breach embers. Any breach embers. The small ones are between 1 and 5 chaos. The, the small one, the regular ones. And the Chayula is like 5, 10, 15, depends. Like, whatever. Like, I, I'm literally not buying a single specific one. Okay, um, so now that I know what actually screwed me up. I really need that Watcher's Eye with phasing. But to get the Watcher's Eye, I need more levels. Yeah, see, like. Not again. Mm, in, in. Oh shit, son! Not Twelve in. Let's oh, no. go. Oh, you. You're starting to figure it out, aren't you? There you go. So next boss is Katarina. So if you haven't fought Katarina, you can you can learn something on the stream. But yeah, seriously, guys, this is not that much loot, right? But the experience is, like, mad. Even though I died, like, I died twice. And I was at 50%. I died twice. However, I did lose two, two bridge bosses here. Yada yada, blah blah blah, right? And every bridge boss has, like, a 4% chance to give you, um... Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. To give you um, 
damn it. Um, every bridge boss has a 4% chance to give you a bridge stone, right? Okay, I will just put everything other than breach splinters in. Like everything other than breach, I'm going to put in. So you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. And breach rings are going into guild stash because SFK collects those. I will remove the corpses, don't worry. I'll probably delete all of them. Give me the rings later, you mean? <laughs> these rings? <laughs> you mean these rings? I can literally make a lore weave immediately. <laughs> lore weave rings yummy yummy. Very yummy much of love. Hey, I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy one. After this map, I'm buying one. I mean, I'm buying one. I'm selling. I'm selling the rings, right? Okay, so let's see. Okay. Let's do the last one and uh, let's GG's. Okay, so what do we have in the ritual? Dude, I have to do a uh, harvest even. Okay, we, we will see. We will see what we get. What was it? Like a full inventory? I I'm not doing these anymore, by the way. These are very, very rippy. Oh, it's div cards! Oh, it's div cards! Let's see. Div cards. Uh, all of these are shit. <laughs> this one might be like all of these are actually dog shit. Hey, at least uh, at least mortal rage. That's that's a good defer, right? Three-step assault. We take those just to honor them, right? Everything else is irrelevant. Joffrey, mid-rolls with high chaos. We can Valorb that. That's fine. Okay, let's finish the harvest. And then we count the profits. Yeah, full inventory. Okay, okay. There should be a full inventory of them there, so... Okay, nice. I need yellow juice. That's what I need to put attack speed on. Oh, and also to, to answer you, sweetie, like if I am going to spend 10 divines on a um, flask, 8 to 10 divines, let's say it's 10 divines, I'd rather spend 25, 30 divines on a headhunter. Than on the flask, right? That's just what I would spend the money on, rather. But I understand the point. You, it's a completely valid point. It's a good point. It's just I would I would prefer to spend it on a, on a headhunter. Yeah, you bought yours for one seven. Now they are they are like eight nine. Yep. Breach is extremely fun with a headhunter. Extreme. I removed the Legion because Legion was insane. Okay, so we can go back. It's it's insane. Why did it go up? I have no idea. Okay, so the currency that we've made 
from that map. Let's say that's a 20, 30, 40 investment in a map. This is 20, well, 18. This is like half of 40. Like this is like a little bit more. That's 25. And these combined are like minimum 15 to 20, right? So we've made bank. We always make bank. Two to socketed fire. Okay, one divine. Which is too much for a flask. Uh, Orat's End is uh, is a little bit too much for the flask, but Orat's End is, is one of the best flasks you can get. That's the flask that makes your enemies um, uh, explode, dealing uh, life, and it's like 14 divines. Yeah, like Legion popping is like really fun. Okay, so here's what we do with Breach Rings. Grasping male. I still take progenesis. Yeah, I would still take progenesis as well. Grasping male. Is it good or not? We clickety clackety. How much is unidentified? Unidentified is nothing. 40 kills. And civil. Okay. Boom. Region life, fire resistance, stun and block recovery, reflex phasing, global defense is garbage. Nothing. Nothing. You know what? Come, boom. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> GG, go next. Okay, where's where's my yoppers? Yop, yop. Boss time. Yop. Are you ready? This one is Syndicate boss. This is the one with the with the big bench. Correct and watching. Good. Glad you are, kind sir. Let's see. Do we get a Veiled Orb or not? The, my previous Veiled Orb still didn't sell, so... I did intentionally overprice it, but... We'll see. Ready? Set. Katarina. Click. 83 Katarina, by the way. I too am resourceful. Witness. Phase one done. <laughs> Use thirty five percent movement speed boots instead of onslaught. You know, Use a silver. Um. Just because I'm used to putting Onslaught on the thing, right? Like, I'm just used to putting Onslaught, but... Um, it's, like, the extra 5-10% movement speed is irrelevant. Also, welcome to the stream. Prad Deep, I hope I said your name correctly. But yeah, welcome to the stream. It's, it's like, I'm used to putting Onslaught on it, I didn't even think about it, right? So... That, that's why it stayed there. Like, I don't care about the extra movement speed as I have a movement speed flask, right? So it's it's completely irrelevant. Like, you, you don't need more movement speed than, than, like, a regular flask. So 35 movement speed boots are basically a bait for extreme money. It's just literally money bait.
So she releases all of them. And then when she does release them, you DPS her again. And then she's going to open one totem. Like, she's going to open one totem. And you will see which totem it is by the line, right? And you have to leave. And then she's gonna throw a staff. Okay. If you DPS her fast enough, she will go into a new phase, right? And it repeats again. Now, if she does... Uh, if she does a mechanic where... Arise, my children. Feed. That mechanic is... Uh, you'll see. You'll prob she'll probably do it. Although you have to uh, avoid the spire. Okay, there we go. And by the way, this is all chaos damage. So be careful there. Okay, she's gonna do Kulamak. I will let her do a rise. Come on. No. There we go. Okay, so Arise My Children. So she she puts like skeletons inside. And when she does feed, you can walk over them. And that actually kills them, right? Like you walk over them and that kills them. If you don't do that, the mini skeletons spawn, crawl in the ground. You can see this. And they follow you. And they actually deal a significant chunk of damage. And they have a duration, right? What's the total duration? I totally forgot. Like, it's 20 seconds. Okay, and that's another one. And it points you towards the where you need to go. Boom. There we go. She's immune. She throws her staff. She does arise, my children, again. If the children are in the field, they are getting destroyed automatically, right? Like, they are getting destroyed automatically if they are in the field. That's the only caveat that you're getting, so you don't have to worry about that one. And now, she destroys the, the last one. Totem is active. And she is active, and now you just... Uh... Oh, I should have explained that mechanic. Never mind. Um, that mechanic, give your soul to me, is um, is like a one-shot mechanic. Zing, zing, zing. No zing. At least a flask. There you go. And that's a boss. Uh, to, 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 the children are annoying. Yeah, the children are annoying, but you, you have a way on how to stop them, right? She's a very easy boss. She's my favorite boss. Just whining on only to Divine Drop playing every day. I mean, yeah. So, uh, when she does that, uh, give your soul to me, if you move or if you dash a certain distance, she will follow you. Every time she follows you, before the Grand Slam, it gives her AoE and damage increase. So if you're a spastic fuck trying to run away from a give your soul to me and you're trying to run away, you can cover half of the arena with her AoE when she slams down. However, if she does give your soul to me and she stays there, she goes up, 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 up. And before she slams, you dash away, you have plenty of time. She will just make a little small hole. That's basically it. Black maps tier 6, 7, reliable game, what tier 8 to 14, nothing in tier 15. Yeah, tier 16 blights are best to do. Hey, warm. Warm, fluffy pancakes. I love it. I'd cover the whole map. You would. But that's practice, right? This comes with practice. Um, on your blade bow, we need to use both medium and large cluster jewels. Two large cluster jewels, which are the same. Yes. And two medium cluster jewels, which basically help fill your chaos resistance. Yes. Just on just on one large, you put two mediums. That's it. That's two large, two mediums. That's it. On the bleed bow. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what I'm telling you. Ah, I mean, sacred wisps, right? 18, 19. It's like, whatever. Oh my god, that's 40 chaos. That's not whatever. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, almost 40 chaos. It's not 40 chaos. I need to level it. I can maybe go for 25, but whatever. You're welcome. You're welcome. You can literally, you can literally um, follow the days of the the progress. You can see how it goes. Before the last update, last update made it more expensive, right? Way more expensive. 
but you can just follow the, the progress. So your progress is do regular gear with the tree get, uh, getting you 100% spell suppress. After you, you get that, you get spell suppress gear, you remove spell suppress, add other nodes. After you start adding other nodes, you need a cluster jewel, one or two la large first, like two first large cluster jewels. You fill those in, then when you fill those in, you will level up more and you will add the medium ones and so on. Once you add your first large cluster jewel, that's when you're looking to add your fifth ascendancy point, which is inspirational. Besides worrying about spell suppress, uh, yellow maps. So, 72 to 5? <laughs> when is Splinters or Chayula, obviously? Hello? Yeah, good. Good. That's awesome. And are you liking the build? Is the guide good? Please tell me, is the guide good? Just confirm that with, with us. Just, is the guide good? Oh, links. I'm on red. No, you cannot have, like, reds are going to kill you if you don't have, uh, if you don't have 100% spell suppress. 100% spell suppress is worth double your health points. Especially when it comes to, like, um... Especially when it comes to, what's it called, uh, um, spells. Super. I know, I know. That's why I've been telling to people. Oh my god, that's 15 chaos. That's nothing. Awesome. That was productive. Um, okay, so put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there. Uh, put this for 30 chaos, because maybe somebody wants this. Veiled Orb is 7. It can go for 8, maybe. That's fine. Um, I need one empty item that could be... Like, I need one six socket that can be linked. That's good. Thank you. Good. Because I've had some people telling me, No, the guide is not good. Yada, yada, blah, blah. Meanwhile, I, I opened I opened their own, their own thing and, and they didn't even follow shit. So... Yeah. Love it when people do that, right? Yeah, you. if you're playing Bleed Bow, you need to get the Spell Suppress. Like, you literally get the Spell Suppress. Like, going up, Mage Bane, here, right side, poof, all the way to here, down, all the way to, to like, here. And you. that's how you get Spell Suppress. It's, like, extremely simple, but for some odd reason, people like to blame shit. Suppress Armor Life. Well, it is what it is. Why are you why are you removing all the good mods? Asshole. New character time. Part suppress. <laughs> what is it, Yup? Not five link, that's fine. Five link for wings of entropy. What is six wings of entropy? 20 cast, 30 cast, that's fine. Uh what's the blue circle in the passive tree? Blue circle. I assume you're talking about this one, right? To change everything, no, it's not working well. What's wrong with your guy? Yeah, true, true. Uh, that's the radius from the jewel Thread of Hope. It affects passives in massive ring. So this can affect passives in small ring, medium ring, large ring, very, very large ring, or massive ring, right? And this is where it affects the passives. You can see I have some allocated passives without them being connected to the tree. That's what it does. It allows allocation of passives without the, them being connected to the tree. It says it here. Passives in radius can be allocated without being connected to your tree. Be nice in the gun. Yeah, Clather, there's always there's always improvement, but like at one point. If you have reached and put 80 divines into a build, at that point I firmly believe you are well aware. And you can actually do the build yourself, right? 
Because at one point, it's just... Really? Like, really? So that's that's the main thing. That's why I don't do, don't do like, stuff like that anymore. That was such a good synthesis. Yes, I'm, I'm following a guide. I can't, I can't do red maps. I'm level one. Re... To get that. Uh, you don't need to get that if you're playing uh, a different... Oh, no, wait, you're playing my build, right? Um, it's it's not that expensive. Oh, oh, life per second, reflex damage, or rarity of items found. Hmm. You know, always rarity, right? Maps without leveling. Um, you theoretically cannot get to maps without leveling, right? Like in theory, because you have you still have to do quests, you still have to kill monsters. You like you, theoretically no, but there were books before that uh, lowered your level. Nowadays they they are gone, so those books are now gone. Okay, so guys, are you ready for the stupidest shit we've ever done on stream? Are you ready for graveyard crafting? I fucking hate it. Anyways, um, I have so many veiled items I need to give to SFK. I just acquired higher. Should I use that or lightning coil I've been using? Uh, you can use whichever one you'd like on civil. Can't make my without even close my Yeah, clatter, but it's still like at uh, the at the point of you playing the build. If you are playing the build from zero to hero, that's how I like to call my series. Then uh, you will understand what you need to improve next, right? The boring part is coming. Yes, boring part is coming. Oh, volatility twenty. Okay, so first we take this one here. We do that one. So that one's fine. Second, we take this one here, we hit it, we miss it. And we take items, we do precision. These are inspirations, these are volatilities, that's good. Cool, okay. Now I need to see where I have empty room. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Did I just get a defense? Okay, so. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to remove the music from the uh, video. And I'm going to make an intro video, right? But first, we're going to get our things sorted. So we are going to do this. Physical damage, physical damage, physical damage. Damage or bleeding, damage over time, multiplier, attack speed. Uh, do we have to do damage over time, multiplier, attack speed? Or is there... Uh, damage over time, multiplier... Yeah, we can do attack speed, right? And that's going to give us compute best selection. Six, seven, eight. There we go. Boop. Um, sixteen five hundred chance of physical. Oh, it will. It it tells us how many, right? Increased chance of modifiers. Physical thirty three. What the fuck? The fuck? Now it's more. Physical, physical, physical. Damage of bleeding. Damage of time. Multiplier. Attack speed. Really? Now it's 33 physical. It was 29. What did I do? Wait, did I do crit instead of... Yeah, I did crit because I wanted... I wanted crit on... Um, on the thing, right? Never mind. Let's go with attack spin. Um, we can, we can still play the music. Sorry. Yeah, but you, you aren't making a build. You are improving on already made build, right? 
That's the main thing. So we need 33 Fizz mod. So, okay, Physical Bow. Fizz Bow. Three times Tier 1 Fizz. Dot M. A S. Dot B. Now, Fizz 33. Oh, let's increase. Increase Fizz 33. Um, scarce. Attribute 1. Chaos 1. Crit 1. Ele. Elem 1. Gem 1. Life 15. Mana 14. Resistance 1. Mists. Mod tier 18, explicit 2. And that's total 33 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 15 plus 14 plus 1 plus 18 plus 2. That's 88 corpses. Of course, if you go to PoE Ninja and just copy a thing. Like, I, I copied most of this on, from PoE Ninja, right? I just reworked what I where I wanted it to be tankier, and it is tankier, right? Well, tankier. Um, and now we take this link, we put it here in paste URL. And uh, simulate placement, start simulation. There we go. That's the layout. So these are what we do as a reduction. These are what we do as increase. And that's how we do it. Yes, there's a graveyard tool. There you go. That basically explains how to place them. So now I need to do... Uh, I need to see if I have these. You're welcome. Scarce. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. So physical. Thirty-three. Now uh, attributes. Oh, what, what do I have here? Attribute modifiers scarce. Good. Chaos modifiers scarce. Good. Um, critical. No, do I have critical modifiers scarce? If I have to buy one one mod one thing, I'm going to kill myself in game. Thank you. Crit modifier scarce. So that's one 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 elemental. Elemental scarce. One one scarce. Really? One elemental scarce. One elemental scarce instead of two. Okay, elemental one scarce, gem. Gem, 300% scarce, one scarce. Life, 15, life. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, life scarce, 16, 15, 15, mana, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 mana, ten mana, mana, it needs to be 14, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 mana. One resistance. 
There we go. I have one extra. See here. Resistance modifiers are scarcer. One resistance. And then I'm going to put these four. Oh, we can't fit in. Okay, cool. That's fine. Um, and now I need mod tier. Mod tier. I need 18 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I need explicit mod. 2. There we go. So. We have, once again, physical. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, whatever. Okay. Time to do time to do this one. So this is going to be an, an intro to a YouTube video. Feel free to say hi YouTube once I, once I start. Feel free to chat it up. You guys are awesome. Stay like that. Please don't be naughty. I'm really lazy to 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 hide chats. Anyways. Uh time to do a hello YouTube, right? There you go. With with this silly hair. Hello and welcome to Necropolis Crafting, uh, the first and probably last time that I'm going to do it because it's so tedious. TLDR, we collected corpses, we got into Craft of Exile session, we chose the mod, this is going to be for physical bow, damage over time, damage over time multi, well, bleeding and attack speed. And we've selected our modifiers that we wanted, we computed the best selection, we got our corpses here, we did that, all done. Everything's there. Then we took the link, copied it, pasted it into sudos.help forward slash pa forward slash graveyard, pasted it there, imported, ran the simulation, and we got this. So we are going to plant the corpses. Okay, folks, let's let's plan these ones. Uh, by the way, I'm going to speed this up, speed the this part of the video up. So feel free to like chill out, right? Okay. Um, this is 50-50. So all of these are 50, right? 50. Oh, no, wait. I don't have 50s. 50s are all here. Uh, where does physical go? Okay, so if I'm going to go with... Do I have explicit? I didn't add explicit, right? I didn't add explicit. I did add the, the resistances and, and whatnot. So we're going to go from there. So that's minus res. No, resistance modifier is here. Mana is here, mana is here. Seriously. I'm I'm kind of annoyed. Um Resistance, mana, mana, mana. There we go. Good. What am I doing with the bow? Uh, I'm doing a physical bow right now, and we'll see. Like, maybe I sell it, maybe I won't. I don't even know. I want to make this for, um, basically, like, YouTube video, and that's it. Uh, mana, mana. Mana. Mana scares. Mana scares. Double mana. Mana scares. Mana scares. Life. So that's life, life, life. Um, life. I don't know why it's doing it like this. Life. So life, life, life. Okay, life, life, and elemental. Life. Life. And now elemental. Elemental scares, and then after elemental scares, there's physical. Physical, and then physical goes throughout the row. One, two, three, that's one, two, three, four, okay, that's cool. So physical goes all the way down. Physical. Physical. We'll see what's, what's gonna happen. I might use them, right? Like, I'm probably not gonna sell them. So that's physicals. Two, four, six physicals. And now that's more physicals here. Physical. And that's more physical. 
Physical, physical. It's another four, and now another three physical. And now another full row of physical, or the full column of physical. Physical, physical. Oh, and that's it for physical. Physical. And that's two more physical. Physical, two more physical. There's two, four, six physical left. So I did two here. This is explicit and tier, tier. Explicit, tier, tier. So physical goes here, here, and down. Okay, so physical. 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 I really don't want to mess this up. Physical. And that's another physical here. There you go, physical. Cool, physical is done. Oh, hello, nightmares. I mean, took you a while, right? Okay, so we place the physical ones. Let's see, what does it show? Explicit. So explicit is here. Two explicit are here, right? X, X. Explicit, explicit. And now I have scarce. Scarce, okay, cool. Uh, you can't dig them, you can you can dig them and destroy them. You can't uh, put them back into coffins. Uh, life, life. So now it's mana, mana, life, life. Life, life. And then another life. This is mana. Mana. Yeah, you don't get it back. Just bear six copies of four for the best. Yeah, true. I mean, we'll, we'll see how this goes, right? Mana, mana. Life, life. Mana, mana, life. Mana, mana, life. Mana, mana, life. Mana, mana, life, life. Mana, mana, life, life. Mana, mana, life, life. Cool. Life, life. Gem and attribute. So it's gem and then attribute. Gem and attribute. Good. Now, above here, we go where there's only three. That's chaos. Chaos. Above chaos is critical. And now, the rest of the mods are mod tier rating. Yep. Mod tier rating. Let's see how that goes. This is too stupid. I wish it was automatic, but it is what it is. We'll see what we get. We might get something good, we might get something bad, right? I hope for a 3 tier 1 at least, and the bleed. There we go. Okay, YouTube. Now that we've planted all the corpses. I have no idea what to do. I have no idea which one to press. So we click craft. That's 16,500. Let's, let's see the stats, right? The stats say... Oh, <laughs> till he sings this. I have no idea. Uh, physical, 16,500. Physical. Attribute, scarce. Chaos, scarce. Life, scarce. Mana, scarce. Resistance mod, resistance scarce. 900 to mod, 900 to mod, the lowest. 90% of modifier tiers cannot roll. That's insane, by the way. Uh, two explicit mods, two explicit mods. Elemental modifiers, scarce. That's it. So now we select a weapon. We select a bow. 
And uh, we are doing, which one was the, the best bow? Citadel. And we do Citadel bow. Okay, so that's what we are doing. Now, let's see if this bow is going to be nuts or not. And then the next part of the video is going to be elemental bow. So, physical bow, round one, and the last round. Let's see. Exercise. It's a slow bow. A Citadel is the highest physical damage bow. Citadel is the highest physical... Let's actually... Actually... I'm questioning my knowledge. I'm questioning my knowledge. But... Actually, damage. Boop. Uh, 36, 144. 36, 144. Highest highs. Highest highs. That's the thing. That's what you want. You want highest highs. So Citadel is the highest one. Harbinger has uh, better, like, lows, lower highs. But you want uh, higher highs and lower lows. Whatever. It works great with... Uh, what's it called? Um... With bleed volatility and everything. Okay, Citadel Bow, let's go. May the Talk. Of Lunaris heal your pains and aid this soldier and become a weapon that shan't miss. Spirit Thunder Citadel Bow. What did we get? Tier 1 Fizz, Tier 1 Fizz Accuracy, Tier 1 Fizz Attack Damage Leech this Life, Tier 1 Chance to Cause Bleeding, Damage with Bleeding, Tier 1 L L Lightning Res, and Tier 1 Stun Duration on Enemies. Majestic. Eh. So, this is one off. How many crafts did it say? It said 7 tries to get 66%. To get so, 14% chance to get it right so that's the fizzbow it's uh yeah <laughs> it's it's a meme i mean if i annul i promise you this is nothing this is zero if i annul the fizz attack damage leech this life nope it's garbage <laughs> next <laughs> it's garbage that's absolute dog dog garbage, right? That's so sad. Okay, you can you can go down there. Now let's do elemental bow. Now elemental bow should go well, right? Elemental bow has a very high chance of success. Ah. Two handed weapons, bow, no. heavy idiot. Two-handed weapons, bow, graveyard. Have the patience to grab a little bow. I mean, dude, twelve divines, and you just six link it yourself or whatever. Like, who cares, man? It's insane, anyways. Um, cold damage, fire damage, lightning damage. Attack speed, crit chance, and uh, this is why I don't like. Um, I I I really don't like uh, what's it called. Global critical strike multiplier, and it didn't do. It. I fucking hate craft of exile stuff. Okay, so that's. That's the bow. Compute best selection. By the way, that bow attempt was like two divines, right? That's what it was. Two divines. Okay, let's compute it again. And then we do... Okay. Cool. Oh, it's doing it again. This one is confident 75%. So if you do it in one, it's 50-50, right? Okay, so... Let's do this one. Um, if I want to animate weapon villages... Uh, yes, respecting the character is always cheaper than leveling it up again. Okay. 
increased. Cold 11, crit 1, fire 11, lightning 11. Uh, scarce. Hey, Jonathan. Help me write down. Uh, I forgot that links do not do not work. You just you just need to tell me like. Um, I forgot me the name of. There you go. I'm sorry for that. Uh, okay. Because I forgot, like, links don't work, right, on YouTube, so... That, that was my bad. Uh, attributes... Three... Attribute... Two... Chaos two... Gem three... Life three... Mana... Two... Fizz... Two... Res... Twenty. Twenty res... I don't have twenty resistances. What dear? Okay, path building. Oh, I'll import you. Import you now. I just want to do. I just want to do this thing first. Okay. Uh, King Kyo. Okay, seventy six gladiator. So let's see. What do you have? Skills, snipe, brutality, project, slot, deadly elements, puncture. Okay, this is irrelevant. Split arrow, chain, voltage, projectile, swift affliction. Uh, you can go deadly ailments here instead of swift affliction. So deadly ailments. Deadly ailments instead of swift affliction. Okay. So you can go deadly ailments. Both are fine. But deadly ailments se seems to be better later. But that's fine. Um, okay, molten shell. Mark on hit sniper's mark is worthless. So this is a no-no. That's a no-no. This is a no-no. You don't go mark on hit. Follow my build. Molten shell cast some damage taken. This is okay. What's your life? Your life is currently 2535. Cast some damage taken needs to be lower. Cast some damage taken needs to be... 1107. Cast some damage taken a 9. And that's 54. There we go. Nine cast one damage taken, fourteen molten shell. Nine cast one damage taken, molten shell. Frenzy, mana forge, there is a snaring arrow, dash. That's okay. That's okay. Determination, flesh and stone, herald of purity, pride. Do you have mana? You do. Um, here where molten shell is, war banner. War banner. Wait, does he have? Oh, he bought Owl. Okay, War Banner and um, Malevolence. However, you do not have mana for Malevolence. Okay, you need to remove this. So, first things first. Um, Owl's Uprising. You need to anoint this. So, that's two Golden Oils, one Opalescent. So, two Golden, one Opalescent. So, two of these... One of these. So. Two golden. One opalescent on the neck. That's what you need to do. Then you need to remove all of this. Like, remove it. Let's see. What do we have? Spell suppression, 27%. Oh, shoot. You don't have spell suppression gear. Gold rim. Ooh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so go leave this. Anoint is anoint. So anoint on the on that one. You need in inveterate. You need this. You need to go down. You need this. That you need. And that's 100% spell suppression. So you need this. You need this. That's mandatory. And Mage Bane. Good. This one's okay. You can move this one to here for leech. Uh, that one's okay. Good. Good, good. Good. Okay. Now, what you can change is you can go instead of here now. You, you're fine. Like, instead of going here, 
you can go down here. Because you have Owl's Neck, right? You take this life. You take this life. You take this. That. And you can take... Um, Auras, increased effect. But you remove... You remove this. You remove all of that for that down here. So for that down here. Once you start leveling, you need then... Um, like, you do not use Malevolence. Do not use it. Just level it up. You don't have mana for it. If you do this... Yeah, you do not have mana for it. Just do War Banner. And uh, once you once you level up, get get stuff. Of course, Owl's Uprising. Anoint with uh, Sovereignty. Anoint, save. Do you have mana with this? Yeah, you don't have mana. Okay, after you do that, you need a large cluster jewel. You also need to do your lab. You only did two labs. You need to finish your lab, man. You need to do lab here, lab here. This is a good purchase, but not for now. Mark of Submission needs to go into the garbage. Mark of Submission is bad. <laughs> Goldrim is bad, right? Like, here is where we have an example of a person skipping the upgrade path, folks. Don't skip the upgrade path. Follow my build. My build tells you exactly how to do it. So don't skip on the upgrade path. You did the one skip, that's fine, whatever, like, not a big problem. But, um, starter, you want to get your gear with full spell suppress, like spell suppression. Amulet is Owl, right? That's, that's Owl. So follow my build guide directly. Trust me, it works. <laughs> Trust me, it works. Okay, so let's see. What do I what do I need? Um, mod tier rating is 18. Explicit 2. Okay, so I need to do a recount. Let's see. So I have... Elemental Bow. Cold... Called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 11 cold. Fire. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 fire. 11 fire. Lightning. Ten, eleven. 11 lightning, 11 lightning, critical, critical, there we go, that's increase. Now, next one under it is scarce, attribute, scarce, scarce, attribute scarce. So that's 11, 11, 1, 11, 2, Chaos, Chaos Scares, Chaos Scares, 2, Gem, Scares, 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 1, 2, 3, Gem Scares, oh, that's what I'm not afraid of, Life, Life Scares, Life Scares, Scares, Life Scares, 3, Mana Scares, Mana Scares, there we go, Fizz scares. Fizz scares. So that's mana. Fizz. And now resistances. This is what I'm afraid of. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen. I have sixteen resistance scares, by the way. So I need to go and buy resistance scarce. Yep, we need to go and buy resistance scarce. Okay, I have 16. Not 
It's so fun. Okay, that's one. It's five whispers. Let's see how many replies. Thank you. Kitava's cold balls. <laughs> the man is called Kitava's cold balls, dude. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's amazing. Um... Kitava's cold balls, dude. Oh, a lot of people are using this this hideout. That's a cool ass uh, looking turtle hideout. That's a cool ass man. That's a cool ass turtle hideout. There you go, last one. Thank you. Okay, and that's the last one. So this one was what three to four divines for uh, an elbow. Oh, that's a cool hideout as well. What the fuck? That's a cool hideout as well. Nice. Where's the Singapore? Seoul. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Back to the graveyard we go. Back to the graveyard. Visit the necropolis. Okay, so... Same concept. Boop, boop. Empty graveyard, yes, click, click, import URL, uh, for bow, which one do we do? We do spine bow, right? For this one. You don't want a bow with an implicit. Get a feeling I watch too much, sweet. I don't know, Seriki, I'm sorry. So which bow, which bow is it? It's spine, 38115 with six and a half, yeah, it's spine. Yeah, okay, so spine bow. Um, okay, so simulate placement. So we are now making an elbow. There we go. So I need to do minus res first. Okay, folks, same same rule as it was for the Fizzbo. We crafted our stuff. We took all tier 1 uh, elemental. We took attack, speed, crit, strike, chance, and crit multi. We got all the corpses. We put them back in the, in the graveyard. And now we're going to fill them in. So, speed up time. Actually, I, I forgot I needed to record that without the, the, the music. Damn it. Okay, folks, and now for the elemental bow. I recorded this with music. I'm a dum dum. So I took all the tier one elemental nodes and attack speed, crit strike, chance, and crit multi. Got all the corpses, put them in the in the graveyard and pseudo's PoE tools, compiled them, and now on to the speed up. Is this the new Terraria expansion? <laughs> hey, hey love. Hey Lil, how are you doing, Daddy? Wait, what? How are you doing, Lil? Um, okay, resistance modifiers scarce. So let's put resistance scarce first. How are you doing, Lil? Are you doing good? How's the kid? Have you started training him to be... To be a WoW player? So it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so it's all 1, 2, 3.
and then two. Okay, two. But yes, this is a Path of Exile Necropolis. More like Path of Exile Y. Path of Exile Y, you do this to me, right? Okay, so next one we have... What do I have here? Physical. Physical. Scarce. Then gem. Gem scarce. Then we have mana scarce. Gem scarce. Chaos scarce. Then we have three resistances. Then we have mana scarce. Gem scarce. Attribute scarce. Okay, attribute scarce. Now, another attribute scarce is here. Here we have life. Life scarce. Res, res, and then we have life again down here. Life. And then we have two empty. We have physical scarce. We have life scares. We have chaos scares. Cool. And now we have lightning first. Cheese. Hi, Cookie. So, lightning. Where's critical? Um. Ah, that's where it is. I mean, whatever. I can put all of these in. Shaders go brrr. I'm doing this once and never again. Okay, so we are putting a lightning here. Oh, lightning. Cool. Now it's fire, fire. Fire, fire. So it's fire for three. Fire for three. Oh, Lil, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it for the resub. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the resub, dude. Thank you for stopping by while I'm doing this whole crafting shit. And taking the time from your busy schedule with, with the child. Like, seriously, man. Fire, fire, fire. So that's the first fire. Then it's cold, cold, cold. Cold, cold, cold. Then it's four colds. How does this make any freaking sense? Cold, cold. Then it's critical. She's okay. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, man. I seriously do. I understand. Like, this is not a game for, for everyone, right? Especially this content that I'm doing. Like, this is not even for me. Cold, cold, fire. Thankfully, I'll be doing this only once. Fire, fire. Double fire. And then double cold. There we go. Cold. And cold. Okay, so now I need mods. Modifier. Oh no, I didn't pick these up. Tier. I didn't pick these one up. I uh, Do I even have these? I didn't do modifier tier. There's explicit. There's explicit too. Plus one explicit. Plus one explicit. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There you go. Hello, hello, Sharko. How are you doing? Welcome to the graveyard crafting. Only, only today, only today. No, no more. Okay, so we start with 
250 tiers. So 250 tiers. Then we continue here next to cold is explicit. And then one below explicit and everything else is tier. Okay, cool. Oh, I was worried that I didn't have these. This is annoying AF, man. Yeah, so it's it's not fun. It's absolutely not fun. Buying corpses is not fun. And also I'm recording for YouTube, so now you're going to hear the the part for YouTube, right? Okay, now that we've planted a second tile of second whatever. Of, of graves, we go click, we click weapons, we click bow, and we we said spine bow. We did spine bow, and this is item level 83, six explicit modifiers, probably not enough item level, I uh, will see. Um, and then we choose, we choose to check this, right? So we have 55 for elements, 55 for elements, 500 crit, two explicit mods, yes. Gem, uh, Fizz Scares, 600, Chaos, 600, Gem, 900, Attributes, Scares, Chaos, Scares, Life Scares, that's fine, 900 modifier tier rating, that's it. So, according to this, we should be hitting a 50-50. Let's see, second bow of the day and second craft, so enjoy. Okay, let's see what it did hit. It hit tier 1 fire, tier 1 lightning, tier 1 coal, global crit multi, crit chance, and attribute requirements. It hit 5 out of 6 mods. Actually, very good. Very good. It hit attributes, but very good. And uh, even though PoE is usually cluttered, yes, Lil, this, is, this has been the crafting, so outro part now. Okay, so that's the recording for the thing. <laughs> pussy. A null pussy. A <laughs> null pussy. A null pussy. Do I, do I actually try to annul it, man? Do it. Really? One, two, oh, oh. This is irrelevant. Crit chance 8, 9. Crit multi. Attribute is whatever. Attack speed 1, 4. It's worthless, by the way. Look at that. Look at that, dudes. It's two divines, by the way. One and a half divine now. Crit chance, crit multi. With this, this much. Okay. Look at... <laughs> yep. It's shit without attack speed. Okay. Three... Two, one, click, fuck, there goes, there goes a prefix, Jesus, no, it's trash garbage, hey, hey, we exalt, or we exalt orbit back, we exalt orbit back, we exalt orbit back, it's all fine, tier one lightning, we just exalt orbit back, or tier eight physical, Go again, I'm not gonna gonna do another bow. Uh, does anyone want want uh, these bows to play around with? I'll sell them for 1c. I'll sell them for 1c. By the way, video tonight slash tomorrow for for that. I do, yeah, whisper, whisper me, please. Um, that's crafting. Finish vid. Whichever one, like I don't care. Like whisper me, and and you're getting IGN. Keep in mind, this this bow is trash now. It has only two modifiers, right? It has increased fizz damage. It's like, it's it's trash. So, I'm selling them for one chaos to follow the GGG's rules with uh, crafting.
So I have to follow GGG's rule with like uh, selling stuff and whatnot. So one Chaos Orb for these two bows. Kind sir. There you go. Yeah, my eyes open. Oh, two Chaos Poggers. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Okay. Can I burn these pieces of shit now, please? Oh my god. Can I just burn them? Forever? SFK is gonna kill me with this. Ugh. I think that's a little less than that. Dude, just buy any any LFO for two divines. Like that's basically the same shit. Like whatever. Just buy any LFO, man. Just buy any. Yeah, 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 but you're going to kill me because I'm putting them in the guild stash. That's what I meant. It's a sell for three. Yeah, I know. They don't even sell for three. You you just can't sell these, like right? Like you just can't sell them. Like the the amount of uh, the amount of currency and time you're going to waste by selling these. I got one three hundred chaos corpse, right? Actually, you know what we can do? We can do a fun craft. Yo, we can do a fun craft, right? I can do increased elemental stuff. Like 20 each and modifier, whatnot, and then uh, do prefixes, right? And then make a, make a 3-mod bow. Yeah, Clather, but it's a waste of time doing that, right? It's absolutely a waste of time. <laughs> okay, do you guys want to do some fun crafts? I hate this mechanic, by the way. I hate this. I'm FK watching a movie. Yeah, understandable. It's just, it's still like so tedious to do. Like it's so annoying to do. That's the problem. Like it's it's annoying. Yep. By the time it sells, I've done breach. On that note, does anyone have breach embers? I would like to take your breach embers, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. More corpses. More corpses. Oh, no, scarabs. I can buy breach scarabs off you as well. I'm fine. I need breach scarabs too. <laughs> Basically, the only one that I'm not buying is Chayula because fuck that, fuck that noise. <laughs> like, what 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 do I need? I need a lordship, splintering, and then additional breaches, like regular breach scarabs. So breach scarabs are what, 30, 35, 40? No wait, 45 for 195. That's that's fine. Uh, lordship is what. One for 135. Lovely. Um, by the way, I'm doing a thing. It's not need. Breaches in the area have 5 to 10 additional class hands. Class hands in the area guarded by a rare breach monster. Uh, no. No, no, no. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing just the, the regular. Two breach, splintering, and lordship. There's no, there's no need for Chayula or, or that one. So, like, all the Breach Scarabs that you have, that'd be lovely. Just tell me, just tell me how much. Wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. Oh, shit. Nice. How much do I owe you? I suppose that's nothing. Okay. So, in your name, Clather, we're going to open some stack decks. Do we only have 12 stack decks? Oh! <gasps> Dudes, I only have 12 stack decks. Use them. Oh, thank you then. Let's open 12 stack decks. Oh yeah, SFK has stack decks. No fuck yous, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. You don't have to rush. You don't have to rush. You don't have to rush. Please, no. Please don't rush. Okay, so now... Uh... So I'll never use them. Yeah, I understand, Leather. Um... Cold modifier. Increased chance... Increased chance... Of... Cold. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and I need one more twenty. Okay, we are go we are going we are going to do some stupid shit. Okay. We're doing some stupid shit. Okay, cold, then we need lightning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Most of the rituals, those are the only ones I use. Yeah, no, no worries. No worries. I'm I'm using breach only now. Lightning, and now we need fire. Fire. Fire! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so that's fire. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so that's fire. That's fire. Now we need modifier tier rating. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We need 18 of those. go modifier tier rating so that's uh 60 plus 18 that's 78 minus 88 we we have 10 left 10 left what do i want to do or do i want to do so currently that's like four explicit right weapon bow spine bow that's four explicit modifiers 
Okay, I want to add one explicit. One explicit. We can add a fracture, right? So I want to add one explicit. One explicit, so that's going to make it five. Five explicit modifiers. And now I want to reduce... Scarce, what do we have? Uh, modifiers are 150%, or modifiers are scarce. Oh, listen, no. Yes, yes, I added the synth. I added the, the synth. Hit a, hit a pretty decent synth, right? So, resistance. Do we have resistance? I probably don't have any resistance modifiers or scares now. Like, I've probably spent all of them. Although, actually, let's do speed modifiers. Are scares, scares, increased chance of speed. Increased chance of speed modifiers to... Three, four, and five. So let's add these five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, it's okay. Give me, give me just a second. So how many do I need? I need uh, three at least. And that's critical modifiers are... Oh, increased chance. Increased chance of critical. So cool. Call of Steel, Evasion. Yeah, that's actually nice. Those are actually nice, yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, so how many core? How many graves do we have? One, two, three. Crit, crit, crit. Let's see. Is everything full? I think everything is full, right? Yeah, everything is full. Okay, so let's do a meme bow. Weapons, bow, spine bow. Five modifiers, by the way. Five modifiers, not six. Five modifiers, okay? Five mods. Or do I reduce... Do we reduce the crit chance and then add one more mod? Five mods, whatever. Oh, no, actually, no. It needs to have six. I didn't reduce re resistance. Ah, whatever. If it hits resistance, it hits it. Let's go. May the shine of Solaris burn away your anguish and aid this soldier so that you may empower a bow the mighty lion I would be proud of. Let's see. Tier 1 lightning, tier 1 cold, tier 1 fire, tier 1 cold resistance, tier 1 crit multi. Ah! <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Here, an exalted orb. Tank bow. Tank bow. Here, an exalted orb. Click. Tier 9 fire damage. Lumao, dude. Here's a wall orb. Click. Corrupted. Get on the ground. Go fuck off. <laughs> That's a freaking stupid bow. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I should have made it six months. Yes? Yes, Mr. Suffica. I'm here for for GL. I'm here for GL. Okay, I'm here for the Gluck. Let's see the Gluck. Are there any any like bows that are? Oh, no, there's nothing on sale, Lama. Okay, spawn cards that give money. Spawn cards that give money. Uh, Fortunate!
Maybe we'll finally get those two divs. Nice. Nothing. Next. He has like 200 cards. Dude, get something. Look at that, there's nothing. Dude, what are these cards, man? Well, power, is that the Val Gem? Oh, that's Doom Fudge. Oh. Come on, dude. Come on, hit the zing. Hit the zing, dude. Oi, second fortunate. Nice. We only need like 10 more. Dude, these div cards are always a scam. They're always a scam. And then you hit one and then you're like, these div cards are never a scam. Yeah, I open them all, right? Because there's no reason to, to not open them. That's it. Oh, he doesn't even see these. Yeah, he doesn't even see these. I'll just yoink whatever he doesn't see. I mean... To be honest, when it comes to, like, div cards, I literally open them just because. Right? But uh, they're not even worth selling. Like, they're legitimately not even worth selling. Okay, so we, we made uh, last league, two doctors, now nothing. Yeah. Yep. We'll go farm another 200. Yeah, good luck. Okay, so what can I do with the, with the next set, right? We can sell, sell my stuff. New Marble, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. What can I put in Hyda to open my div cards? Liliroth. Liliroth opens your Hyda, your deck uh, decks. Um, okay, so let's do the bulk tool. PoE bulk tool. Yep. Okay, now... Let's see, where are my things? My defense and resistance corpses. Yes, if I have any. Uh, increase, right? Increased chance, increased chance of defense. Defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. IGN. How many do I have? Oh, I have no clue. Okay, go go sleep. Have fun. Let's see. Well, that's one full tab. So that's like what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's 30. How much are they? One chaos each. Lovely. There you go. Just give me whatever you, you think is fine. We'll do we'll do inventory by inventory. I have no idea how many I have. Oh, are they more expensive? What? Okay. By the way, I'm not checking item level. I just want to get rid of them. Like, I'm not checking the item level, I just want to get rid of them. Just so you know, you are warned. Thou hast been warned. Okay, so that's two, four, six. Okay, that's defense. You can buy... Do you want to buy all my corpses? 
Like... So you said defense and resistance. Increased resistance. One. Two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen. There you go. These are like whatever. Fifteen. Like you can you can buy like all of my corpses if you want for 13 siege, like I don't mind. There you go. Whoop. Jesus, nice. Do you need anything else before I bulk check them? Like you you have the grabs. Like if you want them, you have the grabs on, on getting them. Gr mini graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. Mod tier rating, mod tier. Seems like it's gonna be a full inventory or not. No, it's not. Okay, no, it's not. So that's why 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's 25 mod tier. Anything else? Oh, I'm getting rid of corpses. Holy shit. Okay, so we have life mana scarcer. Ooh. Life scare. Life scares. Mana scares. Attribute scares. Mm, that's all that I have. Oh! There you go, that's like what? Nine? Well, you can take 120. Take 120 out. Let's take 120 out. Anything else? <laughs> Empty coffins? Would you look at that? We. These are irrelevant. These do not work anymore. These are legacy items. All the scarcer ones. All the scarcer ones. All the scarce ones. All the scarce ones. Let's go. Here's one full inventory. <laughs> Dump coffins. Uh, Cookie, you have very low level coffins. He needs, he needs higher than 81 or 82. I think it's higher than 81. All the scarce ones, he said. You might have actually picked, picked like... You might have said, give me all the corpses at this point, right? By the way, I'm not sifting through these. Like, I am just trading them to you. Just so you know. Like, I think I think you're very aware that I'm not sifting through these. <laughs> I might actually even take Lather's Headhunter at this point and be like, Yep. Yep, let's slam that bitch. 
Might might buy it off of him. Okay, trade when ready. And please, Cookie, do not dump your corpses in. Okay, please. By the way, do you have breach scarabs? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, do you have any breach scarabs? Like, instead of chaos, I'll take breach scarabs, right? Because I'll have to buy anyways. <laughs> anyways. Then this might be the the oh ooh, e ay 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 okay trade one ready yep I'm fine I'm fine with those yep yep yeah I, I'll I'll take breach scarabs right we awesome okay there there's more by the way there's more. Uh, and then there's harvest thingies. Boom, 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 boom. I think that's it for all the scares. Yep, that's it for all the scares. Okay, do you want anything else, kind sir? Thanks for shopping at Graveyard Heels. Jesus, fuck. Okay, I need to empty the mini graveyards. That's all for now. Good, kind sir. Thank you. <laughs> now, now, off you go to the graveyard. And it's scarcer coffins. What do you mean, scarcer coffins? I, I gave you all the scares. I just deleted my, my 14 coffins, regular ones, but whatever. Um, oh, for Cookie. I think he only has low level. I don't think he has red tier. Um, okay, let's see. Alva Sanctum Harvest 2 Coffin Select. Harva Harvest 2 Bisbo Corpses Coffin Mini Graveyard Coffin Graveyard Coffin Graveyard Coffin Challenges, coffin, challenges, coffin, challenges, coffin, dude. Okay. For some odd reason, I have 23 divines worth of, of coffins. Generate image. Craft to craft an additional item 80. I have two of these. Huh. Eighty one plus, I think. Yeah, this one's three hundred chaos. I sold like two of these. I mean three hundred chaos is two divines, right? Yeah. Yeah, 300 chaos. What else is there? Quality. Quality is money. What the fuck? Quality. I have 61 of quality, 4 each. Oh no, that's 4 each. Okay, click. So... Um... So, now I do... Uh, how much do I ask for? 
How much do I lower this for? Half. 10 divine. How do I how do I change? I forgot how to change the stuff here. Heavy heals, TTV. Are you joking? You're joking. He's in my hideout, Cookie, so come to my hideout. Freaking stupid corpses, man. Uh, harvest. Coffin. 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 Can I edit this? No. How do I edit the price on TFT tool? Minimum asking price. Uh huh. Um. Once humanoid, three condo, and big DD shack. I I believe I bought stuff from this guy. I swear to God, I bought stuff from this guy. I swear to God, I bought stuff from that guy. Oh, uh, trade it to him, please. Don't dump it the guild stash, please. Not not in guild stash, please. Everywhere but in guild stash. Spray and pray everywhere, but in guild stash. Yeah, asking price is fifty percent. Can I just like lower this to fifty? Oh my god, no! I have to do it manually. So I have to do fifty. I have to do harvest coffin fifty. Uh. Mini graveyard, coffin, and then again, 50. And I have to do it. Ma oh my god, who made this website? 50. Graveyard 2, coffin, 50. Graveyard 3, coffin, 50. Challenges, coffin, 50. Challenges 2, coffin, 50. Challenges 3, coffin, 50. There we go. Try wealthy exile. Oh. Let's see if wealthy exile works. Cool. Cool. Okay, wealthy exile apparently works. What? Oh shit. It sees everything.
cool. It sees my whole inventory. How dare they? Okay. Um, trade. Coffin. Coffin. Aha, uh -huh. that's for trade, right? So... Harvest, Fizzball, Mini Graveyard, 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 Challenge, Challenge, Challenge. Snapshot pay tabs. Now. So get, get him, get money from him then. Export to strategy. Fuck is that stash? I don't understand how this works. Yeah, I, I don't understand how this works. Okay, because I don't know how that works, that's fine. Um how much are people asking for corpses? Bulk coffin want to sell. How much are people selling them for? 70% of ninja price. I'm doing 50% for ninja price. Um, what did I say? What's my IGN? Thank you. Um, copy image. There, now generate text, paste, want to sell Necropolis. There you go. 50%. 50%. by the way. Let's see if it sells. Who thinks it's gonna sell? Not me. What is this? Seven and a half div. Fine. Okay, let's let's sell it for seven and a half. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, I still need the enchant for this. Oh, does anyone have 600 yellow life force? So that I can buy. Does anyone have 600 yellow life force? Once again, you've learned that I don't want to die. <laughs> Wee! Yeah, you need to need to read map mods. Yeah, I just need 600. How much? How much is it? I don't even know. How much would that be? Here you go. I'll give you back your twin. <laughs> Thank you. I don't even know if that's enough, but that's fine. Um, okay, I need... Can I do attack speed? There you go. Attack speed for quality. Click. There you go. Nice. Attack speed for quality. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, and now... Yes. 
no, 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 that, that's that's not the problem. We we've we've fixed it. Now I need to quality this to thirty. Here's where the problem lies, right? Now I need to go back to the build. To the Blyatbo. Where's my... Uh-huh. Okay, so I need to go back to Bleed Bow. Take Storm Shroud. Take this. Put Storm Shroud back in. Go to Menagerie. And corrupt this for 30 quality. There you go. I'm not editing uh, the Intimidate and, and whatnot, so that's fine. Corrupt 30 quality. Let's go. Whoa, what the fuck? There you go. 30 quality. We log out. We log back in. There you go, 30 quality bow. With gems that are not even that are not even done, right? By the way, I can do a gamba with you guys. Do you guys wanna do a gamba? Do you guys wanna do double gamba? I have Elemental Heat of the Spectrum 2020 and 2020 waiting for Dories. So do you guys want to do double Gamba with me? Do we doubly try to, to corrupt? Yes, no, no Gamba. Yes, Gamba. What say you, Philly humans? Sick. Okay. Let's do a double gamba. Um gamba, gamba, gamba. Okay, so two Doris. Let's see. Dory one has throne of Aziri. Shit fuck. Okay, I don't want to do that one. Apex of Ascension, Defense, Wealth of the Wall, Dory. Okay, so there's Apex of Ascension and Dory. Hey Marble! I would say something with again with Dijon. Say something. Say that something. Um okay, all good. So this one has tempered flesh into transcendent flesh. Coward's chain. Okay, I'm gonna buy a vial of consequence trade. Welcome to the stream and feel free to say something. Let it zing, yeah, let it zing. Let it zing. Let it go, let it go. Yeah, feel free to say say what's on your mind. Ugh. I basically made those temples, so those temples are like free for me, right? Consequence, thank you. Coward's Chains and Consequence into Coward's Legacy. Apex, Catalyst of Corruption, Wealth of the Val, Sanctum, Doris Institute. Okay. Which one which one do I do first? AoE gem or single target gem? It, it's irrelevant. Our third gumbo of the day. Jesus Christ. AoE. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see if it if it hits first, right? I still have to do two, the second one. Leveling gems, man. Leveling gems in high experience zones be like. By the way, my damage is lacking now. Like it's severely lacking. Dude, I love this build. This build's so much fun. Pew. 
Hat so attelt. Yeah, it's not as bad as 400 DPS, but also, why the hell, if you're playing elemental, do you have a 400 DPS bow? Just go farm Chaos Orb recipes and get a 1200 bow. Oh, you're a scion. Ugh. That is not nice. Okay. Sure, that works. Okay, I can do this on PoE. Enjoy PoE! Lana's vision. Okay, so. Ele hit of the Spectrum. <laughs> Through my tankiness now. Play the game. Okay. 2020 into... Is it gonna be 2123? Is it gonna be 2119? Is it gonna be something else? Is it gonna stay the same? In the game, not sufficient. Let's see. Three, two, one, click! 1918! Fuck you! <laughs> Let's run Orobot. Okay, it's just Um, you can change uh, your colors, your corrupted colors in, um, in a thing, right? You can change your corrupted sockets, colors and links. You can do it in a crafting bench. It just costs Valorb in addition to to regular currency. You only cannot change mirrored items. Oh, I mean you could have done it in Legion as well. Well, now you know, right? So you can go and change just the sockets and colors on a cor on a crafting bench if your item is corrupted. Now we need to buy another Elekit of the Spectrum, damn it. Maybe we get a Zing here. Wow, nice Zing. Ouch. Come on, dude, I need a Zing. I need to feel the dopamine hit. I've been losing today the whole day. Come on, I need to feel the dopamine hit. I've been losing the whole day today, dude. Give me a dopamine hit. It's not giving me the dopamine hit. What do I do? Ah, it's, I'm not getting that dopamine hit today, boys. It is what it is. There's no dopamine today for me. Yeah, understandable. Like if you if you farm and buy and and, and whatnot, like that's completely understandable, right? Like I'm not judging you for it. I'm just uh, trying to to help you in in teaching you the ways of. Uh, Maybe you, but you didn't know, right? Because you said, like, I assumed, I assumed uh, you meant by, uh, like, when you, when you said, like, you can't change the corruptions that you didn't know, and that was actually a correct assumption, because you actually didn't know. Now you do. So now there's no problem if you want to change your sockets. Yeah, you're welcome. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Like I am as much as possible beginner friendly, right? Like that's that's my schlick. Nobody does that in Path of Exile. I decided to do it and I decided to do it well. So that's my my whole darn schlick. 
I am a begin beginning beginner friendly beginner friendly dude. Yes, Shizu. Sorry for the explosion, Jesus. Wow, I actually got hit. Oh 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 oh. Okay, that's good. Hmm. A minion helmet, or oh, whatever. Dude, I can feel the damage like being shit. Oh, divine vessel! Oh, so! Yo, yo! I got one shot. No idea from what. No idea from what. Dude, I fucking hate that. I'm. I've been at forty percent this whole darn fucking day, man. Yeah, that was insane. That was like just. Anyway, but Rain of Arrows called Relic or DD, something else like, uh, if Rain of Arrows play SFK's build, SFK's build is mad good, um, DD is, eh, every DD is DD, like, DD is just going to be, like, like, DD, ha you have a lot of buttons to press, right? Holy Relic Flicker, yeah, oh my god, mouse, mouse with, with the flicker. Jesus Christ, mouse. Um... Reign of Arrows is always going to be fun, right? Like, Reign of Arrows cannot be unfun. You play a Raider and you just go and destroy shit. You can literally take SFK's build and copy it. I'm, I'm not memeing you. I'm, I'm actually not memeing you. You can take SFK's build, copy it, and GG. Holy Relic Flicker. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Okay, so what what did we say? We do that, and then we... Oh my god, really? Yeah, now I do, like, no damage. Jesus. Ambition, Val Aspect! Let's go, dude! We return the money! Oh, no, not this. Not this. This. Let's go, dude! Oh my god, it's four and a half divine now! Five divine! Holy shit, it's five divine! Oh! Ooh, what is this? Grace. Even at maximum, that'd be like shit, right? Yeah. Oh no, did I just see my, my, my dumb bee fool? Okay, let's continue. Okay, I'm cock spotting still spring. I mean, whichever one looks the best to you, play that one. Don't care about like the upgrades, the, the DPS and whatnot. Like, as an example, SFK's build is cheap, right? Like the whole build, Costs as much as the bow. That's the TLDR of it, right? So SFK's build is really darn cheap. Nice, dude. I lowered it for 0.1 divines, by the way. I lowered it by 0.1 divines. And the guy immediately, immediately wanted to buy it. I lowered it by 0.1 divines. From 7.5 to 7.4. And he immediately whispered me to buy it. 60C. People in Path of Exile, dude. Disgusting. Disgusting. One and three divines. Okay, here we go. Like, imagine. Hey, Vista, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. How's your build progressing? How are the maps? Is everything good? We're doing golden? Yeah. Stupid dead. So them Katarina's paying off, right?
Okay, I have Sanctum of Unity to go to. Okay, the amount of mana I'm spending now is crazy. Because of the attack speed, right? Isn't this? Obliteration with attack spin. <laughs> Can stack on yellow. Okay. May I ask why and how? Like, how are you stuck on yellow maps? You do, you are not dropping maps or? I'm not asking if you're dropping progression maps, I'm asking if you're dropping maps, or... Or is it like the build thing, or... Defense... Are you... I mean, rolling your maps while doing progression is like, eh. Oh, so what build are you playing? Too low on everything... I mean, that just means you need to upgrade the gear, right? So farm him up, upgrade gear, GG. You'll be golden. Really? Really? Freaking monsters, man. I need that phasing jewel. Yeah, dude, that attack speed actually made this so much better. Uh, Toxic Rain Ballista Pathfinder. Do you have your six links? I mean, yeah, you just you just have to play the game, right? Okay, um, I want to buy another LA kit of the Spectrum, so... Because I want to level an additional one. Is there any that's, that are cheaper? Or are there any that are cheaper? So it's like 10 chaos cheaper for like 20 of these. And these are one, it's whatever, okay. So 20 quality, corrupted, no. Yeah, I'll just buy, I'll just buy a multiple. Oh, 240, there we go. Yeah, you just you just need to play, man. That that's that's basically it. Like nothing else. And once you once you start uh, playing a bit more, right, and doing doing things, it, it's all going to to settle down. And touch grass, nice. No worries, no worries. Thank you for stopping by. I'll be here for another like four or five six hours, probably. There you go. Elemental hit of the spectrum. Yep, no worries. Good luck with your endeavor. Um. Oh shit, double inspiration leveled. Two inspirations. Okay, so I want these volatilities to finish, and then I have two L hit of the spectrum. That's fine. How much did I lose here? I lost 1% more damage. That's not that much. Okay, I am doing the next... Um, the next one, guys. So, we are corrupting the next one. Perfect. So, we are corrupting the next one. Do we win or do we lose? That is the question now. Dude, why does 70 mana feel like zero? Okay. 
Like, it legit feels like zero. Wait, weren't those Adimas? Or do I dare? Do I dare? Ah, oh, whatever. I'm like, they look similar. Yet I'm completely blind as a bat. Okay, I need to remove those bases from the filter because that's annoying. Mm. We take care as well, my dude. And yeah, um, Shizu. Like Toxic Rain is really a fun, a fun build. A uh, Toxic Rain. Because Vista said Toxic Rain, I am like, Toxic Rain is my head. Um, Rain of Arrows is a really fun build. It's decently tanky. If you count that your only tankiness is evasion, but you have like... 40-50k of it. The clear is very nice. Like, stuff falls over. The only problem with the build is... Uh, you just need to spend a bit more on the bow and that's it. Everything else is like, eh. That's the only problem. However, you can buy a mirrored six-link bow, which is cheaper than buying a proper bow. When I say proper, I mean the bow that you can change stuff on, right? Because he goes with, if I'm not mistaken, five green, one red. On his... Um, Five green, one red on his links on the bow. And yeah, Vista, you have like both six links. Keep in mind, getting a six link this season has been extremely easy. Like you can get a you can get two six links for like forty chaos. And I'm not joking when I say that. You can you can actually get um, two six links for um, for 40 chaos. 40 or 50 chaos. What do you know? Yeah, so there there's a little strat that you that you can do. Which is with Einhar and with uh, beasts. Which is, you take Einhar's Scarab, so Beast Theory Scarab. So you take regular Beast Theory Scarab. That's the Scarab that... Yeah, that's understandable, yeah. But, like, if you need if you need a 6-link quickly, you can get, like, quick 40 Chaos in, like, a few Chaos Orb recipes, right? Okay, I need to remove Flasks from my filter. Okay, so, let's do this. Flasks. Filter blade XYZ. Um, filter blade heavy Uber. Uber filter load. Customize flask. Disable. Oh, that's campaign, never mind. High level flasks, sable. Uh, that's fine. Lego Young Gimbovo, but it needs to be linked in color. But it's car Can you link it to me, by the way? Exclamation mark IGN. Save and export. Oh, you're on phone. Okay. Do you maybe know your uh, your modifiers on that on that thing, on that bow? Because you can do corruption on the on the thing. You just have to be lucky. But I 
but you can do the the corruption on um there you go topus last bug uh, but you can do a corruption on uh, what's it called? Uh, blah 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 blah. On a, um, you can do links on a corrupted item for generally cheap, right? Tainted fusings and whatnot, 40 chaos per attempt or something. The problem is making it six sockets, like. That's also, but that's tainted jewelers. They need a plus two bow gem corrupt. Right? Wait, you have a plus three bow with a plus two gem corrupt. The fuck? I mean, toxic ring goes for levels. That's right. You go thicket bow. You can make a thicket bow pretty darn cheap, right? Because it needs to be item level 50. No more. Let's see, unique. You are doing quill rain? No, dude, no. Don't waste your time on a quill rain, man. That's not bis. Quill rain is pretty good, but that's not bis. No, it's the quill rain, the one that, sh that you makes you like fire. Like. Double faster or something. No, 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 no. Don't waste your time on, on doing that shit. No, 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 no. Like, that's literally a waste of time. You'll be changing it anyways to a Thicket Bow. Because Thicket Bow is your bis anyways. Because here's here's how it works. So, you have... Fury Wiki Quill Rain. So, Quill Rain... Has no levels, right? Less damage, 100% projectile speed, 100% attack speed, and whatnot, right? So Quill Rain has nothing. What you want is you want to go and trade. And you want to go to level of socketed gems. Uh, to level of socketed bow gems. And you want bow. And you want two here. Oh, oh no, wait. Socket gems is one, and then bow is two. Bow is two. And there we go. One to level socket gems. Uh, plus two to level of socketed bow gems, right? And then you go thicket bow. Level socketed bow gems, two. Not pseudo. Level of socketed bow gems explicit to to level of socketed gems. There we go. Thicket bow, and that's basically it. Like that's what you want, and then you can take uh, attack speed and what else. So whatever else you need. So um, chaos damage over time multiplier i think that's the the thing yes chaos damage over time multiplier that's a craft so you can craft that so you don't want to look for that you want attack speed local so you go with attack speed let's go with uh, what's that 15 percent attack speed so go with 15 percent attack speed there you go 18 crit chances whatever proj speed we didn't want that like, 3 divine for done. Like, you you just basically... 3 divine for done plus 6 link, right? You can craft from that. Or you can just take... Um, what's it called? You can take a different approach. You can get an item level 50 thicket bow. It has to be 50 or higher, right? But you take item level 50 bow. And you just slam it with one essence. And that's it. I mean, it doesn't have to be 50. No, it doesn't. It can be whatever item level. Yeah. So, let me let me show you that one. In short. So, craft of exile. Emulator, create new item. Two-handed weapons. Bow. Thicket. Whatever. Essence. Dread. 
tier one. It's technically tier two, right? Click two to level of socketed bow gems. And you want to hit empty prefix and empty suffix, right? So you hit them until you have empty prefix, empty suffix. There we go. Then you go cannot uh, roll attack modifiers as a suffix. That's one divine. Click one exalted orb. Boom. You get plus le one level of socketed gems. Then you change to chaos damage overtime multiplier. And boom, you're done. And that costs one divine, one exalted orb, four essences of dread. Uh, it, it, they don't have to be. They don't have to be. What's it called? Uh, deafening. They can be screaming. Screaming gives uh, gives plus two, and you're done, right? Why would you? Why would you do multi mod? Like you, you don't do multi mod. You just do cannot roll attack mods. That's basically it. Like why would you waste your your time on a multi mod? Keep in mind, if you didn't have, like, as an example, if you had one suffix modifier, two prefix modifiers, and you craft cannot roll attack modifiers, even if it hits suffix, it's irrelevant. You can clean suffixes whenever you'd like. So, you're still going to have one empty suffix, so that's whatever. And you can always clean suffixes. Oh, when crafting for fracture, I mean, yeah. But this way, this way is actually way, way simple, simpler, right? Like, you need one and, I don't know, half a divine to craft it fully. Two divines to finish it. And you're done with Toxic Rain. Okay, play the game. Don't make me make your build. Well, make my build. And show you how it's played. We still have to do this Gamba, though. I've been dawdling. Ambition Val Aspect! 2 out of 2, dude! Holy shit! 2 out of 2! Ho ho! Okay, I'm setting them down for 4 Divines. I don't care. 40 That's... Whoa! Yo, four and four. Holy shit, son. Lucky. Okay, and now we got an important thing to do. Well, of the Rachel American. Um, we gotta double corrupt the gem. Also, why is that now four divines? Probably because people are um, trying for better adorned, right? Also, progenesis. Oh, is it going up as well? Oh, pro no, you don't need progenesis. Why, why would you need progenesis? You don't need progenesis, man. What the fuck? Why would you need progenesis? That's like your last upgrade. Like, you don't need progenesis. If you tell me, oh, but my survivability, I'm like, you, you have bigger problems if you think progenesis is going to solve them. Okay. Second one. Three, two, one, click! Hey, gained quality. Quality did nothing, but... Still gain quality, right? Cool. So didn't lose anything. Perfect. That's actually good. Harvest Scarab of Doubling. What a guy was going Um. But yeah, following a guide, there's no way the guide told you to buy progenesis as like a main thing before you finish your your gear, right? Like there is no way the guide said that because if they did, those people are idiots. Um worth anything with fractured mod. It's not fractured, it's synthesized mod. Uh thank you as that item level and that mod, sorry, nothing. Let's 
that's not endgame, that's like past endgame. <laughs> that's like, progenesis is when you're done with the build and you want to like, not to die, right? Like, that's silly. You're currently worrying about... Um, you're currently worrying about getting your first 6 link, right? Which is, by the way, first 6 link is 10 chaos. Especially this late in the league. Well, late. Late. Is that 200 evasion flat? This one doesn't know what it wants. Cookie, say right one more time and I'm putting you in the left jail. No, stop it! The more you say it, the more I want to say it, because I read it, and then I want to say it, so stop saying it. Because I read every message in chat. And now you're going to say scammer, no you don't. I mostly read every message in chat. I know I am right. Okay, I really am lazy to to clean the, the next thing. How many mirrors did I drop in a single mana? Um I mean I don't know what's the record. 10, 20? Who cares? Dead. Um, okay, I need to clean the tabs. Oh, and I have to open the windows. Yeah, that's magic finding groups. Whatever, Sriki. Oh, Sriki, I owe you my strategy, right? Do you want to see my strategy? Yes. Okay. Good. Oh, okay, I'll do I'll do one map before I do the strategy, and then I have to be before I uh, like I have to like reset. Uh, let's see, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, cool. Um, so the strategy is you take map regex, whichever one, sixty six. Nice, dude. Two ambition, eighty points. Let's go, dude. Nice! I did two Alva Temples, got eight Divines out of them. Get... Uh, let's go, dude. Mwah. Alva Temples making the bank. <laughs> okay, uh, Scarab, we go with two here. Always belong to Chayula. Like, is this worth seven of these? They are like 20 chaos each. Or 13 chaos each. I got boosted. Hmm. Yeah, that's not worth. Doop, doop. Uh, okay. Uh, Sirki doesn't even have a character in the league. Okay, Sreki, see this? I'm playing June Harvest. Well, I can I can do Nico instead of June, right? Like, but I'm playing June Harvest, Breach, Scarabs, Searing Exerc. Okay. So what you do? You take Breach. You put uh, more Breaches. So that's four additional Breaches, right? You put more Breach Splinters, Breach Lord. I mean, that doesn't count. Um, that one, you click activate, you count the monsters, two, four, five. So that's five monsters, five monster types. You go to embers, you take um, tool, two, two, four, five. You go back, you activate, boom, 
five tool. One, two, three, four, five. Because they're all the same pack size. Oh, they're all the same packs. They gain all the benefits from every pack, right? And you click enter. And are you ready? Oh, again, delirium. I freaking hate Deliria, man. All bridge stone, by the way. Oh, is that Oh, it's off. This step, no. And that's the map. <laughs> well, technically not yet done, right? <laughs> so <laughs> it's insane. By the way, look at my experience. Like experience goes mad as well, right? I'm 53. I was 47 when I entered the map. Like experience goes wild as well. And also, the strategy works because you have so many unique monsters, like you have a Breach Lord minimum in every in every Breach with a chance of them being duplicated. And I think the, it's a chance for them to be duplicated. And uh, you basically just put all the cheap um, embers. You don't even put Shayula embers, right? You, you don't need to put Shayula embers. Like, Chayula Embers are, are 20, um, 20 C, 10 to 20 C, right? While the regular Breach Embers are 1 to 5. I, I buy them at 5. 
Like, if somebody wants to sell for 5 or lower, I'm up for it, right? Because I always need them. If I don't have them, this strategy still works, right? Because the regular breach, like, breach uh, scarabs are not that much. Because nobody, nobody's running them. Nobody likes to run them for some odd reason. Yes, Cookie. Which item is that? Really? Oh, you have you have things. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, did you get the alas? The ala damage, yes. <laughs> mage blood. Oh, this build works with headhunter and mage blood. You get the cheapest one. It's irrelevant of anything else. It's cheapest uncorrupted. Cheapest uncorrupted Diala. Because Diala will have a problem coloring. Like Diala is a problem, right? Diala will cost colors a lot of colors. No, 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 no. It's not about six linking. Diala has to have specific colors. It needs to have two red and four green. And that's going to be a little bit difficult to roll. So Diala has to has to go with uh, with different strategy for linking. Oh shit! I missed the bridge. So six linking is the easiest part of getting a Diala, even with with all the fusings in the world, right? Six linking a Diala, a Diala is the easiest part of the challenge. What's the hardest part of the challenge is actually getting the. Oh, there we go. They duplicate them. See. Oh, that's Chayula. Ah, only Chayula duplicates. Oh, is that Zestula? No, just a regular clasped hand. Damn it. I want Zestula's clasped hand, man. <gasps> yes! Nice five splinters, pokers. Domination scare with teachings. Ah, there we go. That's what people do with, uh, with uh, these... Uh, control shift left click. Control shift left click. My mana is But yes, once you buy it, do not do anything to it. I will teach you the way. Because that's going to be a bitch to color, by the way. It's going to be a bitch to color. A big banana. There's still one pack of uh, Searing Exarch monsters. Really? See, the most annoying part of this is just like looting these. That's the most annoying part. Also, like, if you have a headhunter, this becomes way easier. Give me a six socket instead of advertised two. Uh, it's irrelevant what he gave you. Uh, link it. Um, if the sockets are bad, then uh, you're still going to ruin the sockets. Scroll up. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, oh, there is the pack. And that's zero. Ah, that's three left. Whatever. So, let's see. If I remove these breach rings, which I will be picking up later. They want fortify. See, okay, that's good. So, 
here's the total hole, okay? I'll, I'll come back for these rings. He's 70 farming build guide one. No, 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 no. Um, totally. Ah, 17. 17, um... 17 of... Where are they? 17 of these. Show on the world screen. What? Show on the world screen? I don't understand what you mean by that. So that's 3 times 17. That's 51. 51 chaos. And the, these ones are like 30. I don't know. I don't know what you mean, Cookie. Map portals are in order as shown on the world screen. Um... Press U while in your map. I don't understand what you mean. See the houses on the map, right? I mean, these, yes. Okay. <laughs> he gave you the worst, Diala. We'll have to break it down. Yeah, send a picture. Uh, we'll have to break down that six socket one. Okay, so you need two red and four green. That's going to be fucked up. Oof. Oof, that's going to be fucked up. I'm waiting for that image, okay? Yeah, four green to a red. Okay. Cookie, give me all of your... Give me literally all of your... Like, come to my hideout. Give me the chest piece. All of your... Colors and jewelers. Oh shit, I have 3.7k needs. Same order. One, two. That's for every map like that, but this is irrelevant. Like, I, I don't know what you're trying to, to... This is for every map. 
like Cookie, there are roads. Oh my god, rarity. Fractured, okay. On an onset. So that's one divine just for rarity. Yeah, and then rare double rarity. 22, 26. On an onset. Item level 86. Yeah, I mean, you can sell it for one divine for rarity. Uh, Cookie. Cookie. You are doing it wrong. Okay, you're doing it wrong. Okay. Some random great friend. Yeah, you're doing it wrong. Look, this is like, this is Osuri, okay? So Osuri. Osuri is always there. That's Osuri. This, canals, right? Torched courts, reliquary and control blocks, right? One. Like you should just watch me when I when I play. Holy. All the way down. All the way down, okay? All the way down. All the way down. There's that one. So this one is all the way down and then right, reliquary. Reliquary. And then all the way down here. Boom. Control blocks. What do you mean it's not obvious? That's how it is from the get-go. Look at this. No, dude, that's obvious. That's more obvious than anything. Like, waypoint, act one, look, coast. Look, coast. One, two, coast, mud flats, right side, tidal island. Every map is like that. You have lines directly pointing you towards things. And I always said one thing, follow the road, right? If you don't follow the road, follow the side, follow the wall. And you'll get to your destination, always, without fail. Uh, okay, veiled. Ugh. I need to do veiled bow, right? Bow... Bow axe. Like, I, am, I don't know how every league you find something that's, like, obvious. And it's, like, it's been there. You've, do, you've done it so many times, and you still find it interesting. The base for six. No! 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 You have to color it first. No! Oh, my God! Cookie! I told you! Get the chest! Get all the jewelers and all the chromes and come to me! Come to my hideout. No, we cannot color that shit before. Do you want to spend 3,000 colors on it? I mean, if you want, I I won't pr protest, right? Like, if you want to spend 3,000 colors on it, sure. Get all the colors, all the jewelers, and come to me. And I'm going to explain the thing. Oh my god, he only has 20 colors. Okay, so here's how it works. The colors on an item are dependent on what the item's requirement is. If an item has energy shield requirement, mostly it's going to roll blue. Never mind, I hit it with one color. Oh my fucking god, I hit this with one color. Wait. 
I'm going to six link it for you. What the fuck, dude? I hit beast with one color. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> what the actual shit, dude? Four green, two red. Four green, two red. Oh my god! I actually hit Biss in one freaking color! You owe me 40 chaos, by the way, for the sixth link. But, wow! Wow! Okay, um, you need the gems now, right? Danke. You need the gems now. So, single target goes in the body armor. AoE goes in the weapon. Let me look for a weapon for you. How, uh, what's the budget? What do you have right now? Oh my god. Uh, tell me in uh, in stream chat. One D, yeah, we ain't gonna fit with one D. How much is that in Dogecoin? Yeah. Well, technically, the, the, this one is the best one, but this one's like oh, it's attack speed. Ugh. Um. Hmm, let's see. I'm thinking about buying this one. To a level of all spell skill gems is gem caster. It's a caster mod. You would roll it with a caster. It needs to be item level 50. Okay. Well, Cookie, we're gonna play the game. Uh, point four. Two, four, six. No, 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 no. We're gonna play a game. Three to a level of all fire spell skill gems. We're gonna play a not so nice game, okay? Actually, I mean, that's fine. Crafting bench, we said it's a caster, right? Caster, 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 caster mod. That's 75 blue. That's a very low chance to roll, by the way.
Fireball in chest, yes. Read the chest piece. Good chance to roll plus five with grave crafting. I don't know. I would rather skip grave crafting to be honest. I know. I know, I know. I'm painfully aware. What if I roll with fire? Let's make this one better version of... What is fire? Fire is uh, vivid. Okay, cool, vivid. Let's roll burning damage and spell and fire damage, right? Yes, cookie. Fire damage to spells is bad. No. Speed is speed is the worst one, right? Because it's going to be ooh, 33. 32% cast speed. This actually will work though. Power is 180 C, I know. That's why you don't get empower immediately. Empower is the last one that you get. Oh shit, I don't have yellow juice. Um this is good. Three strike transfer spells, damage over time, multi. That's good. And then we can do um uh, not forty crafting fire increased fire damage. Chance to ignite seventy three to eighty percent. Yes, there we go. That's better than your current one. I mean, I can just lucky exit. Do you have an exalted shard, Kukim? How to get the white socket without breaking the item? Um, Omen of Blanching. Will be consumed when you use a chromatic orb to make one to three sockets become white. It's 30 chaos. You got literally one shard. That's Pog. That's exactly what we need. Oh, where music? Music? Hello? YouTube? Dude, YouTube is so stupid, man. I freaking hate YouTube. Like, YouTube is getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Okay. I rather won't. This is better than your... This is better than your Lathy. 
because it's plus three. It has more fire damage, more more multi and everything. This is better than your Laffy. Okay. Uh, the problem is I cannot six link that now. Now I gotta... Gotta six socket it. Oh, there we go. Six socket. Uh, it needs to be... What was it? Two to two? AoE? Oh, three green. Three, two, one. So it needs to be three green. Laffy, yes. Uh, three green. Okay, so let's see. Wow, cool. Three green, two blue, one red. There we go. Three green, two blue, one red. And now I need to get you a beast. By the way, Cookie, this is basically what you had. Uh, one divine and... Yeah, I mean, one divine and ATC minimum. Um, For, for this. Plus the juice. But that's fine. Uh, do I have... I do. Einhar, Beasts, Copy, Morrigan. Okay, so I won't do Breach here, I'll just do Quantity. Crow, Herd, Duplicating, and Einhar. Click. Um, I'm not touching any of these. This is fine. Okay, let me just go grab a Morrigan. This is going to give you an additional plus one to your, um, to your spells, right? And it's better than the Lathy that you have. And you can... I wouldn't uh, exalt it orbit. The reason why I stopped myself is if you if you exalt orbit and you hit and you hit fire damage to spells, it's it it becomes worthless, right? You cannot hit any flat damage on spells. Well, especially like uh, uh, one second, Shizu. Because if you hit flat damage with spells, it fucks up with your. Um, Fucks up your your thing, right? But that was a lot of juice, man, that I spent there. That's fine. We're gonna grind it BX slowly. Although, does it have cast speed? It doesn't have cast speed. That's fine. That's fine. Still way, 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 way more damage. What the fuck is this one? Evasive. And then the next one is gonna be like... A lot of divines, right? To hit. Mm, I mean, I can try to, to make something from the graveyard. Mm. To see if that works. <laughs> Einkar bugged. Lama. I two fireballs one for you. Why? You you can't have both. I mean you can, but then you have to gem swap all the time. Do you want to gem swap all the time? No. <laughs> There's also another option where um, you can you can have um, a tankier version of the build, dealing less damage, but you have to have two weapons. 
One for AoE, one for single, and then you have to weapon swap, so you have to press X whenever you want to do single target. So do you want that version? We can do that version too, it's fine. It's tankier, has way more health, way more damage. Not way more damage, less damage. Yeah, but when your when your one weapon costs twenty five divines minimum, and you need two of the same ones, my oh my god, stupid eggs, man. Yeah, sponsor graveyard, Kevia, true. Yeah, I gotta see. I gotta see if I can make uh, if I can make that kind of thing. Like at this point, I am legit lost. Oh yeah, I know I know how to do the crafts, don't worry. Like I, I know how to do crafts. Oh still I have half my coffee. Half my coffee after four hours, nice. Oh, I worry. Nah you don't worry. You never worry. I'm thinking about saving for Mage Blood or for Omni. I don't know which version to go for. I'll probably go like Mage Blood. Most likely. No worries. This ain't gonna be done soon. Mage but with Omni. Yeah, yeah, I don't have uh, I don't have money for that, right? I mean, currently I have like what 64 divines. Once Cookie gives me his his one, that I'm gonna have 65. So I don't have that much. That's the problem. I also want to bring this build to like a higher ground, right? But the build that I found, like... Like, I have a way of how to build this build, right? Like, I have a very, very good way how to do this build. The problem with this build... Sure. Um, maybe Gravisius. Um, the problem with it is like it, it does require mage blood, right? Okay, so that should be it. Now, waypoint, menagerie. I'm running out of six linked beasts. Like, I'm running out of these, these asses. Okay, here we go. I mean, that wasn't that expensive. That was like, what, um, almost three divines for this. Damage over time multiplier, crit chance for spells, which helps him with his uh, elemental thingy, thingy majingy. So there's that.
Okay, so I need to put in... Uh, what do I need to get here? I need... Weapons, flasks, rings from Riker. Okay, so here are these. Cookie goes into currency. These are mine. Veiled. Okay, now... I need to pick up everything veiled and put it inside because SFK wants veiled items. Oh shit, these might be good. Prefix? Prefix. Hello. Two to socketed melee, melee strike range. This damage converted to cold. Isn't there. Oh shit, fizz converted to cold might actually be good here. Yeah, Fizz converted to cold might actually be good here. Yep. As I said. Fizz converted to cold and then there are modifiers on gloves that say PODB. That say more Fizz converted to cold modifiers. Um, gloves decks. Convert. No. So it's eater. Convert. Yep. Physical converted to cold. To this is to fire. Converted to cold. There we go. Physical converted to cold. So you can actually get fizz converted to cold here. Like more fizz converted to cold, right? So it's good resistances. This you can do damage while leeching. These are decent. These are not the best, but these are decent, right? Like 71 resistances. Oh, let's see. Let's see those that are five. What do they have? Dex, life, mana. Nah, it has dex. Six. Uh, six is spell suppress, so it's not even a close. Um, this is crafted life. Okay, yeah. So let's let's craft something here. Mm. To making um some gloves. I can do damage while leeching or prod gems. Or AoE gems, even. I mean AoE gems, and then I can ask to... Uh, I just saw a good pair of gloves, right? Uh, Cookie. Um, Cookie, staff is in the currency tab. Put your 1 Divine and 80 Chaos in, uh, in the thing. Uh, AoE is whatever, because, like, AoE is, uh, is auras. Availed... Sadly, you are now moneyless. I took all your money. Mm. Watch my vid on what? I mean, you can. Keep in mind, I paid 18 divines for my staff. So, now it's 20 something, but... It's fine. It's nothing too too bad. Okay, these need to be Rikers rings. They need to be prefix. So what is what is confusing you? Suffix Riker's Veil.
Okay, if I get if I actually don't get it now, I'm gonna be so mad. Riker's Veil. Vale. There it is. So it's suffix. There you go, Pog. Yeah, Lathe is garbage, I know. Like Lathe is extremely cheap. Thank you. I appreciate. Whenever you want, you can drop in some juice. I shall always take juice. Okay. Uh, so these are flasks. That's... I'll never remember. I keep forgetting. That's knife. Do I have any more veiled items? Veiled... Nope. Good. Um, so I need a knife. By the way, damage is going to be Kabu. Knife. Axe. Wand. Bow. Cool. So damage is going to be... Ugh. Like damage is now going to be insane. Staff is AoE, chest is is mel is uh, is mania. So basically, how are you playing that? You're playing it. You don't need that much damage on the staff itself, right? But you need everything else. Like you need you need the damage for a single target. Like single target damage is insane, right? However, Empower is expensive, so Empower is your next, uh, next upgrade, right? Because you, until Empowered, you're running on, um, on, like, a, a pseudo six link. Now, uh, let me see, what do you, what do I have in the single? Fireball, Swift Affliction, Deadly Amens, Unite Proliferation, Empower, Burning Damage. Um... You can put... On your single target, Cookie. You can put Inspiration on until, until you get in power. Just to fill in the, the last slot. Inspiration is going to give you elemental damage and crit. That's that's fine, whatever. And it's going to make it cost less. But until Empower, you put that. Okay, uh, one second, Toilet. The damage should be should be like pretty decent now. Like you should you should be enjoying it. Oh, we have 16 more stack decks. Have an extra grave. Oh my god, increased chance of attack modifiers. Never mind. Um okay, stack decks. Stark Darks. Stackity deckity. Hope. Yes, I hope. For a zing. Nope. 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 
Okay, uh, let's let's finish cleaning the the quad hub dumps because um, mucho garbago, yes. Okay, these Kitava's thirst we always corrupt. Cold leached his life. That's nothing. Call. Okay, so here's one more thing what we always corrupt. We always corrupt Starakonya. Nice. We always corrupt Curtain Call. We always corrupt Snake Bite. Snake Bite with Caspian. Yeah. Starakonya with 2 to level of Aura Gems. Is actually 50 chaos. Cool. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, boop. Everything else is like whatever. Circle of Benevolence, does anyone do that? No. Okay, I'll save one Berek's grip. One Berek grip. Oh, I already. Oh, Berek grips, Berek pass, and I need Berek's uh, respite for the taming. Um, boom, 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 boom. boom. Elevore, we always corrupt. Elevore, click, nothing. Bisco, that's already corrupted. Dance Contempt, no. Crown of Eyes, nothing. Council, nothing. Everything else is worthless. Okay, uh, this is Lynx. Do I corrupt the Salio? Yeah. 49 frequency. Choto Mattia. I'm so sad about this Bisco, though. Um, Shotomatia, 49% frequency. One chaos. Cool, we corrupt you. Dexterity intelligence. Sad. 100 chaos, 3 divine. Okay. 100 chaos. Next. Oh, actually, I could put uh, that here so I don't have to think about it. Boop. And that's how heavy deals with uh, with these items, right? Okay, boop. Sorry, Wings of Entropy. Embalmer, we always corrupt. Uh, Blunderbore. Ah, oh, we can. Nothing. Let's take out it. Oh, 53 dexterity. That's tier 1 dex. Actually, this. 53 on Ruby. Two divines. Thank you. Pyroshock Clasp with 486 armor, or pardon, evasion. Nothing, really? Interesting. Uh, 33, that's whatever. This, this, uh, Dune, Skuyabiri, whatever. Click, uh, stay the same. This one. Black Sun Crest, we save, but on the sign it, we can sell actually, because that's always good to sell. Uh, ephemeral Bond, Stone of La Joie. Le Hip et Eul. What is this? Mid roll. Okay, we wait on that. Time to level gems. Yes, indeed. Armor, whatever. And Black Heart, which is 10 to 25 and lowest roll. We trash garbage. Even the Chaos one. Okay, so apparently this one's expensive. Now, why? Why are you expensive? Well, because it's uh, fractured with uh, with stuff. Never mind. I shall take two divines. Um, Black Sun Crest we put up here. Uh, Berg's Grip I have. Le Hoopa Fall I can put there. Perandus we put. Uh, tempered flesh and moind. Oh, moind, yes, we put here because we need that. Incubator here. Quad dump. Okay, we sell. Uh, Ash's mirror is like nothing. Uh, Sapphire's flame stay the same. There's nothing else here. Embalmer, nothing. Knockback, nothing. 
Sad. Triumvirate with elusive. That's worthless. Oops, I didn't sell that. That's completely fine. Okay, Lionize Vision. Nothing. Red Blade Banner! Hello! We corrupt you. Cling. Nothing. Oh, it's worthless to even sell. Severed in sleep. Hello. Story of the Val, it's Fate of the Val. Okay, so we keep that. Crown of Eyes, we cut up. Nothing. Sadge. Bisco. That's a shit Bisco, though. It's a shit Bisco. Um, okay, so Severed in Sleep. Do I want to... Severed in Sleep. Yeah. But there is Severed in Sleep and there's United in Dream. Let's see. 25 Envy, 29, 29, 60, 60, 5, 5. So they have nothing else. Yeah. Well, click. It's worthless. Sorry. Goodbye. Um, this goes here because this needs a vial of fate, which I do not have. And this goes here because that's good. Next, doop 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 doop. United in Dream, yeah, yeah. Severed in Sleep and United in Dream, yep. Victorio, Elevore, we always corrupt. Burning damage, burning damage. Oh, look at that! Another Severed in Sleep. Okay, Embalmer, Severed in Sleep, Wrecked, Wrecked. Storm's Gift. Nothing. Sintrek. Nothing. 15 LRS. Additional Curse. Wow, I bricked every single item I corrupted here. Holy shit, man. Wow, what are the odds to brick Every single item. Wow, okay. There you go, that's clean. Okay, so how much is Perandus? Mana, mana, whatever. 15 kills. Well, 15 kills. Okay, next. What depends you? On what cooking? I don't even know why I'm picking weapons anymore. Ah, movement speed poison, nice. Worthless, fist converted to fire, rare now. Uh, lightning, uh, lightning conversion, let's see. Lightning conversion, lightning life regenerate. That might be sellable, I'll do it for 20. Okay, what do we have? Evasion, lightning res, no. Global crit, no. Nah. Low, uh, 41 life, mana, no, low, mana, low, low, nothing, nothing, too low, chaos resistance, evasion, intelligence, okay, I can craft life on that, that's whatever, mana, mana, hit, ele damage, evasion, no, no, that's worthless, okay, so we... Vial of Dominance. I haven't seen... Oh my god, nice. I just need the Slave Drivers. Um, there we go. So this one needs a hit. 33 Intelligence. That's not too bad. Click. 42 mana. That's bad. Um, this needed life. What is this? Fire Damage, Chaos, Cold, Cold. That's... Whatever. Uh, life. Okay, let's see. Poop, poop. This I, I said twenty. Okay, so let's do this one. Hit you with this one. Tier two fizz. Nice. Click. 
Nine strength. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Um, this goes for 20 and 20. And this one is... Click. Dead. Sad. Okay, what is this Sanctum? 83 with item level 85. Holy shit, man. Okay. Quadum here. Oh my god, there's more. Oh, this is good. Mana evasion, lightning resist. Okay, so this might be good. Uh, craft uh, life. Life this 15, 1, 1, 20 chaos, easy. That's my first void stone. He dropped a forbidden flesh. Oh, do you want me to identify it? Do you want to come by it? Okay, come over here. Lightning accuracy cold. That's actually insanely good. Okay, we can do a life here. Uh, cold accuracy. Yeah, this can this can maybe go for twenty. Feel free to trade whenever. This might actually good for RF. Yeah, you can you can trade me whenever by the way whenever you're ready perfect that made it instantly garbage let's see so you want to you want to identify it you don't want to you don't want to sell it like that you want to identify it let me just confirm that right 85. So you want to identify it. Let, let's just confirm it. See, maybe it's something good. Maybe not. Although it's item level 85. Yeah, ID. Okay, good. 3, 2, 1, click. Inevitable judgment. Critical strikes ignore enemy monster elemental. This is Templar. Yeah, it is. Non-crit strikes penetrate 10%. Congratulations! Six divines. There you go. Congratulations. Zing! Enjoy! That's a nice little gamba! Well done! Thou hast won the gamba! No, thank you for providing content! Low, 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 low. Dude, all of these are shit. Why are you all shit? Look at that. All of that shit. Got a bug. That's gonna allow you to, to upgrade your build a little bit more, which is great, right? Uh, chaos resistance, energy shield, recharge rate, fire resistance, mana, energy shield. Okay.
Interesting. I mean, if you don't know, 10 divines, by the way. Uh, what do we have? Max energy shield, fire chaos, added fire, energy shield recharge rate, armor and energy shield. I mean, increased energy shield, right? These are pure energy shield. Okay, so those can maybe go for 10 divines. Maybe. 10 divines. This game is so darn fun. No, I don't even want to bother with this. Ah, do I? Damage over time, lightning, max life. Okay, we've all this. Spell damage, fizz damage, attack speed once, man, reservation efficiency. Maybe. Sad for that life, man. Okay. Okay, so we got two items to hit. Fire resistance, mana regenerate, max life, light radius, both both poofed. Sad, both poofed, man. I'm thinking about buying some tattoos. I gotta see how much they are. I'm actually thinking about buying some tattoos. Nope. 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 Uh, I'll see that in a second, Cookie. One one that could be sold. What a sad, sad thing. So sad. Poison just shield. No, that's so shitty rolls, man. What'd you say, Kikazaro? Is there an ring of the market that cannot be poison? Shit, shit, but that's Kikazaro. Because, like, um, let's see, online, offline. Because nobody's corrupting Kikazaros. That's the thing. Right? Like, it, it's a Kikazaro, dude. Like, nobody, nobody does, does wear Kikazaro after the first, I don't know week this is actually good okay 50 chaos so yeah that's that's the problem with kikazaru right it's not that it's a bad ring it's just that it's a leveling ring it's nothing to write home about right Where they put tattoos? There you go. Mark. Who is the effect of your marks? So it's like ten of them for a divine. Salia Scout. Okay, I still have these. That's fine. I still have 
these. For some odd reason, I have this one, Ember of Ash. Oh, yeah, right. The um, Shizu gave me this one. Yeah, yeah, Shizu gave me that one. That, that was low level. I can't use this one. That's sad. Uh, Cookie, here's an Ember for you. Top right. Enjoy. Empty, empty. I need Agnarod North. East, South. East, Agnarod North and West. Okay, that's fine. Map Regex is there. That's fine. Okay, so let's go and level a little bit. Bargain, bargain. There we go. Boop. Uh, two, four, six. Cool. Two, four. Zoff. Six. Strongest monster drop off was converted to. Ah. Huh. I can do four, right? And I can do two of these. Let's go! Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's that's a far one. My mana is gone. Okay. Let people play the game. Let people play the game. But they are playing the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah your game. Come on, let, let people play the game. Let people, let people lurk, man. Let people lurk. Is that Ash? That is Ash. Well, that's Ash gone. He can, but let let him lurk. Let him play the game. I know it's it's getting late, and I know it's Monday tomorrow, but like, come on, you need to play the game too, man. What using just your mouse? How would you exit the game? You would press left click menu. You would click options. Hmm, actually, not here. Menu. Ah. Interesting. Alt F4, come on. Of course you know. Jesus Christ. What the coder. What coder are you? You want me to betray that... Jesus, my man over here is a coder, doesn't know how to leave a game. Come on, dude. No, oh, from within the game. Dad, stop doing silly stuff. Oh, 
Okay. You're you're old. Yes, but they would play on a controller, so they wouldn't use a mouse. Dude, you know that Path of Exile has support for controllers, right? Please tell me you do know that. Path of Exile actually has support for controllers. Because it does. So, like, people with disabilities, they would actually... Oh my god. That's dangerous. People with disabilities would actually play on a controller. No, there's no crossplay. No, no, no. There's no crossplay. You can, however, choose your input. I thought there's a little bit of shit that was okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it messes up some stuff, right? But um, controllers should be fine. Yeah, you can plug the controller in and play on PC. Exactly. Exactly my point. Really? Already? Full inventory, Jesus. Yeah, there are some things that are very bad, right? You always have to have some things that are very bad. Mm. By the way, guys, from tomorrow onwards, I will also make... Um, start making videos about like I will make the graveyard video probably tonight maybe tomorrow um but from tomorrow onwards I will start making the I will continue with my what's it called um PoE for dummies uh, rework revamp basically that one and I will start making um, PoE for dummies bosses just so you know. So bosses are coming in for the, the next next thing of videos, right? Please don't explode me. You surprise me, Yes, I mean you're seeing it. I wanted to make Domachileba today, but I was like, oh shit, I have some like we call them pies. Pita, right? I have some pita, some pitas in uh, the. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Double tool, hello, yes, I love him, man. Um, in the freezer, so I basically defrosted those. Wow, this one's tankier than the boss. Look at that. And uh, I ate that with some uh, ham. Welcome back. How's the breaching? Fun. It's it's freaking fun. Like breaching is freaking fun. Picking up splinters is a little bit annoying, but breaching is really fun. And also there's an insane amount of scarabs that drop, right? Because I'm doing the the scarab strat as well with them. I still haven't seen the the five divine card drop 
So I might need to roll my maps a little bit more aggressively, but uh, I'll roll that later when I feel safer, right? So you're changing the build to what? What are you changing it to? What did you decide on? Didi? <clears throat> so have you decided on Didi or have you decided on something else? AW? Huh? The heck is that? We're boss. We're boss. I'm guaranteed a boss. There you go. There, boss. I want the head hunter. To farm this, I want the head hunter. Oh, animate weapon. Ah, are you going with the disappearing weapon? The dancing dervish? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know how that works, so. Oh, double, let's go, dude. I love it when Chayula doubles, man. Chayula is the only one that doubles. Ah, that's it. There's no more. So, you're liking the build. Are you playing now for fun or for progress? You know what Oshabi says? She says, why fight progress, yes? Four Grand Eldritch Ember. Why fight progress? Nice. Oh shit, Stain Steve, let's go, dude. Okay. Don't overspend. Oh, I have Chayula. Chayula. And then Ash. This is not gonna be a fun map. I fucking hate Ash mobs. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, this is the cold one. With three. Ash mobs are very, very dangerous, right? Because they're literal assholes. Because of how... Um, uh, what's it called? How lightning works. Lightning is the damage in the game that has the lowest minimums and the highest maximums of damage, right? Oh my god, I got maimed. Ooh. All was like... All at all was like, Yo, bitch, I'm gonna hit your face with my axe. And I'm like, No, please, mister. Don't hit my face. Anything but the face. 
He's like, nope, it's gonna be the face. And I'm like, no. And then he hit me. Asshole. What's going on? Explosions. All the splinters have the sound effects to them. So every splinter that drops has a sound effect attached to them. That's why I'm not missing them, right? Because... Oh, double ash. No, wait, is that Shayula? That's Shayula. Fuck me, man. Shayula's Bridgestone! Let's go, bitches! Let's go, bitches! Life is great. Life is worth it. Yes, dude! What? Goodbye. Ah, uh, star konya. Okay, that's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna get hit once, maybe twice. Hmm. Beep, beep, beep. Oof. Oh shit, Divine Orb! Divine Orb! <laughs> Let's go, dude! Oh, I haven't heard that sound in a while. That's musique to my ears. Oh man, that's such a lovely sound to hear. Oh, I love it. Where's my fuck yous? Oh my freaking Ash God! Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Ashes, Ashes mob with, uh, with Soul Eater. Oh, I'm so happy, dude. Yes, there's my fuck you. Love you. That was good. By the way, every single one of these maps gives a shit ton of loot and experience, right? I mean, I'm not chasing level 100, but like I'm level 95 right now, and it's feeling pretty darn good. Like every every like map is like five ish percent experience, which is very good. This way, exile. Oh man, a proper divine. Haven't heard that shit in a while. No, why a dig? Oh my god. The combination of mods, hello. Let's go. That's a problem, by the way. Stupid bestial roar. Oh, the freaking beast, man, with a temporal bubble that you can't attack. Whee! I haven't put on incubators. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I just remembered. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I didn't put on incubators again. I again forgot. 
Oh, and I have like six, seven thousand monsters in my maps even. Hmm. Eldritch Exalted, nice. And a full Chayola Bridgestone. Mayan. Okay, uh, incubators. There you go. What alt weapon gem leveling? Uh, alt weapon gem leveling. I always level alt weapon gems. By the way, do not apply incubators to alt weapons because uh, they don't uh, uh, count for weapon for like uh, killing. Oh my god! What the hell? Did you see another soul eater? Fucking did, man. So Ash's soul eater monsters are awful. Like Ash has the worst soul eater monsters. The worst. I'm sorry, I can't. I literally cannot read chat or focus on, on anything else when I'm like uh, doing this. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, oof, time to sleep. Enjoy your sleep. Have fun. You have 100% chance to contain in breaches. By the way, once this shit procs. This one, your maps that contain breaches have 1% chance to contain 10 additional breaches. That's when the shit hits the fan, by the way. That's when the shit actually hits the fan. That's when it becomes insane. Oh, is that a six link? No, it's a six socket. But why did it? Whatever. Like I've only had it happen to me a few times and every time it had happened, it had been, oh my God, so juicy. I need to go and plant those graves. Those graves will never sell, by the way. I put them for 50% off. 50% off. They will never sell. Just how that stupid mechanic is. I'm still in soul gain prevention. There we go. Scarab of Monstrous Lineage. Nice, let's go, dude. Okay, that's clean. Nice. Whew, okay, I need to do June after this one. Whew. 
the amount of scarabs that drop is insane, by the way. So if you do this strat, this is so fun. I should be safe up here, yeah. Phasing, that's a problem. Okay, let's see a ritual. What do we have? Okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I can pick up is the mortal rage, right? That's the only thing worth picking up. How much is hope? 12. There you go. I'm fine. Oof. Okay. That map brought brought money. Look at the amount of breach rings, man. Okay, I have to do this volatility. Um I have to sell my gems soon, TM. There you go, volatilities, boom and boom. Then we go June. Show investigation. Intervention. Let's go. Too bad I can't do like uh, this. And this. Like. Oh well. By the way, I fully managed to fix uh, stutters in, in Path of Exile, and it had everything to do with the um, polling rate on my mouse. Wh why is that a thing? I don't know. Because I use a wireless mouse, like it has a polling rate, which is basically the report rate of the mouse, what it, what it does. And the moment I reduced the polling rate to 500, like permanently, like stutters just like stopped. Which, which is like stupid, right? But... It is what it is. Okay. Dude, I'm having so much fun blasting this with this build. Crazy good. Riker. Boop. Uh, I think I did everything in regards to in regards to to him. I just need now I just need like bow, wand, her like flask, and I'm basically done. Oh, blessed orb. Why not? Fling. And dude, this elements are set is cool. Although I'll have to write to GGG support to ask them when is my hoodie and when is my t-shirt arriving, so that's a little problem. So when are they arriving? Okay, um Yeah, we continue. Oops. My bad. Oh, I need to buy... Does anyone have all flame members? Can I bulk buy them? How much are they? If I bulk buy them and they're like 10c a pop. F 
flaring all flame ember of ble breach lords pack monsters can drop breach but pack monster a chance to leave corpses with a special craft wow look at this one for eight one for eight and it's 150 right 150 by 8, it's 20k. These guys are freaking drunk, I swear to god. Uh, bulk all flame reach. They're selling for 15 each. Meanwhile, they're 1c each. These people are drunk as shit, man. Okay, and if I buy them for Chaos... Yeah. See? One Chaos. Low stuff, Shizu. Very low. Very low. Ash, 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 ash. Bog. Uh, max, direct, max, direct, max, direct. Come on, people, sell me your breach stuff. I don't know if 79 is gonna cut it, but 78 ain't easy. I mean, I don't care. Took like two months to get my hoodie. Two months to get your hoodie. Try five to get this one. And five to get uh, one. Also, welcome to the YouTube stream. Sorry I didn't notice your message. Like, I tend to not notice YouTube messages. I'm an idiot, but it is what it is. One, two, three, three. I can't do this one, but that's fine. Let's see. But I have to, like, uh, write to them again. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> Always love vlogging. Dude. I need to get more more breach embers.
I need to get more breach embers. I can't use this one, though. No. I don't know if I can use 79 and a 16. This one's an interesting hideout. Thank you. I don't care which ember I'm buying, like, I just want embers, right? Let's see, can I put a 79? 78, no. 79, yes. 79, yes. So 78 I cannot use. Let's see, is there someone, or are there people who have, like, five stars? Plus. I need to be 79 plus. That was like freaking fun. Okay. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Good. He he gave me a Chayula one. Okay, let's see. What you pay? One for two. Okay, direct whisper. Okay, so he, here we are. We are coming into big leagues. We are doing big leagues, boys. Now they are doing it for three. Six eighteen. Got any more breach? Nine, I'm sure. Um, twenty thirty six. Oh, thank you. I will. I was like, you know, it's it's better to have it in in the calculator than to think like I I I know it was like thirty six, right? But it's better to have it in the calculator. Okay, I'm I'm fine for now. Okay, so I have a Chayu. All Metal Zof Tool Ash. Let's get Ash out of the way. Where's that seventy nine?
Let's go, dude. Oh my god, everything's gonna be ish. Nice. That's actually great. I'm glad that's the case. I'm actually glad that's the case. Hey, I mean, it's it's nothing too difficult, right? Just need to make a sort of well-rounded build. Oh my god. I swear to god, if they appear the moment I... Like, if they appear the moment I open the breach, breach hand, I'm gonna piss myself. Well, it's not the moment, but... No, none? I have no time to level my gems. Like, there's there's literally no time to level gems. Where'd the intervention go? Hello? There we go, there's the intervention. Hi. Well, you're all dead now, but... <laughs> they all... They all died from AoE, by the way. Uh, need a build to clear 17s. Um, anything that's like this, this type of thing. Right? That's pure ass elemental with like crit, crit, multi and... Just slam the living shit out of him, right? I I'm not memeing. Like anything that's like this. Like you want more arrows as well. But you want a stronger build. You want uh, like a um, headhunter or instead of going like I went here defensive jewel. Here, Chaos Resistance, all LRS, Evasion, Increased Effect. You can, you need to go 35, Increased Effect, more damage. You don't have to go that one. You can go a different, different route, right? I'm thinking about swapping the, the thing to something else. That, that Cluster Jewel to something else. Yes, I'm a Parandus, but how much does that really mean anymore? Are there more? I won't judge you. You remind me what deal than sure. kill you, old man. So like anything that you can that you can get your hands on that does like flat out damage, right? Is very good. Cock Didi is cheap. Oh there we go. There you go. Hello, Master. <laughs> master Pater. Pater. You could have called yourself Master Bater. Could have baited some people. Just kidding. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Yeah, that's a guaranteed zing. That does not count. Let's see. Is this not? No, this is off. Okay, cool. Let's go, dude. Dude, where where are my Zestulas like clasped hands? Like wh where where's Zestulas clasped hand clasped hands? Hello, Zestula. Hello. My mana is gone. Yeah. Dude, I freaking hate these like temporal bubbles. Uh oh, did I open the hand? I opened the hand. Fuck. I didn't plan on opening two hands. And that's Chayula. No, that's Ash. Oh. That is Chayula. Bridgestone! Let's go, dude! Money return! Hello! Oh, man. That's so good. That feels so good. Let's go, dude. Oh. <sighs> I gotta admit, this would be way more fun. Way more fun. If I did... If I had a headhunter. Like, this would be way more fun if I had a, uh, a headhunter. Hey, Ray. 
I think a good time with Bleed Glad and SSF. Uh, Bleed Gladiator and SSF works definitely. You cannot get... Head Hunter is very cheap, yes, but I don't want to buy it. Um, I'm just stating a fact. Um, when it comes to the SSF version, one thing that you would swap is basically you would... Um, well, I don't know how you guys sort uh, LM, like ailments, right? But... You can craft a different chest. I don't know how that's viable. It's not today. Ruti. Here's that. Here's that. Here's that. Please. 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 Come on. Please. I'm just saying it would be way more fun. Headhunter breaks the game for me. That's why I don't have it. That's why I gave three of them away. Well, you said Headhunter is 22D. How poor are you? I showed you that I'm not as poor as you might think. However, I don't like game-breaking shit. Which is technically a headhunter, right? Even though it's it's really fun to play with it, uh, it, it breaks the game. <laughs> what the... Aye. So all in all, when it comes to when it comes to SSF, it can it can work. Um, farming owl's neck is a tedious process. It can be done. Whatever. Um, everything else you can pretty much craft yourself. That's completely fine. You would have to sort out uh, ailment immunity and whatever on the other hand i don't know how you would sort that but it actually works as an ssf build i just don't know how it would work later on i know but like to me it breaks the game like it, it would make it fun for like 10 20 30 maps and then i'd be just like yeah this is boring right i would rather have a mage blood and um do like sanctums than have a headhunter yeah, Endgame Gear is supposed to make you feel broken. I know. But it's like, man. I want to enjoy this build. I want to level it. And then I will change it to something else. I'll probably play something with that uh, Paradoxica of mine. But this is this is like really fun for me. Like this, uh, this stupid thing with the breach. It's just like, uh, I don't have a problem using a Headhunter. Keep that in mind. Like, I don't have a problem. The the problem that I have with a headhunter is I want to like if I want to make a build guide whatnot, I want to play the build so I can show it to people, right? Once I decide to level to 100, I'm taking the a headhunter and I'm leveling to 100 with it, right? That's basically it. But until then, I'm fine, right? I still need a lot of other shit, right, before I even start going into, into a headhunter thingy. But mage blood mage blood would be would be a thing I would I would pick up, yes. Same start as on mage blood is not game. Um Ruti, with with that you can safely play Bleed Bow Gladiator. Safely. Because uh, you take all the spell suppression from the tree. And then uh, once you get spell suppression gear, you start removing the spell suppression from the tree and you add clusters. That's exactly how you build a Blade Bow Gladiator. I didn't even know that my build was SSF viable until... <coughs> a few people actually mentioned it. Progenesis 71 divs, Jesus Christ. That's a lot. You don't have to go. You don't have to go for Raislatha. You can you can go for Belt of the Deceiver, and it's going to serve you well, right? You can go for Raislatha later. Like you don't have to. You don't have to go for it if you like find it, chance it, um, dip cards it, whatever, right? Like you you don't have to go for it in terms of oh, it's a mandatory item. It's not, right? And uh, Owl's Necklace gives you Malevolence. So basically, well, it makes Pride free, right? 
So basically you can either go, if you find Owl's Neck and you, you get Malevolence, good, right? You can use it. It's perfectly usable even with Malevolence. Why? Because then Malevolence is free and Pride costs mana. So it's ir irrelevant what you, what you take, which one, unless it's uh, like Grace. However, like, I mean, Grace I would save on the side because then you can make some other silly shit, right? But otherwise, oh, yes, dude, best hand ever. There you go. But you, you can make it work. You can, you can make it, make it work. How was the damage? No idea. And now that you can craft like any literal bow that you would like, to be honest, that's, that's about as perfect as you might go, right? I don't know about you guys, but I find this extremely fun. Tiring, but fun. Whee! And yeah, if you if you follow my my build guide, you can actually see the changes from where you get stuff on the tree versus when you start adding stuff. But yeah, you can, Belt of the Deceiver probably drops all the time, even in SSF. So that's a very very good starter belt. And then just uh, build up. Oh, Bridge Scarab of the Dreama. Hello, Chayu Scarab. That's why I'm burning. I'm an idiot. I forgot I did that one. That's why burning damage hurts now. I'll go change that immediately. We're going to trade, we're going to clear the wrong cards, bossing. Uh, bossing is not painful and slow, bossing is really good. I mean, I can show you bossing, bossing is really good. It's really easy and good. It's quite fun. Even. You just run around and that's it. I mean, I cleared feared with, uh, with a bow, right? With a thicket bow. Bleed pops are amazing. You can also play if you... If you want to go trade, you can also play um, Bleed Bow uh, Rupture. I play that, that's why this, this character's name is Rupture, but I swapped to something direct because I, I want to like level this build up and I want to do Sanctums at the end of the day. And um, you can go Bleed Bow Rupturing, you do Raider and you take uh, Rupture from the... From Dede. It's like 30, 40 chaos for the Ascendancy, right? And it does bonkers damage. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. F1SKNN. That's that's a name. Thank you for the follow. And welcome to the Strum. Welcome to the, the Breach Destruction. And Ray as well. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Okay, so do I have enough rings? Not even close. Jonathan, nice to meet you. <laughs> I don't know how to say your Twitch name. <laughs> okay, more breach. Let's go. Um. Okay, so we now take... Wait, I got two actual... Ooh, nice poggers. Embers. Boop, boop. So, tool... Oh, pokers. How many tools? All of the tools. Kaboom. <laughs> Jonathan from GGG? <laughs> That'd be very surprising. That'd be very surprising. That'd be extremely surprising, right? Imagine someone from GGG stopping over the stream. I'd... I'd lose it, right? That'd be insane. Wait, oh no, they have energy shield. That's such an awful mod.
Uh, Aisling, Camiria, Janos. I can't even do anything. Stop it. Camiria is full. Janos, full. Camiria, removal. Freaking hate that. Okay, that's very good. Yes. Whew. Okay, let's do the things properly now. Bridge Scarab of the Dreamer. Love it, man. Oh my god. Really? Oh, wait. Another one. Wait, what the f... Dude, the, the, the energy shield is so annoying. Okay, so I need to pay attention to energy shield uh, rolls when I do maps. What can I ignore instead of energy I don't have... Um, I'm still not reflect immune. Fuck, man. I could ignore reflect for that. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm still not reflect immune, so that's a problem. Oh, well, it is what it is. And yeah, we'll live through it. Yeah, I mean, if I if I actually go and buy Reflect Immune, this becomes a 40 Divine build instead of 30. Like, this immediately becomes a 40 Divine build instead of 30. If I go Reflect Immune, because that's 10 Divines for two skills. What? Did that get healed? Did you just get healed? Did, did that just get healed? I swear to god I saw Ash getting healed. Okay. Fine. Let's clear the whole thing out and then I'll loot. Yeah, bossing. I love how it feels like I do zero damage meanwhile they have like almost double health. Dude, Soul Eater, man. Suck a penis, man. Jesus Christ. Freaking Soul Eaters, dude. Yeah, this is definitely dangerous. But I gotta admit, this is freaking fun. Nico's Memory of Chasms. Okay, give me give me a second. I seriously cannot reply while I'm while I'm doing this. <laughs> Tools full breach stone. Let's go, dude. That paid itself off. Wait, is that vol? That actually is vol. Okay, I died. Whatever. Oof. Trade micro? What's trade micro? Uh, boop. Yeah, that, that monster mod. Oh, 93% chance to avoid elemental ailments. I'm changing my... I'm actually changing my stupid thing. Oh my god, no wonder that's so bad. Oh shit, son. I can replay in one click? Huh? Replay what? What did I even talk about? What did I even talk? I, ke I keep forgetting what I... Streamer brain, dude. Absolutely streamer brain. Oh. No. Oh, Reply Replying to people in... Like me. Yeah. Yeah, trade macro for trade replies, yeah. I don't even know if I received a whisper, to be honest. I didn't. All Gucci. Okay, so now that I know which mod is annoying... We gotta reroll that mod. I mean, I'm still killing shit, but it's still annoying. 
So it's not the mod that's... Okay, so it's not the mod that I originally thought it was. It's the other mod. So I have to change one mod on my regex. Mm. Hey, blood. Two questions. How many hours do we have in this game? I mean, oh, plenty. Um, I think I'm at around 10k at this point. And I don't have black bars. I'm streaming in ultra wide resolution. So Twitch's video player has black bars. Like, there are no black bars if you have an ultra-wide screen. I'm streaming in full ultra-wide resolution. And Twitch's player is still a little bit iffy when it comes to when it comes to ultra-wide settings. To, to make a comparison, uh, the comparis comparison would be um, like you're watching a movie, right? That's a comparison. Like you're watching a movie. So imagine that you are watching a movie with a guy who's half as entertaining as the movie, and that's basically it. That's the resolution. Oops. So yeah, it's it's not black bars on my end, it's black bars on Twitch's end. And you can make the black bars a um, little bit smaller if you... If you, what's it called, if you do like a full screen, or if you just hide the chat, hide the followers, follows, pardon, list. So you can, you can make it like that. Make it better. And also on the phone, it looks way, way, way better than a regular, regular stream. At least if you ask me, but I ain't gonna play 16 by 9. I'm gonna make 16 by 9 and then... Uh, and then make it like, oh my freaking god. That bear was mad. Okay. And? You think that's going to ruin the experience of watching? Way to speed up snipes. Uh, no, attack speed is uh, the the best way to to speed up uh, snipes. Sadly, play hardcore. No, no, I do not touch hardcore at all. I despise hardcore. I only play trade. I also don't like SSF because um, I like to trade and I like to do stuff. Even though some trade things infuriate me. I still do like to trade. This monster turbo is insane. Holy, this monster turbo is insane. Why not? Because I don't like it. I think that anyone who plays hardcore is wasting their time. That's basically it. Because in a game like Path of Exile, where you don't know what killed you, most often than not, um, hardcore just makes no sense. And also, I like to play. I like to play like rangers and, and characters that don't have that many layers of defense and so on. So that's the reasoning why. Hardcore trade. I don't care about hardcore. Sorry, man. Sorry to burst your bubble. I don't care. I never will. So, like. <laughs> And he gets to level 100 easy. Yeah, and how does he play? <laughs> how does he play? Oh no! Oh no! Log out macro! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Log out! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I gotta play safe! Oh no! Oh no! 7000 life build champion! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no. 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 Zizarin is a very good player. He plays insanely well. But I just cannot sit and play like a little sissy just because, right? I have nothing to prove. And I don't know why would that be like a thing. I'm 95. Like, I, I, have, I have nothing to prove, right? So, why, why, would I, why would I go hardcore, 
play builds I don't like just so I can say I play hardcore. No, that's just... Here, hello, here's the waiver for playing hardcore. What does it mean? I'm wasting my time. Because if my character dies due to unknown bug or whatever, it's permanently dead. And hello, you've wasted 200 hours of your time. No. The lol he wasn't. Why are you comparing me to Zizaran? Where? Why are you doing that? Yes, and? And? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, I didn't do research. So, what does the amount of hours somebody played in the game have to do with anything? Like, I'm trying to figure out the logic, and there's none. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Stupid ashes mobs. Let's get the card challenges we want to do. Okay. And? Hardcore is peak challenge, maybe for you. For me, hardcore is a waste of time. And? If you want to do hardcore, feel free, be my guest, but don't pressure other people into playing a game, a version of the game that you enjoy and people don't. Yeah, and because I die a lot, I don't play hardcore. And I like to play my game risky, right? It's like... What you came you came to a you came to a softcore stream trying to preach hardcore. Okay, I'm just gonna ban you. Just like nah, go fuck yourself. Holy shit! My God, preaching hardcore like oh my God, hardcore is the best thing ever. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's it's a troll. It's just a random troll. Like whatever. Who cares? Imagine. That death was Pepega. Imagine I'm playing a ranger. Imagine I'm playing a dead eye. That death was Pepega. Like, <laughs> dude, imagine. But you know, the, the the best challenge in the game is hardcore. Like, come on, dude. Just let people play what the fuck they want to play. Like, stop being a penis. Because you're a very small one. Whoa. Wow. Like, if I wanted to play like a like a sissy and play like extremely tanky build, I can do that as well, right? Stop trying to, to be annoying, to annoy people to play what you want to play. Just like, go play the game if you want to play. Holy shit, man. And what build does Zizarin play? Every league it's the same shit. It's the best challenge, SSF Ruthless. SSF Hardcore Ruthless, yes. Right? Dude, like, every league you can see Zizarin playing the same thing. No, I would never touch, touch that content. Never. Like, never. So it's like... Come on, man. Stop trying to preach some, some bullshit. Zoff. Okay, Zoff. Tool. Okay, so there's a lot of tool, though. It's it's like... Oh, look, I'm preaching. Uh, elemental ailments. Vulnerability, Fizz Damage Reduction, that's fine. Less accuracy. Yeah, that's fine. This should play a CFHC Ruthless. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. You're coming into a, let's say, low viewership stream, trying to preach how Zizarin is the best guy ever, which... Honestly, Zizarin is a very good dude. Like, he's a very good dude. Like, let's be real. But, you're trying to preach that thing, and then, 
you're like, why aren't you playing hardcore? That's the pinnacle of difficulty. Like, meanwhile, Zizarin is playing one single build, or, well, one, five builds every single freaking league. Why? Because other builds are not hardcore viable. Imagine. Like, Jesus Christ, the audacity, man. Some people. Who's on the level of Diablo 4? Yeah, true, true, true. True. Yeah, he's probably just one of the Andes that cannot cannot play cannot play Path of Exile at all. And like, oh, that death was Pepega. Like, oh. Dude, I'm playing a 3k 3k life archer with like damage and whatnot. Jesus Christ. Was chased by boosted AF Eshes mobs. Like, of course I'm gonna die. If, yeah, imagine Lightning Arrow. I'm not playing Lightning Arrow, though. I'm playing um, Elemental Hit of the Spectrum. But, yes. Imagine Lightning Arrow on, on Hardcore. <laughs> Come on. Here, if you want if you want to say who is the, the pinnacle best player in the, in the world for Path of Exile, Ben is. Zizarin doesn't even hold a candle to him. But guess what? Ben is a speedrunner, Zizern is not. So, like, you, you can't compare. Like, both are extremely good to what they are doing, right? I am a beginner-friendly streamer. My goal is to teach beginners how to play the game. Including all the deaths. And I will never recommend anyone to play hardcore in any game. Because hardcore is a waste of time, as I mentioned before. Like, if you want to have a chill experience, you play softcore and then you don't care about deaths, right? But if you want to want to play something more difficult, you can play a squish your build, right? Imagine. But no. Eh, he's probably one of one of those Andes. Ah, oh, who cares? I'm way past that. Well. <laughs> here's here's one one interesting thing i am personally against logout macro and i believe that logout macro if it's if it should exist right it should only exist in softcore because in softcore it doesn't matter right just kidding, it shouldn't exist anywhere. So, I'm a firm believer of... You're playing hardcore. Fuck you, that's why. That's what I'm a firm believer of, right? If you are logging out, if you're doing the logout macro to log out, you're basically avoiding a death. So every time... Every time Zizarin logged out... Oh my god, holy shit. Wait a s holy sh Fire cold lightning with bow phasing attack speed penne I'd take that Jesus So every time Zizer and logged out I count that as a death Go restart But no he used including Queen including all of the others right I wanna play fun shit I don't wanna play all same the sh same shit every time, right? Th th that's not fun. Playing same shit all the time every time is is not fun to me. Uh, sure, sweetie. Sure. I'll take it for a div. I also need to to like get a better cluster and whatnot. I'll take it. I just have to finish a map, right? Or if you if you get to my hideout, I can I can get there immediately. But yeah, imagine playing a imagine playing a ranger in uh, in uh, what's it called? Imagine playing a ranger in hardcore. How stupid must you be to play a ranger in hardcore, right? Oh no, he died. Why? Not enough defense. Why? Because armor is the best defense in the game. And then what do you do? You do block. 
Like, dude, come on. That's an insane jewel. Holy shit. Thank you. Let's see. Can I can I make it into something? No, I would need one point. Um, okay, I'm gonna put it here because I'm gonna use it later. That's insane, by the way. Phasing on kill. Yeah, that's even better, right? Yeah, that's even better. That's awesome. That's lovely. This one's very good, too. This one's very good. Let's see, boop. Ah, uh, 14. Oh, here's a here's a challenge. Here's a challenge. If you guys if you guys want free of charge, um try to make a build that can kill regular bosses, not not uber variants, right? Try to make a build that can kill regular bosses um, that doesn't use half the items. There's a challenge. Right? <laughs> Does that count as a challenge? There's also a challenge in, like, World of Warcraft where you just play um, whatever you find on the ground, literally. And, um... So whatever you find on the ground and, um... Uh, and only, like, white items and uh, that's it. Like, nothing else. No blues, no greens, or pardon, no greens, no blues, like, nothing. So just white items. That's a challenge, right? It's, it's called an Iron Man challenge. But guess how many people play that? Yes, it's a fruitless. Yep. Yeah, there you go. You can immediately go and have a challenge, right? Like, I just cannot, man. But oh well. Uh, what could I do after a level? I mean, I can put that jewel definitely inside, though. I can check for another jewel. Tool, where are you? Thank you. There we go. Whee! Yeah, he was just an ass, yeah. Usually, like, so far, he was the second person that asked me why the black bars. And the first person was an ass too, right? So, nobody who has ever asked me, why am I streaming with, like, black bars? Out of two, two out of two, right? Nobody was polite. Oh, that's a soul eater. That's a regular soul eater. Oh my god. Do, do, do you want to know how fucked I am? I am very fucked. Ooh, I'm very fucked there. Ooh, that's very bad. Ooh, that's actually very bad. Um, where's the big guy? Thankfully, it's a slow guy, right? But holy shit. And the best part is, here's here's where the meme here's where the meme comes from. Um Zizaran is now playing on an ultra wide screen. He's still streaming in regular 16x9, but he's playing in an ultra wide screen. So, like, everyone's embracing ultra wide. Why not stream ultra wide then? That was a map. Uh, it's not if you stay away from them a little bit. You can do what? Huh? Station. 
playing wide. I am playing in wide. Oh, you are being sarcastic. Y yes, you can, you can, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, look. did he do here oh no wait when did he switch to wide five hours ago he switched back why did he switch back oh never mind okay cute dog cute dog does that there you go cute dog does it he streams in 16 by 9 1920 by 1080 he plays in ultra wide but you have like this this huge chunk you know yeah, Hog as well. Hog as well plays in wide, but Hog... Um... Oh, where? There we go. Like, look. Like, he's also playing in wide, but he's playing in middle wide. So he has black up, black down, right? But I am playing in true ultra wide. I, pardon, I'm streaming in true ultra wide. They're streaming in 16 by 9. I'm streaming in true ultra wide. When you check the stats of my stream, it's 2560 by 1080. And also, if you watch my stream on the phone, it looks pretty darn good, right? You have you need to have an ultra wide monitor, of course. You well, you can change it to wide, but not full screen. You would have to do windowed and then, like... You have to have an ultra-wide screen, of course, logically, right? To play an ultra-wide. But uh, when it comes to... Um, outside of the... Outside of, like, the game and whatnot... 2120 hydrosphere is like nothing. It's 10 chaos. Yeah. And there's way less black bars on the phone than there is on the PC screen. If you're looking at, at a computer screen, right? There's way less. And you can even make it better on a computer if you're having a regular wide screen by popping out the chat and making the and making the stream like fuller right i think i did that yes i did so you can do that even i'm sorry i'm still kind of annoyed from that guy holy shit uh, i won't do trial master Okay, dude, what loot, what insane loot. Look at the amount of breach rings. Look at the amount of breach rings, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm now putting random members. Um, when you vendor 60 breach rings, I'll show it to you after this map, okay? When you vendor 60 breach rings, you get a special uh, chest piece. Ultra wide monitor. Like, everyone is going to ultra wide monitors now. Everyone is going for ultra wide monitors now, man. Like, it's so darn good. Like, once you go ultra wide, you never go back. Like, no meme, no joke. Like, once you go ultra wide, you never go back. It's just an experience and a half. Okay, I'm opening the, the, the thing. I 
I love how, like, bleeding. Yeah, don't care. Dude, man, seriously. I can't level my gems now. Re, re, he can't level his gems now. Why? Because, like, so many monsters. Dude, when am I going to drop the Zeshtula, man? Oh, 19. Oof. Dude, walking over clasped hands is so darn good. Look at this, man. This feels so awesome. However, the problem with, with this thing is uh, so much loot. Uh, what happened to 3D and curved monitors? I mean, curved monitors are still there. I would use a curved monitor if I had like a 40 incher, but that's a waste of money and time and, and whatnot. I feel like the size that I have is perfectly fine. An arena fighter knows. Um yeah we can remove Leo. We can just uh, we can just get something better, right? Um so yeah when it comes to when it comes to like curved monitors if you have, if you have like a wider wider this one that I have is 30 inches. 30 incher pardon and um it is bigger than your regular widescreen monitor, regular 16 by 9 by like 8 centimeters there, 8 centimeters there, left and right. That's like around 3 inches. Left 3 inches, right. Height is the same. So the only difference is the... So height is the same, so the only difference is the actual... Please boss, damn it. Um... The only actual difference is the width. There's nothing else as a difference, right? That's basically it. That's the only difference. And I really like this size. I might, might, might go one size higher, like 32 incher. But I don't think it will look as crisp, crisp, as crisp as this one. Because you are then approaching the territory of, like, lower than 90 pixels per inch. And that's where you actually start noticing pixels. But uh, this monitor I've been using for, like, what, two, three years now? And it's been amazing. Like, I bought it because of Lost Ark. <laughs> I actually did buy it because of Lost Ark. And it was amazing for Lost Ark. Let me get that thing straight. Like, it was... The shit was amazing for Lost Ark. Wait, he died? Jesus Christ, that was instant. It does not look stretched. Yeah, as long as the video does not look stretched and squished. This is not stretched. This is not squished. This is just extended. That's what it is. It's extended. Let me let me tell you, movies on this shit look amazing. Because it's like you're watching you're it's like you're watching a movie. Good job, heavy heels. Well done. Great explanation. Exactly as expected of a teacher. Mo this looks like a movie screen. Imagine watching a movie. It looks like a movie. Imagine. It looks like a movie. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. 
But it looks really, really delicious, right? Ugh, why did it go that way? Oh my god, the amount of currency. Keep in mind, um, if you guys want to like level later, we can do we can do a thing because I'm going to have a lot of breach stones, right? We can set up a leveling party where there's like six of us, and uh, we can we can just level, right? From my movies on the TV. I mean, yeah, you can you can prefer your your movies on on a TV. Um, that's completely fine, but trust me, ultra wide is amazing with with TVs like. Oh, uh, with TVs, with movies, especially those movies that have native ultra wide, not like those those things that make it like uh, sixteen by nine, but then then they put black bars just so they have the effect. So not like those. I mean, for that, hey, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, two divines. By the way, Alva. Alva cost me 20 chaos and then 250 chaos temples. 250 chaos. So 120 chaos for Alva, by the way. 120 chaos for Alva. And I I got 10 divines out of it. 10 divines out of it. 120 chaos that I that I paid. Well, I paid. I made those Alva temples. I only paid 20 chaos for the uh, upgrade thing so that I can upgrade that belt. Void. I forgot to add incubators. Uh, can somebody remind me to actually add stupid incubators? Like, for the love of memes, remind me to add incubators. <laughs> like, SFK is shitting incubators, right? But I'm, I'm forgetting to use them. Uh, by the way, we can measure... <laughs> we can do a dick measuring contest. Hey, <laughs> the garbage. It's irrelevant what they are. They're extra loot, right? Add incubators. Thank you. Like they're extra loot. That's why it's irrelevant what they are. Because if it's garbage, you ignore it. If it's not garbage, whatever. It takes me three seconds to put the incubators on, right? So, it's irrelevant what the incubator is, unless it's talisman, then it's absolute dog shit garbage. Um, but it's literally irrelevant what the incubator is. It takes, you, it takes you three seconds to put them on, and you can get a lot of quality stuff from it from time to time. They do show up as the filter. Of course they do show up past the filter. Any good stuff? Yes. Many six links, many good jewels, divine orbs. I didn't get the mirror yet. From from one. Um scarabs. Like fantastic scarabs. Or in general scarabs, right? There's a bunch of useful shit you can get from incubators. It's just a quantity thing. If you're playing a map where you don't have enough quantity, it's going to feel like like ages and days, right? But dude, let me tell you this. My maps have like 5-6k enemies. Right? Like, my maps have 5-6k enemies easily.
And when your map has that many enemies... You are basically rotating incubators every two maps. I got a path. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god. That ambush was awful. Okay, at least two Chayulas. Let's see. Give me something good. Come on. Ah, damn it, man. Why not Chayula good Chayula? Uh, we will see next map, okay? Like, next map, I will put on... What's scared of the pandemonium? Nice, replicated by random atlas boss. Uh, I will put, like, uh, when when my incubators, like, finish next, right? I will put uh, incubators at the beginning of the map, and we can just count how many, how many monsters there are, right? Like, there's an insane amount of monsters. I really need to go to the bathroom. Okay. Fun. Ash is class 10. Meow. Destruction commences. Ash is the worst one, if you ask me. Oof, that's it. Am I at, like, 264k? Okay. So I think that's basically it. Like, that's that's done for monsters, right? I'll just type it in in chat. And uh, we will we will do a count of uh, how many monsters I, I kill per map. Like, after, after this one. Although, like, look at the amount of currency I'm getting back, right? I still need to... I still need to buy more um, breach embers, but Mayan. Oh, I owe you a vendoring of um, thing, right? I owe you vendoring of uh, 60 breach rings. Isn't that right, Siriki? Yep, I owe you vendoring of 60 breach rings. And we're going to do that in just a second. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oof. One sick. Okay. So, 
Let's do the the things. What do we get? Rat's nest, nothing. Not regular rings, breach rings. Ooh, shoot, I'm missing rings. Wow. There you go. Okay, so you vendor <laughs> 60 breach rings. Boom. And you get superior grasping mail. So that's what you get. This grasping mail. has one modifier that is breach modifier. Eliminate. So... Where's my stuff? There you go. So then you identify it and you see what the modifier is. Chaos damage taken does not bypass energy shield while not on low life. Max mana, armor evasion, energy shield, regen, dex, cold resistance. Armor stacker. There are a lot of these good mods. And then you look for this one. And then you can see how much it is. So this one is apparently nothing, right? And if you go like total LRS, and it's like, it's a grasping mail, right? It's, it's always going to be this grasping mail. So it's like 10 chaos, right? So this one's worthless. So you want to hit one of the good ones. If you chaos orb it, um, it, it changes to a regular thing. Like it, it, you lose the stuff. You don't get. Um, that's a decent chaos orb. You don't get the modifier back. So you only get the modifier when you identify it. No. So you only get the modifier when you identify it. If you. Uh, change it in any way, shape, or form. You don't get the modifier again. Okay, uh, I gotta check. What did I... One second. Okay, Mana Forge Darrows needs to level. That's fine. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to change uh, the um, cluster to something else. Sell this one. Hmm. To go like a regular... Uh, regular cluster. To like gain more damage and whatnot. I mean, there's plenty of damage, you just want to add lightly more. What do we have here? Nice. I'm not up to that just yet. Do, 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 do. There we go. Breach stone bargain. That's very good. Swap a divination card. Ion. Tiny's trial. What is guff in the research? Craft anul exalt spam. 
We have an attack cluster. Hmm. Do so. That's good. We have an attack cluster. I have 12 passive. 8 passive cold damage. Hmm. Okay, here's the thing. I don't have an attack cluster. Hmm. Let's see. Is this good? Nope. Volts of Azir corrupted. So what do I need? Let's see. Let's see what people are building. Are they doing the bog standard thing with... Hello? There you go. Builds. Spectrum. With... Uh, was This one is Major Blood. Okay, Major Blood, Omni, that's fine. Um... People are actually doing Mirage Archer, which is very surprising. Like they're actually doing Mirage Archer, which is very surprising. Because Mirage Archer and Elemental Damage are roughly on par. When it comes to, like, flat out damage. Okay, so... Um, ba -ba 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 Let's see, are you going the regular one? Arcing Shot, Calamitous, Martial Prowess. Yeah. Yep. It's the regular one. Modifiers. Jewels. Large. Oh, instead of mana save gem? You mean instead of inspiration? Inspiration is very good, by the way. If you are, if you are doing like, um, like a crit one, right? Like elemental damage with attacks rivals Mirage Archer, but to be honest, yeah. I mean, I suppose, I suppose you can like once you hit. Once you hit crit cap and whatnot, yeah. Once you hit, once you hit crit cap, that's when that's when Mirage Archer becomes better than Inspiration. Okay, good. Yeah. What what am I on right now? Crit. I'm on fifty four percent, sixty six percent without power charges. So that's like seventy two. No, wait, or 78. What was it? 4% per power charge? So 78 then. I'm still not crit capped. I still need a bit more crit, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, this, this quiver was insanely good. Uh, 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 damage with bows, damage every time with bow skills. So he's doing arcing shot. Um... Friend, uh, Mana Forged Arrows, Frenzy, and Power Charge on Critical Support. That's how you get Power Charges. So Mana Forged Arrows, Frenzy, and Power Charge on Crit. So whenever Frenzy crits, you get the Power Charge. And Frenzy crits quite often. Frenzy. I'm using Frenzy of Onslaught. But you can use regular Frenzy, right? This gives you Onslaught. The reason why I use Frenzy of Onslaught is uh, on bosses, you sometimes don't get Onslaught, right? And uh, the reason why I have a Silver Flask was I had no idea what else to put. I can put a... Uh, uh, what's it called? What's this? Uh, sulfur Flask, right? I can put a Sulfur Flask. That one will work. But you would put Dying Sun. You're welcome, you're welcome. Uh, by the way, you can also see what I have on my stream, by the way. I don't know if you are aware of that, but if you go to to my stream, and if you click on the left side, like left side here, there's this little, little like, uh, drawer that you can, that you can click and see my gear. So it's, it's like above the camera.
Yeah, Dying Sun is seven and a half divines. Holy shit, son. Yeah, you're welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> Okay, uh, Eras gain crit chance as they travel farther. That's insanely good. Yeah, that would make a Mirage Archer. Like he's using Arkenshot, Calamitous, and Martial Prowess. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Repeater streamlined, repeater streamlined. Repeater streamlined is, is perfectly fine, right? Like, uh, streamlined and repeater is perfectly fine. But yeah, I want to change to this one, though. Yeah. Uh, this is... Uh, arcing Shot is 50, Calamitous is 50, and Martial Prowess is 1. So it needs to be between 50 and 68 trade. Small passive skills grant bow added small passive. Oh no, actually, it is uh, adds passive skills. No, eight. Okay, yeah. Uh, item level fifty to sixty seven. <laughs> two and a half divines, obviously. But they are done, right? Uh, okay, so 50, 67. It, they have to be minimum 50, right? I go 83, Sten Chaos. I mean 84. If I do 84... Twenty Chaos. Fire resistance fractured. I don't want fractured. 25 chaos. Okay, let's do 25 chaos. Thank you. 25. I don't even know how much is a Dun Jewel, but. Eighty-four bows, eight. Thanks for the trade. We go back. They go here. Nothing. Not to hit two genomes and see one time five maps. Yeah, that's the the lovely side about. Uh, um, that's a lovely thing about what's it called? Um, the the stupid. I forgot. RNG. Okay, so one is critical. Mm. Wow, he's using two. One and two. Holy shit, my man's using two. Ah, he skipped everything here. Five divine. Oh my god, the ring sold. Holy shit, who would have thought? Oh shit, it's this one. Yeah, that's a nice ring. Holy shit, that's a nice ring. There you go. Here you go. Five divine ring. Enjoy. Goodbye. Thank you. Um, Calamitous feed of here, Marshall. Ah, uh, this guy is, is doing Headhunter. Headhunter. Um, Headhunter goes in a specific way. Mage Blood is actually better to, like, uh, do to like do and, and, and find stuff, right? Even Mage Blood Omni. Yep. Aerodynamics. Aerodynamics? 
What? Why? I gotta read that mod. That's why. But he still does pierce. No, wait. Wrong guy. Two. So then he doesn't do pierce. So then he does chain. Oh my god. That's the tech you do. So that's how you do that tech with chain. That makes so much sense now. Oh. Do they have a better bow than he does? What the fuck? That makes so much more sense now. So he goes... He takes two, two medium clusters for Pierce, right? So then he avoids going piercing shots because projectiles pierce two additional targets. He got him on the cluster. So they are aerodynamics, 10 speed, 10 damage. And he's doing a repeater instead of streamline. 10 speed, 10 damage. So you sacrifice total 20 speed, 20 damage to get two pierce so that then you go chain and then you do and then you do chain and the projectiles chain and pierce and come that's insanity and he's skipping trinity with it as well but he's not doing interrogation so he uses only 3 ailments that's smart I'm not gonna skip Trinity, right? Like he, he this guy does does the, the, the proper thing. He does uh, there it is, see? Like with Mirage Archer, but he's skipping elemental damage. Hmm. Or fractured quiver. For lightning, it's the same. Both. Both. Trinity, crit damage support. Ella, uh, Trinity, crit damage. Trinity, crit damage support. Uh, and then you can either skip Ella damage or inspiration for Mirage. Second blue socket. Ah, uh, okay then. I mean, what do you have? Four green, one blue, one red. Four green will never work. You gotta change four green. Sorry. Yeah, you gotta change four green. Calamitous is good. Three to all ailments. Nope. Let's see. Oh, Elevor. Uh, can you share me the, the, the thing that you want to color, right? Like change me the thing you want to color so I can so I can basically teach you how to how to color properly. Uh, what did that Delaware have? The the burning, yeah. No, this needs to hit too. Oh, you're rolling the bow. How much money do you have? I'm curious, how much money do you have? Pardon, currency. You don't need to buy a six link chest. You, you really do not need to buy a six link chest. Like, I taught you how to do... Oh my god, nice. 
I taught you how to do shit, right? Shadow Crow. Hello. Martial Prowess Calamitous. There we go. So you can do Shadow Crow. So you buy a non-linked chest. You buy the cheapest version. Chest that is corrupted. Can you link with the chest? Three dexterity. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Wasted the only exalted orb I had. In hopes to, to hit it. Ah, oh, fuel the fight. Yeah. Yeah, then... For one divine... For one divine, just... Uh, buy any high res. Or that's less, right? See, they're 45 chaos. You buy any high res. Why did you buy a corrupted one? That's completely fine. Martial prowess is vicious skewering, damn it. That's absolutely fine. Need to hit two. Fuel the fight, martial prowess. That works. That doesn't. But yeah, if you have chaos, just buy a high resire, right? Oh yeah, um this. Fuel the fight, martial prowess, click, broadside. Worthless. Oh, I rerolled arcing shot, never mind. I'm not used to picking up arcing shots, so that's why I rerolled it. Better buy a six link chest. Don't buy a six link chest. <laughs> buy a cheap chest with good rolls. Stop thinking about buying a six link chest, buy a good chest, like with decent rolls, and then do six link yourself. Also, for colors on the bow, you want to roll on the crafting bench, you want to roll with... Um, because you want to do 2-2-2 two, 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 or 3-2-1, right? So if you want to do if you want to do Mirage Archer, you have to decide. 2-2-2 two, two, two or 3-2-1, both are the same. You are rolling with one red and one blue socket. You're rolling with this. One red and one blue socket. That's what you're doing. One red, one blue. That's how you're rolling it. And it costs 15 per attempt. And just be careful when you click, right? Damn it. Arcing shot, there we go. Click. <laughs> Arcing shot. Click. Nothing. Martial prowess. Click. Nothing. No. Martial prowess. Boom. Increased effect. No. Calamitous, but with something else. I don't have that many. Oh my god, it's still 504. What the fuck? 
Dude, if it's 500 for... Yo. Yo. Trade. Corrupted any. Mirrored any. Martial prowess. Arcing shot. Calamitous. 95 chaos. Oh my god, I was rolling for 95 chaos. Huh? I was rolling for a hundred chaos cluster that much. I didn't even check the price. There we go. Wow. Six of the beast recipes. Yeah, it's it's extremely cheap, and you get two, right? And he did it, so. Arcing shot, calamitous martial prowess. Oh, dexterity, but. Oh, wait. Arcing shot, martial prowess. Thank you. T for T. Yeah, there we go. Arcing shot, calamitous martial prowess. Now, here comes the real kicker. I was rolling it myself. I'm an idiot, man. It's 100 chaos. By the way, how do you remove... It's a good cluster as well for lightning. Uh, same shit. Same shit as, as I'm doing. Same shit. It's absolutely the same. Um... Lightning arrow or uh, um, elemental hit of the spectrum are the same thing. Elemental hit of the spectrum is the better version of lightning arrow. Um, so how do you guys remove these passes? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 12 points, right? So do you guys refund each and every one? No. You right click on the slot. It will take two refund points to refund all of them. Click. There you go. That's how you refund. And now I need resistances. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Now you do. Hey, as I said, beginner friendly, right? Very much so. My hideout is bugged. I need an Exalted Orb for this thing. Five points left, by the way. And I have 74 Lightning Resistance. Are you kidding me? 74 Lightning Resistance? Well, there you go. Now I have that and plus three percent chaos. Let's give it a Hey, I mean, there's there's a lot of new things, a lot of new things. Okay, so this is crit chance as you travel farther. Chance to free shocking knight, tell them to attack skills, effective ailments, martial prowess, which means we are. Yeah, there we go. All good. Soon there will be time to replace these, but those, once I, I get like Mage Blood and whatnot. So there are five points left, right? For those five points, I can do more proj speed here. Because that's going to give damage, right? Like, increases in reductions to approach speed also apply to damage with bows. Um, let's see what other people have done. Increase global accuracy, yeah. Wait, really? Fast with a hunter? Didn't I take that? I didn't. Nice. Now it's 100%. There we go, now it's 100%. He also took like 
this little accuracy. I mean, I can do this. Let's see. Uh, he's doing this. He's, of course, doing that because that's, of course, what you will do. He's, of course, doing, doing this. But he's skipping on these nodes. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot you. You need to take this as well. I mean, if I skip... If I skip on this life... I need to have a point here, right? There was, uh... Yes, I do that as well. Yeah, I do that as well. I check viewers' POV and, and help uh, them improve it. Yeah. I can remove these three nodes. I can remove these four nodes. So if I add a node... I can get that elemental damage. That's that's fine. The problem are those resistances, right? Because I don't have enough resistances. I would need to recraft the headpiece. That's the problem. Yeah, I would need to recraft the headpiece because, like, uh, later on when you when you hit when you hit the Omni, you you need all the stats, right? You need the stat sticks. I cannot remove that now because I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be res capped. Right? Yeah, yeah, like it's it's completely fine, right? Like I'm I'm completely fine to to check people's. Uh, People's like POBs and, and whatnot. That's 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 completely okay. I need 15 more int. Two, four, five. If I do that, I will get 15 int. Mm. So if I do that, I'm getting int. So here's the deal. I click here. I get dexterity. I and this one cannot be connected, right? I then unclick these three, technically these four, and that means I will have seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I will have enough int to not have this thing in and to have an additional jewel. Now, if I do that, what do I gain? I gain a free jewel because I already have a searching, searching jewel that I bought from Sweetie. It gives me crazy damage and stuff. So I can do that one there. And this jewel can be my resistance jewel. Okay, let's test it out. I'm keeping this one because suppress. Look at the damage, by the way. 85.8, 88.8. So 3k raw damage. Um, and now my resistances look like hot garbage. So I need 5 cold resistance, which means I need a jewel with cold resistance. Or all resistances, right? Um, if I remove this, do I have spell suppression? If I remove this, do I have spell suppression? 82. I add this, that's 97.
97. I can save a point. So 82. Eighty two, and then we go Where would I go? This one doesn't count. It's going to set ninety two, right? See? So I am at eighty two. Plus 15 from, from chance to spell suppress. So that's plus 15. I'm at 97 spell suppression. Yeah, if I had one here and two here, that'd be done, right? So if I refund this and I'm at 97 and I add as an example this one. Ah, he's going there with all four points. Ah, oh yeah, he doesn't need that because of Omni. 97. I have two points. I can have three points if I remove this, right? But I need that mana leech. Because I can get I can get mana on hit, right? I I can get there. So if I refund this, I have three points. With three points, I can do this. And I can do... This is 12 and 5. That's 17. And I can do this. Wait. 8? And that's another 16. If I add 8 here, I can freely remove this. Yeah, and I can do those two points here, and I will still be capped. And I will still be capped. So I'm currently at 98, but if we remove these two, 73, boom, boom, boom. 100. Without evasion mastery. So 100 without Evasion Mastery. If I remove this, 89. Very good. Okay, and I have one point left, which is basically here. Very good. Which means... I can take 10% of Leech's instant here. I have Leech, right? I have now more Mana Leech, more Life Leech, more everything. I really want to change change this into Chain. Okay, so we're going to change that into Chain. So which one do I go? I go Repeater. And then I go... What's the other one called? Repeater and Aerodynamics. Not five, it can be four or five. 60 chaos. Three to all LRS. Let's see. Aerodynamics repeater. Very good. Thanks for the train. Okay. So if I change this one. I'm at 73 cold res. Hey, Squid Bonk. The build is doing great. I'm now exploring some different options, right? 
that's what I'm currently doing, exploring different options. Okay, if I remove this one, will I need intelligence? I won't need intelligence. Oh, I'm at 128. Perfect. Can I buy, like, one with cold resistance? Two to all attributes, two to fire resistance. Let's see. I want to swap from... Yeah, you can change resistance in Harvest Bench, right? I literally need two resistance. I'll just get one which has more. Two total attributes, two to fire resistance. I l no, I need four resistance. Wow. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Sorry that I'm like a little bit low. Low on, on power, but I'm thinking about this a little bit, right? Look, I'm improving stuff, and I want to go with Chain. I'm thinking about what to get, right? Can there be five? There could be seven, but that's out of budget. Six. Six Fire Res, with for one Divine and five Strength. I need Strength. There's something that's four. Oh, you know what? Six fire, seven fire, five strength. Ah, oh, F it. Let's go with one divine. Who cares? Okay. So now, once I'm done with air dynamics, I can now... Nice. I can now actually... Let's see. Give it to me. Fire, strength, air dynamics, repeater, five jewel. Thank you. So now I can instead on the tree. Okay, so let's let's see if my theory is correct. So this is six fire, fire to cold. Change a modifier for the grants fire resistance into a similar the grants cold. Fire is uh, here, fire resistance. So we can now swap to cold. Click. I was correct, and we got max max roll. Okay, good. So you can change that on uh, the clusters as well which means i am now cold capped as well however i need lightning resistance here we go we fixed that too perfect we're capped although this is not what i like but we are capped that's fine for now i need to add this there we go that goes back we refund the piercing shots and we go with the chain Yes, and we still go back with, uh, let's see, increased damage with hits and ailments for each enemy pierced for each time they have chained. We can go both. Both are good. Oh my god, that's so good. Projectiles deal increased damage with hits and ailments for each time they have chained. They have pierced is two, and then they return proj. They chain, how much is chain? Chain is two as well, right? So chain can go, go two as well. Let's go with the chain. Or actually, if they do they chain when they proj back? So it would be like this. Or project damage per dexterity. I mean, both are fine, right? Let's see. I'm curious what other people are doing. What is he doing? Mm. Oh, he's not picking one. So he's not picking this, this mastery here. That's curious. Why wouldn't you? This gives an insane amount of damage. Huh. I mean, I can go with uh, with instant. I'll go with instant next. I'll go with proj damage per dexterity. So far, that's that's okay. And now, instead of... Dude, I have so many cluster jewels in my inventory. Um, let's change it. Builds, hit spectrum... Large, medium, medium. So that's the original one. This is the one here. I need one jewel that's going to be like um, crit multi, right? Like multiple crit multis. I think I don't need this one too, right? Soul Siphon for the mana. What's my mana like right now? 70. If I reduce this, 44. 
18 and 37. Ooh, no, I still need that, sadly. Yeah, I still need that, sadly. That's a huge chunk of mana I don't want to miss. Well, I did get 200 HP. That's that's good. Hmm. What else could I add? So we fixed spell suppression. We added more points. We fixed that. We still can add this, right? But the next realistic upgrade is Omni. Now, which one of these do I want? So Spectrum, Returning Proj. Spectrum, Returning Proj. I need to add Chain into this. So that's Fork. Uh, which one? Where's the... There we go. Chain. Then increase critical damage is good. Trinity is, of course, good. And then I can do Inspiration or Ella Damage. Let's do Inspiration. I might as well do... Fr do I do Ella Damage? Or do I do it like this? Because, I mean, with these two, that's basically like not doing this one. Hmm. Let's see. This guy is not doing not doing that thing. Where's the, the other one? This guy is doing uh, regular Pierce, right? One of these guys is doing the the thing that I liked. There you go, aerodynamics. So he's doing Ele Hit Spectrum Mirage Archer Chain. Ah. Yes, Shizu? There's so many options, by the way. Whichever option you do, you, you literally can't make a mistake. I mean, I might actually even skip these four nodes and just go, because let's pierce here, and just go with these four nodes. With greater multiple proj. Uh, chain. Chain, not pierce. Chain. But, like, returning projectiles is the strongest. Returning projectiles and... Uh, and returning proj and uh, and pierce is the best. Like if you can take the pierce here, piercing shots here, or if you can take the piercing shots from aerodynamics. But then if I do chain here, I mean, let's see. If I remove this, I can still add proj mastery here, right? I can add this. That's effect of non-damaging ailments, right? And then I can remove these three points. So then I can remove boom, 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 refund, boom, boom, boom. And now I can add here. Kids have chance to, there we go. And now we are with three points for free. And now I can go back to chain the trick shot. It's for your animate weapon. I mean, uh, both are fine. To be honest, both are fine. Okay, I can do this aspect of the eagle that always does insane amount of damage. And I can do leech's instant. That should give me more damage as well. Turn set for mapping. I mean, does it clear well? Animate weapon, pierce, GMP, chance to poison, unbound ailments, minimum damage. Yeah. I mean, does it clear well? If yes, that's good, right? Like, going chain, chain gives you plus two, two chains. Pierce, pierce gives you, like, uh, one pierce, right? Or four pierce. Both are fine, right? Okay, so chain can go kaboom. And I can still keep what I have, which is good. Okay, so we've, we've revamped the build a little bit. Let's see how it handles breach. Cool, let's go back to, to Breach. Well, the shots miss when you're in Delve. Then do Chain. Two, four, five, try it out. Right, there's no wrong answer there. It's just what feels better to play, right? Perfect. 
Mm, additional Vol Orb. Enter. Oh, hello, Perandus. Okay, so let's see how this how this one is going to go. I think I'm, I might be missing out on a lot of damage from uh, Proj Mastery, but I'm also very close to a level, right? Come on, dude, I open the map. How much is Calandra's touch? Is it still like 20 divines? 15, thank you. Also, this one, where is it? Arcane shot. Gain crit chance as they travel farther is way better, right? It's five div. Oh, Jesus, that's nothing. So, multi progen chain or piercing chain? Not piercing chain, multi proj and chain. Why would you do pierce and chain? That's on less projectiles. Let's see. How did that change the build? I mean, we'll see here, right? Well, yeah, that's way better. That's way better, by the way. Holy. Okay, I now need effect of my marks, so I need tattoos. That's what I need. Cool. There we go. Time is it? It's 140 a.m. That's fine. I can I can hang about. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, umbilicus. Oh, not umbilicus. Uh, immortal flesh. Okay. Okay. For Calandra's touch, I have a few ideas what I could do. Right? I could do Omni. Like I really haven't done Omni for a while now. Like I could actually do Omni build. Um, the only time I did Omni was ages ago, right? And that time when I did Omni was, um, well, Omni was, was theoretically, like, cheap with, like, 10, 20 Divines. However, I don't know what to go first. Do I go for Mage Blood first or do we go for Omni setup first? This is way better. This is clearing way better than it did before. Right, like this is clearing insanely better. Jesus Christ, just a swap in the cluster. Yeah, that's way freaking better. Okay, man. Okay. Get yoke. Yoke and then Mage Blood. I mean, we can do yoke. I didn't take um, I didn't take a, a, a jewel. I can buy a watcher's eye now. Oh, we're gonna spend today. Oh, we're gonna spend some money today. Now the question is, do I take watcher's eye? I don't need to take phasing because I have phasing on kill now. Hmm. Yeah, try to do now when I have instant leech, asshole. Oh my god, is this way better now? Holy shit! This is literally almost level level of headhunter, stupid pogers. Really? <laughs> it's just it's just like general thoughts and ideas, right? It's just literally general thoughts and ideas. But that's all the, that it is. It's you, you When you think about it, you have a base you start with, right? Yeah, that's way easier. Like you have a base you start with, and then you see what other people are doing, and then you have a basically logical conclusion to what you should do, right? Keep in mind, I haven't changed anything other than a cluster well a set of clusters right 
how how make orbs if we can dumb? Yeah, how make orbs if we can dumb? Take take stone, bum bum. <laughs> yeah, that's way more way more damage, right? Although, do I really want effect of your marks? I mean, I could use effect of your, my marks. Because I'm using a sniper's mark, it gives more... It gives attack damage. Like, enemies take... Cursed enemies take 29% increased damage from projectile hits. Okay, so if I go effect of my marks, if I add another 30 to 40% to the effect of... Uh, of my marks that means enemies will take because they already have 75 that's another 30 40 percent which means that's another five to eight percent flood damage let's see i can't even my pockets empty <laughs> just play a lot basically and also if you drop like small currency that's money right it's like a try on for days now like what, Uncivil? What have you been stuck on? Like, here, here's a simple example, right? I saw that someone had um, aerodynamics. Projectile spears an additional target. You already go with piercing shots. Projectile spears two additional targets, right? You already go that. But if you take two of these small ones, what do I lose? I lose 10% proj speed, 10% proj damage, which is increased, not more. But you gain Pierce, but what do I get? I get uh, three free passive points. Where can I do those three passive points? Aha, I can do them here. And then when you when you think about like reworking your tree and what you can do, the same thing was here. Okay, I don't need these two uh, increased elemental damage with attack skills. Then what can I do? Okay, so if I don't need these two... But I can get this one because of Massive Jewel. I can just rotate this from these three to these two. I get free three points. Where do I put them? One, two, three. Mastery point. Extra point. Right? So you just swap them around. But like for small currency, you can do a Breach. You can do a Legion. You can now do Legion like without any, any problems, right? So there's, there's that even. Oh, yeah, I, I said I would check how many monsters I kill. Well, we'll check after after this map, right? But that was an interesting upgrade session because I I spent, what? Um, total of two divines, right? Maybe less. Control the other, this is too awkward. Okay, then. Then it doesn't work for Del. That's That's fine. Like, every build has its own kings, right? Insta-release? The fuck was that monster? Jesus Christ! Okay, I don't want to die. I'm at, like, 96%. But yeah, guys, if you're playing Lightning Arrow, um, swap to Elemental Hit of the Spectrum. It's way better. And it can use the full um, full Trinity. and everything. I think it's going to get nerfed. Hey, Quick. It's been a while. Hello. How are you doing? Dude, the amount of Scarabs. Crazy. I mean, you can progress by like neglecting that, but you have to you have to see what can be changed and what can be optimized in a way, right? Good, I'm doing great. I'm enjoying Poe. Like it has been a blast. Like it has been an absolute blast, man. Jesus. Mm, I 
I forgot to add the... That's, that's fine, I'll remember. Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing, I'm streaming every day, basically, and yeah, b besides Friday, like, I don't stream Friday, as I have a class in the evening, but uh, I've been really enjoying it. I've been making content on YouTube for PoE. PoE is my main game. There's a lot of people that joined PoE, so that's that's cool. I'm always glad to to hear that people are are joining the game and enjoying it and learning new things, and me as well. Look at that. Smoked her, man. Smoked her. I swear to god, I'm definitely trying the chain variant. Why is that? Uh, try to get Chaos Res without losing any resistance, losing massive damage. I mean, you can fit Chaos Res. It just depends. It just depends where, right? And... Uh, because it's a suffix, you have to see what other suffixes you're using. That would only slow me down. Oh, did I fill my full bag? Talk to Dan, I can give him these things to open a whole delve map. It's not a delve map, it's an expedition map. And yes, you talk to Danig, you give him um you give him a logbook, and you can then open logbooks. I can um I can give you a small video that I've made that it basically explains that that mechanic, right? So it's called Expedition. Whereas I like to call it Excavation. I'll, like... I like to call it Excavation a lot. But it's called Expedition, yes. Okay, clean that. That's fine. Cool. So those logbooks... There we go. Are... In Expedition Locker. Okay, I can't click it. Lovely. Lovely. There we go. Expedition Locker. There we go. And you can also re-roll the modifiers on them. Like these, uh, if you press Alt. Increase number of explosives, number of runic monsters. These are counted as implicit. So you can re-roll them using Blessing Orbs. So you can use a Blessing Orb to re-roll them however you'd like. So there's, there's that too, that you can use. Okay, one more map, and we are basically there, right? Uh, I need more breach ones. Does anyone have any breach? Any breach embers? <laughs> Accompanied by map boss. These are all ash. Okay, so I need to buy ash. Well, I need to buy, need to buy all of them. Need to buy a lot of them. Okay, they can be uh, bulk item exchange, all flame embers, ash, minimum three, chaos search. Ooh, I'm running out of chaos. Uh, 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 max, no, search. Max whisper, max whisper. Max, Whisper. Max, Whisper. Thank you. You meta cuck. What the hell? Uh, that's how many? Um, six, six. I'll get, I'll get all your reach. Oh, oops. Let's see, how many does he have? Please tell me you have like 10 to 20. Not 11. All please. Thank you. Nice. Did we get anything good? All at all, ash, ash, zoff, ash, zoff. That's fine. That's perfect. Love it, man. Um, boop. So if you guys have all flame members of uh, any kind, breach, I'll buy them. Besides Chayula, like I ain't gonna spend like 10 chaos on, on, on Chayula. 
I ain't gonna waste <laughs> waste time on that one. Okay, never mind. The, these guys are not responding. Never mind. Let's see. Activate map. We can do Ash. So Ash, 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 and Ash. Um, here's an interesting thing, guys. I don't know if you if you did know, if you did know this, but if all of these monsters are the same, so if you're using the same monster pack, I'll take I'll take all breach all flames eighty plus if you have one sec one sec one sec. <laughs> what are you checking? What what did I upgrade? You could have just asked me quick. So he is like one, two, three, six. No. What what are you checking? I'm curious. You see I'm try harding. Try harding what? No, dude, just feel free to ask. I'm here to talk to chat. Dude, I, I'm not, I'm not here to like um, sit down and be a pompous cock, right? Like I'm here to sit down and chat. Cooler. Uh... Play for speed. Okay. So, anyways, uh, if all of these are the same, they get all of these modifiers. So keep that in mind. So they get all of those modifiers. Give them to win, win to 90 C. Um, the one I recommended to Raki. That's the one I'm using right now. I bought it as well. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh no, it's this bitch. <gasps> no, and she's even devoted. Dude. Please, no, man. Oh my god, she's one of the worst bosses ever, dude. To get in a map as a, accompanied by a map boss. Holy smokes, man. Um, but yeah, like, like that Noctua cooler is amazing. However, um, by the way, guys, I hope you don't mind me speak in my, in my native tongue for a little bit. I just want to explain... Uh, Explain something too quick. Um. Možeš da ga uzmeš u VIP houseu i treba ti dodatan dodatan deo da možeš imaš dva ventilatora. Čisto znaš. Ukupno nekde oko sedam i pola sedam hiljada. Okay, that was it. Sorry. Okay, I'm about to level. Let's go. Nice. Ash is full breach stone, dude. Full breach stone. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Oh, I leveled. Lamo. Oh. This is cool. I called you a lovely human being. Yeah, I'm just gonna take projectiles gained, uh, like, damage for each time they have pierced, because this is insane, right? Oh my god, that boss is gonna be massive. Holy cuck. Is this all No, that's off. Dude, this whole darn thing is off, man. I don't even see- I didn't even check the monsters. I promised I would check monsters. I'm an idiot. Guys, I need you to remind me of, of these things. Like, holy shit, am I am I so bad? I didn't even put incubators. Uh, those little hooks from else is yeah. Um, I mean, you can also check if your paste is um, is fucked. Let me let me show you the thing that you need. One sec. So this is what you need. <sighs> This is the thing that you need, okay? 
And a FK1 Redux as well. One sec. Hello, Cobra. Uh, do I think CF Champ can do this strategy? I have no clue. I honestly have no clue. It's it's insanely fun. Bleedbow can do it guaranteed. But I don't know if CF Champ can do it. Okay, for each uh, enemy pierced. Uh, let me show this to you, VIP house. But it's so fun. Understart Sanctum. Uh, yes, Forbidden Tomes. I will get to that in a second. NHD... Uh, uh, NH... Was it... U12S? And it's Redux. There you go. NH U12S Redux. Uh, by the way, quick, I'm linking this to you on Discord. Quick. There you go. This and... Uh, was it NAF FK? Oh my god, now I forgot. Dude, I literally had a box in my hand, like... 20 seconds ago. NAFK1. I was close. NAFK1. NAFK1. There you go. There you go. So get, get yourself that and you, you're going to be very thankful. Uh, but I honestly don't know if CF Champ can, uh, can do it. I honestly don't know. Try it out. Maybe it can. But for Sanctum, you need this. You need these books, Forbidden Tomes. That's what you need. Okay, let me put this in. Let me put incubators on. I keep forgetting to do this silly shit. <laughs> You're welcome. And that's what I'm using. Keep in mind, um, my CPU and Rakis as well cannot be overclocked. So there's that. But uh, also, don't forget the... You want me to be a cat, but I don't have that anymore. I removed it. I'm a dickhead. <laughs> but, uh, guys, this strategy is insanely fun. Like, it's insanely fun. Nobody does it. Like, I've seen nobody do it in the way I do it. Everyone does it for the experience. Uh, the experience is massive. Like, let, let's be real. Like, the experience is actually massive. But uh, people do it because of the experience and they do it with the shrines, right? I don't do it with the shrines. I just do, do breach. And it brings in huge amounts of return, as you can see. However, what I have changed from what people have done is I run Harvest. Just for increased monster quantity, yada yada, who cares? You can do any other mechanic that you'd like. You can do Legion and whatnot. I want it to be safe. That's why I'm avoiding Legion. So I'm not doing Legion. I'm running Harvest. So I have 100% chance to, to get Harvest. I'm running June and uh, June um, Intelligence just to get Katarina from time to time, right? Chance for a Veiled Orb. You understand. I'm running... Your maps contain 10% more monster packs consisting of difficult and rewarding monsters just for extra juice and rewards, right? Um... Breaches have 100% chance to appear, and then I'm running Scarabs, and this is where it becomes interesting. I am running unique monsters in your maps have 200% increased chance to drop Scarabs. Guess what every Breach Lord is? Every Breach Lord is a unique monster, and I'm running a Scarab with, you, with Breach Lords, right? So every Breach Lord that you get has a higher chance to drop a Scarab. Now... 12% increased Scarabs dropped. Here we have Scarabs found in your maps are more likely to be less common varieties. Final map boss in each map has 25% chance to drop an additional Scarab. That's just extra points, right, for there. So there's that, and there's this one. Rare monsters in your maps have 50% chance, increased chance to drop Scarabs per monster modifier affecting them, right? And this also counts with this one, Invasive Adversaries. Your maps contain 10% more monster packs consisting of difficult and rewarding monsters. So more monster mods, more chance for Scarabs. And of course, Searing Exerc with um, pack size instead of doing um, drop an item that's that's like worthless, right? But that's basically it. So I'm running Scarabs for Breach, four of them. 
And those are um, plus two breach twice. So that means plus four breach cans. Uh, like plus four breach cans every map. I'm running the more splinters one. And I'm running the breach lords one. And of course, I'm not running Chayula. I'm letting Chayula be like this. See, like she has a random chance of dropping. So there's there's that. And I'm running her as like a normal normal chance with everything. And let me tell let me tell you this like it's I mean you can see it's fun. It's it's fun as hell. So that's my strat. And it brings 5 plus percent experience per map. Okay. The only problem is you have to loot this for days, right? So my map lasts like 10 minutes, but in general it's a safe map. Safe map. Should go both damage or project. Um, with the big one, big cluster is uh, increased damage with bows. Small one is increased projectile damage. Do you have a link for my atlas? Uh, no, but I can make one. I can make one. Du, 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 du. Uh, this is irrelevant, which side you go, because they, they drop uh, the same shit. Um... That's 132. There you go. Keep in mind, I have a full Atlas unlocked. Open PoE Planner. And then we do Import Export, Get Minified, and boop. There you go. And I should put a mubot command there. Which is going to be exclamation mark atlas. It's like, it's not that you're making a ton as much as you're earning small, right? Okay, so atlas. Oop. There you go. And now if we do Atlas, perfect, works, cool, there you go, so there's Atlas, but the, the problem is it's, um, you know, it's a very specific, and you don't care about the, the embers, right, like whichever ember you buy, you buy the cheapest one, you don't want to buy Chayula because <laughs> Chayula is just worthless, right, I mean, worthless. Chayula is worth it, but I wouldn't buy Chayula before buying a Headhunter, as an example, right? Because Chayula is going to give you a huge amount of uh, currency, but you need to kill a huge amount of monsters. Sorry, bears. Jesus. Wow, the slow. But yes, I have multiple, multiple atlases as well. And here's one important thing. You do not need to sell your breach stones, right? You seriously do not need to sell your breach stones. You can run your breach stones. And what do you get by running breach stones? You get experience, you get loot, and if you kill the boss, you have a chance at getting their um, blessing. So if you do their blessing, then you basically can get um, a divine and something. And on average, you are going to get more than one blessing until 
you run out of like breaches. So as an example, if a blessing is um, blessing Chayula, blessing is 1.2 divines. So 1.2 divines is what? Uh, 150, 180 chaos, and her breach tone is 40. So 180 chaos divided by 40, it's like four and a half, right? So every five breach stones, you are looking at getting getting that. But however, you're not running Chayula regularly, right? You you are running Esh, you're running the other ones. Some of these blessings are cheaper. However, if a blessing is cheaper, here's this. Voice of the Storm is two divines, right? So if we go POE Wiki and you go Voice of the Storm, Oop. Voice of the Storm as a unique amulet, right? You take Choir of the Storm, Blessing of Ash, and you make Voice of the Storm, right? So let's see, Choir... Choir of the Storm is two and a half divines. Interesting. Three divines there, and uh, Voice of the Storm is cheaper. Interesting. Wow. Okay. That, why is that cheaper? Anyways, you can run. You can run Ash to to get the necklace. Choir of the storm and earn money, right? Even though the blessing is cheaper, you can you can still run it. Then um, you can always earn money with breach, right? If you run them. Then if you have a group of friends that uh, wants to run with you, you can also gain a bunch more of experience because the more people there are in a group more experience, more loot even, like. So you basically make these uh, rotas, right? You can also sell the rotations on um, PFT or on uh, regular Path of Exile Discord. They have their own uh, rotation thingy. And I don't know how much it goes for, but I assume it's like one divine will buy you five. I'm making assumptions, but... Um, other rotas, rotas, and then you go Chayu. Chayu Breach Stones, 10 runs, 2 Divines. So to buy Chayula Breach Stones, the upgraded version says bad rolls, yeah, probably, yeah. So the, to buy Breach Stones, it's 5 Breach Stones for 1 Divine, or 4 Breach Stones for 1 Divine, right? It's 4 Breach Stones for 1 Divine. 10 runs is 10 breach stones. That's two divines that you pay per person. So if you want to run Chayula breach stones and you invite other people to run them with you, they will pay you to run the breach stones with you. However, if you haven't spent any money on breach stones, but you farm them like this, you've made an insane bank, right? You cannot lose money on breach. You cannot, like, you have to try hard to lose money on Breach, right? Like, really hard. But you simply cannot, like, lose money on Breach. It's just, it's literally impossible. Oh, one more. There we go, let's go, dude. And also, what do you get with that? You get experience, and you get to be a level 100 pretty quickly that's what i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna do so where is the loss here nowhere right the only problem is you have to loot a lot of splinters that's the only problem right and every time you get um nice and every time you get um oh i was uh, about to to leave anyways and every time you get um pure breach stone well not pure breach stone every time you get the breach stone right so what was that? 50 chaos. There you go. So every time you get a breach stone that can randomly drop, right? Um, bosses, enemies, like, have a random... There you go. Um, bosses and um, whatever have a random chance to drop a breach stone, right? I think it's this one. Uh, bridge boss class hands have 4% chance to spawn a bridge boss. Breaches in your maps increase chance. Bridge bosses defeated in your maps have 4% chance to drop a bridge stone. So let's say you kill 5, 6 bosses uh, a map, right? 
If you don't get a Bridgestone, you will get 16 Splinters. 8 or 16 Splinters, right? See how it steamrolls? It's so fun. It's so freaking fun. And I found that out last league that it's it's really fun. And this league, it's only better because you get an extra breach stone. Extra, pardon, breach hand. Uh, now as a, as a modifier on a map, right? Because you have a 100% chance to, to have a... a Breach hand. A uh, breach. Yeah, breach hand. Why is. Oh, this is all not all, that's why. Whoa, what the hell? Another one? Hello. There we go. There's more. Oh, yeah, right. I didn't kill the boss. I forgot. Oh no, this is gonna be a mega juicy boss. Oh. Uh... I said it's mega juicy. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Map boss gained. And now zero monsters, now we finished looting. Although, I did spend a lot of time uh, not doing stuff that I should have been, right? Uh, kills, because it's zero. So I will write down kills. Two, seven, three, one, six, four kills. We will see how many monsters I'm going to kill next map. I firmly believe it's over three to five thousand. Like, it's, it's like three thousand most likely. Maybe even more. Too bad I don't have a counter because I didn't buy the, the last supporter pack. Uh, you type in uh, forward slash kills. So forward slash kills brings in the the kills, like how many kills you've done. Okay, I think I need to restart the, the game though. Because it's getting slightly stuttery. No coffee. Hmm, no coffee. So there's slash kills, slash passive, slash played, slash commands. Or command? Uh, well, then I, I don't know what it is. But yes, slash passives. If you've skipped any passes from questing, right? Nice ish. Okay, let's do more maps. One, two, three, four. And I'm cleaning cemetery now. Like I like cemetery because it's open, but I don't care which map I do. Uh, okay, so we have two, four, six, six. I need five ish. Hmm. What's up, Sharko? Oh, I did. I clicked heist. Oops, breach. There we go. Um, increased pack size. Normal high, high. I mean high, right? Eighty-three, eighty-three, three, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-three. Okay. So, again, kills two seven three one six four. Two seven three one six four. My incubators are one eight one three. One eight one three. Oh yeah, slash help. Yeah, don't recognize the question mark. Nice. Uh, eight eight two two. Yeah, slash help. Uh, so open inventory, then you do help, and then it it tells you all the messages, right? You could have typed a dot, right? And breach is the reason why why my friend SFK uh, like doesn't sell incubators because I use all of them, right?
Royal Burgundy. Huh? Oh, hello. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Let's see, is that the good one? This, this is not... The Formless Flame. Increased armor, fire damage taken from hits. Minus 116. Ah, 50 chaos. Not bad. That's the headpiece that drops from a Breach. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be looting later, right? Oh, remind me to buy the freaking Watcher's Eye, man. No, that's that's bad. That's a bad sound. Hello. Hi. <laughs> He's healing, by the way, and I'm healing. Jesus Christ. We I hope this looks as fun to you guys as it looks to me. I hope the quality is not too blocky, right? Like, is is the stream quality blocky? Or is it fine? <laughs> How does the stream quality look with all of these? And look at me being silly, asking questions and I can't even look at the chat to answer, right? Stream fine. Awesome. Awesome, that's what I like to hear. So it's not looking blocky. That's great. Make that CPU work. Hi there. And also, the more gear you have, right? The more this strategy... The better this strategy becomes, right? Zestula. Zestula has a chance to pop as well, so that's also very good. Oh my god, that's mad. Hello, goodbye. Whoa, almost died. I might as well loot this corner while I'm here. Okay, zero monsters there. But we still have one of these to clean. Soul Eater, my favorite. Get wrecked. Ash, my second favorite. And now that you can just walk over these breach hands, it's so good, man! Okay, and I'll harvest. And before harvest gives me a boss. Please harvest, give me a boss. Imagine if you also pick up the splinters, yeah. I will pick them up later, right? Like, I'm not gonna waste my time picking them up. Like, picking up every single splinter, like, while I'm playing. It's it's in, like if you actually manage to pick up splinter while splinters while playing, like, you're mad. You're absolutely mad. My mana is 
Like that's that's absolutely mad. Wheel. Hey Hefton. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so that's clean, right? Kills. Two seven seven. Nine oh nine. Hey, hello. So that's total two seven seven nine oh nine minus two seven seven nine oh nine minus two seven three one six four. 4.7k monsters in a map, by the way. Incubators to confirm. 4.7k monsters in a freaking map. Isn't that fun? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream once again. Welcome to the Breach Carnage, where you just saw what happened. <laughs> Fun, fun little stuff happen here. L little, little things happen here, right? First, we had an awful start of the day with stupid crafting. Crafted two trash ass bows, and now it's getting awesome. <sighs> Although picking up splinters. Um, da -da -da. What does Heavy do? Heavy picks up splinters. Can I have like a, a pet that I va that vacuums behind me? Like, <laughs> for bow carries, that seems to be a decent weapon. Um, no. If you're playing triple element, you need for your prefixes tier three, like a tier one, three of them, fire, cold, lightning, right? Uh, for your suffixes, you need attack speed, crit chance, and critical strike multiplier. That's what you need. Not what I have, like, uh, projectile speed, right? So that's what you basically need. Like, crit multi. You want as much multi as possible. And if you're going to... Like, play these maps decently well... These are tier 16s, by the way, not 17s. If you're going to play tier 16s decently well, you don't need more than 12, 1300 DPS. Seriously, you don't. However, if you have currency to spend... My bow was 12 divines to buy outright. It was 6 linked. I think. Or it wasn't. I don't remember. Whatever. 6 linking is cheap. Then I did... Um, I did the synthesized. One with 5000 yellow life force. And with... Um, uh, with crystallized essence, and I got intelligence and chance to intimidate. Then I did quality did not increase, uh, does not increase physical damage, but gives attack speed. And then I beast craft corrupted it to thirty quality. Like this bow is amazing if you can off-screen mobs, right? Like if you. But um, you want as much damage as possible if you want to farm, like tier seventeen's effective. Like I can try a tier seventeen. I honestly don't want to. But I can try a tier 17 to see if it if it works. This build should be able to do tier 17s now, I think, no problemo. But I honestly want uh, more more stuff. Tier 6 lightning, sadge. But yeah, you want some crit. Well, some crit. You want a lot of crit. You want uh, attack speed, crit multi. You can do proj speed, right? Because when you when you do this, like increases and reductions to proj speed also apply to damage with bows, so you can get that and bow mastery. So there's there's that as well, and that helps a lot. So there's there's that too. But yeah, you can you can get uh, a lot of things for fine. Toim. Well, 12 to 20, yes. But 12 to 20, you can find like a Abyss Bow, literally, right? Like, you can legit find a Abyss Bow for 12 to 20. Don't look for links, by the way. Like, links are a bait because you can buy get links for 40 kills. Yeah, yeah, but now that beast, uh, not beast crafting, that this silly crafting is there, it's like whatever. Okay, so 1500 there. 
you want attacks per second, you want crit chance, right? You want it to be a spine bow, you ignore links, you click trade, boom. And you get 15 divines, there we go. And 20k of sale, let's go. Um, one second. One second. Gotta do that 20 chaos sale. Ah, boots for dexterity. Tier 1 boots dexterity. Oh my god, now I'm sad that I sold these. Because those would be great for Omni. It is what it is. So this one is 116. But anyways, um, and then we do... Critical strike multiplier, right? And that's 35. There you go. Crit strike chance, crit strike multi, three tier ones, and attack speed. There you go. That's your bow. And you're done. 30 divs. Like, that's basically it. Now, if you want more approach. That's a different thing, then you would sacrifice like crit multi for more proj. However, you don't need to. So yeah. The only thing that um, I would do is I would actually buy this one. Well, yes, you can you can have plus two projectiles to, to both. So I would buy this one instead of buying this one. The reason for it is you go to Horty Crafting Station. Synthesize an item, giving random synthesized implicits, cannot be used on a unique, influence synthesized or fractured items. This one is fractured. So I would buy this bow for 30, right? I would buy this bow for 30. I would synthesize it so it gets any random fracture, like, um, pardon, any random synthesis implicits. Then, is it, is it quality? It is quality. Then after you do that, I would just the beast corrupt it to 30% and that's GG. End of the story. Oh, I didn't leave the, the helmet. Never mind. So, there's a, a lot of cool shit you can do, right? And it's not that expensive. Like, if you look at it, 30 Divines is basically like a Headhunter, right? So you can reroll it with beasts, right? So you have a very nice chest. If you've crafted a very nice chest, then then yeah, use it. You mean dead guy, right? Dead dead eyes have a lot of deaths, right? Something looks at you and you die. That's the meme. Okay, that's it. Whew. Okay, let's see. Yeah, 50 cash. Item rarity, mana cost, evasion, life. Yeah. Yeah. That's very nice. That's indeed very nice. I mean, if you want to go with, with MFing, yeah, sure. Right? That's, that's insane. Chisel, pack size... Chrome experience. One is off, two is off, three, four is off. Uh, okay, let's buy more, more embers, right? Okay, all flame embers. Bulk exchange. All flame embers, chaos orb. Mark all of them. 
mark stock count for search max by max by nice where's the audio oh because he just invited me to hide out um congrats No, what the, the fuck? Who is inviting me to their hideout? Smasha six. Jesus Christ! Congrats on getting a div drop. Now I have two. Now you can buy a better bow. Way better bow. Who is this person? I have no clue. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Direct message. Oh, damn it. Offer no longer available. Fuck me. No idea. No idea who that is. Blade Bay 4. Oh, he has that, uh, that one. Do, 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 do. Is he playing with Anubis headset? Headset. Anubis head. He is. He is playing with the Anubis head. Come on, dude. You can just trade me. It's fine. Trade how to find specific questions. Uh, how do you find specific corpses? You trade, you go, uh, let's see, did they put it here? They put it in bulk. In bulk, there is. In bulk, there is field coffins, right? But for regular ones, um, so the regular ones, search, necropolis, and then, right, right, what you need. See, necropolis and write what you need. Then you can do scarce, right, and then type that. That's how you can do it. Damn it. All these big ones sell extremely fast. Yep, and when you go on, um, what's it called? On the bulk, you can actually find uh, find other stuff as well there. Come on, guys. Somebody. There we go. Oh, nice, 30. So important to be able to resistance spell special different than when it shows in game. Um, because in game, if you have uh, something like this, Revenge of the Hunted, that shows because you're max life.
So as an example, if I import my character, Oh, pff, I did Gladiator. Oops. Makes sense. For the differences in your resistances. Uh, did you check? Sometimes uh, POB doesn't take some points, right? So did you check if it was taken? Like as an example, it didn't take Secrets of Suffering, right? For me. Maxed out a slide like okay, I don't know. Let me let me load your POB. Uh I don't have you here, right? So was it uncivil? Hello OJ! So much help in the game. <laughs> what kind of help? 7568 Warning your unreserved mana is negative So you're using something you in this thing that you probably aren't so probably you're not using haste right but you have 68 Yeah, that's what I assume So you have 68 cold res. Ninety-four. One point is not taken. So one point is not taken. Ninety-three, ninety-four. So probably this. Beginner, welcome, welcome to the YouTube side of the stream. So what what kind of help do you need? I just did some here. Let me carry some. Forty-nine over fire, eleven over cold, and forty-nine over lightning. Mine says this. As you can see, I loaded you up. And your spell suppression is not there even. Like, you are not spell suppressed. You're at 92 spell suppression as well. Also, this is never worth 3 points, by the way. All Flame Ember. All Flame Ember is a mechanic in game that is introduced this league. It's a league mechanic. So Path of Exile has leagues, which are basically seasons. And you are dropping those in every zone. And when you open the next zone, when you click the All Flame, this is for maps later on, you can change... Um, Two, four, six. You can change the monsters with these all flames into something different, right? Into different packs. So the original packs get changed to these ones. That's all flame member. 100 spell suppression. Nice twice. Nice. That's absolutely weird if you're if you're not getting like the cold, but as you can see here, 75 31, 75 31, and 68 cold. Uh... Oh shit, lightly call is weak. Not that I look at it, it's it's actually weak. Windward. Huh. Not bad. You have to finish the axe to get into Uh yes, you will get more you will get introduced to more mechanics the more you play and once you finish your campaign you will get in you will get an introduction to maps and that's your next content that you will do but yes more mechanics the more you the more you play Hmm, point blank. Do you have return proj? Yeah, okay. Uh, remove point blank. 
This is this this you're losing damage with point blank. Until Fling Ranger, nice. What kind of ranger? Have you followed the build guide? So this is losing you your damage because you have a long shot, you have far shot, and you have returning proj. So this is basically losing you damage. So remove these two points and also go into lethality. Like what? You might as well remove Farsight and this here. That's like wasting points. These three are a waste. So you can go one point here, two points there. Remove these two points. Take one point here, take these two points. You are at 81 spell suppress, 98 spell suppress. Okay, remove these three points. There we go. With this one, you are 101 spell suppress. Okay. Oh, why no evasion mastery? What the hell? Evasion rating, armor evasion rating, evasion rating, evasion rating. Yeah, why not evasion mastery? What the hell? Evasion mastery. Remove this, these three. And you are capped. Following what I think. <laughs> what build guide are you following? I'm curious. Um, okay, here. Martial prowess, drive the destruction, fuel the fight. That's okay. That's pretty bog standard. 93, leeches instant, max life. That's okay. Tattoo for lightning res. Okay, you can remove that. Um... Sublime form, grace, mana, reservation, efficiency. You can take that, that's fine. You cannot block your attacks, that's useful. You don't have this, which you need, right? Piercing shots, that's 94. We remove this, we take this. Um, now, your chest piece has life, right? Yeah, so you can't take life. You're following Havocs. Um, Havoc plays a completely different game, dude. Yeah, but mostly you're not going to go that way, right? Like, I would rather you remove that, and that's level 91, 1, 2, 3, right? Like, this basically would work better. Like, even, even this I wouldn't take. Fleet-footed. Like, or extra, extra Frenzy Charge, like, why? Like, you remove extra Frenzy Charge, you take this, you remove this, that's 93. Your spell suppression cap, that's fine. Accuracy, hit chance 100%. Interesting, 100% crit, uh, hit. Cool. Um, and then here, reduction from projectile speed, there we go. Those are the changes that I would would have made, right? Aura's increased effect, that's nice. You can do damage as well, both are fine. Let's see, accuracy. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I would change just, just a few things. Just getting this evasion mastery gives you a lot more evasion and stuff. But yeah, that's, that's gonna work, right? I mean, Windward is, is cheap, but like, yeah, right. No, never take Suppress Lucky. No, 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 no. N always go Suppress Cap, never take Suppress Lucky. Suppress Lucky is a scam. Like, Suppress Lucky is a scam, man. Like, never take Suppress Lucky. Fuck that noise. He is Suppress Cap, though. Although, I did make him Suppress Cap. Suppress lucky is a scam. If you're not 100% suppressed, it's like you're not suppressed at all. Like, if you're not 100% suppressed, it's like not at all. Mm, mm, uh, no. Suppress lucky is shit. It's shit. Like, it never works. Yeah, no, no worries in civil.
Uh, while affected by anger. Crit multi anger. Okay, PvE wiki watchers. I is precise technique good. Uh, yes, in the early thirty levels. After that, no. Early thirty to forty levels. Yes, after that, no. Um, which one do I go for? Precision, attack damage, attack speed, crit multi, well affected by precision. That's expensive. That's expensive. That's expensive, right? Mm. Let's see. Not attack speed. Let's see, attack damage. Oh, that's still expensive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Flask charge? That's not bad. Flask charge is not bad. Um, I have grace as well, right? Movement speed, suppress, blind, evade, attack hits. Okay, we haste maybe? No, haste is irrelevant. So it would be it would be precision thingy. Get the quick. Uh, you can get the quick silver flask when you talk to a vendor in town. A ven vendors in town sell sell quick silver flasks. I don't know if they sell them always. But your first Quicksilver Flask is from a quest that you finish in uh, one of these early areas, and the Nessa gives you a Quicksilver Flask as a quest reward. Sometimes these quest givers can give you a Quicksilver Flask. I don't know how often though, but um, there are quest rewards for Quicksilver Flasks, or you can just drop one in the world. Uh, crit multi precision can be blinded. Attack speed. I mean, attack speed precision, right? Mm -hmm. Forty-three. And more crit strike chance doesn't even exist. Wait, what? It does, but it's sublime vision. Um. So I can go for 90. And flask charge is what, seven and a half? Seven and a half for a low roll, and then I have to slam a divine into it. However, I don't need this, so then that means this. 90 chaos for 40 crit multi. Can I get better crit multi on jewels? I'll buy it just so so I have it. Right? I'll if if he wants to sell, but I'm not sure. Take my shades. I would never take the 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 spell suppress lucky. Uh-uh. Never. Like, Spell Suppress Lucky works if you have, like, over 4,500 HP, maybe 5,000 HP, but it works. I would not I would have never taken. No. It's just... No. Chris Strike Multi with Cold. Multiplier with Fire. We are getting somewhere... Multiplier with lightning. No. Multiplier with elemental. Uh, 
This is better than the Watcher's Eye. 18 and 15 is 33. 43, 45, and 8% increased damage, right? Sixteen, thirty-one, forty-three. Forty-three for one divine, or ten, twenty, thirty, forty-five for three with eight percent increased damage. Hmm. I mean, I'll just spend one. Oh, no longer available. Damn it. Oh, we can do one point nine. This one, yeah. 15, 30, 43. Don't use that option, PB, with some waiting. Well, I am doing Elemental Hit of the Spectrum, OJ, currently. I did a build guide on... Uh, I did a build guide on... What's it called? Actually, no, wait. Uh, if, he, if he invites me. Uh, I'll just... Do I take it? Nah. Yeah, two. Uh, got return. Got return from two. The three div one is insanely good. Yep. Yeah. I go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's get the three div one. Because I'm going to use it, Sharko. Coming from Diablo, this game is very... This game is very, very different, right? Thank you. I'm gonna use that Paradoxica. I'm not going to... I'm not going to sell it. It's a waste to sell it. I don't need to sell it. Like, I don't need the currency. But I'm going to use it. Okay, so... You know what would be a big dick move? Crit multi... What do we have here? Um... 515, right? 515, click, 560. 45 crit multi. Here's a big dick move. Damn it. Damn it. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Well, nothing happened. So, OJ, I have, like, on my, on my YouTube, there is a whole guide series about PoE for beginners, right? For dummies that introduces everything in the game. I still have to make the complete beginner guides and whatnot, but you have everything else there. Nobody sold me Chayu. Uh, two, four, two, four, six, two, four, six, there you go. So you can, you can hop on and watch those, right? And that will basically shed some light over how the how the game is right and uh, you are probably going to going to enjoy it you'll probably learn a lot of new things keep in mind there are some build guides that i've personally made this is league 3.24 necropolis so if you find a build from earlier leagues they might not work especially from 3.23 but this is how this build works. By the way, that was cheaper than getting a Watcher's Eye, right? That was way cheaper than getting a Watcher's Eye. Zestula? No, didn't get Zestula. Never mind. I still forgot to do the stupid quality never mind I'll, I'll i'll remember maybe so this is one of the content you are going to find and experience later in the game right i don't know exactly where breach happens like i really don't know where where actually like this this mechanic happens in the game I think it starts in maps. Sure. This build is not that expensive to to like make, 
but to get it to this point, yes. For a new player, yes. Right? However, this is not the final form of the build, and this form of the build is a third, or a fifth, of the price. Nice. Third or the fifth of the price of the actual build that is done with like um, with like this set, right? With this skill. However, for cheap and cheap, way cheaper, I have a build guide that's uh, in the description of this stream as well on YouTube. Keep in mind, everyone's on Twitch, so they, they might get confused who I'm talking to, but I'm talking to a, a YouTube commenta commenter, guys. Um, YouTube chatter. And uh, the Blade Bow Gladiator works perfectly fine. And it's, it's cheaper, there's some satisfying bleed pops, but there are no visual effects like these, right? So you, you basically forego visual effects for uh, popping sound and satisfaction. So there's there's that too. If you if you'd like to to check it out, you can. However, as uh, you're coming from Diablo, Diablo is such a simple game that well you will have to read a lot of things to get used to Path of Exile stuff. Like, you will have to read a lot of things. Probably watch a lot of videos, but... It's not that difficult once you get into it. <laughs> Diablo for bad. <laughs> I mean, D4, D4 is not a game, man. D4 is, is not even a game. D4 is a meme. It's like... D4 is an actual meme, it's not even a game. That's the saddest part of it. And like, the worst part is, I really wanted that game to be good. And they just went on and disappointed like they did with World of Warcraft. Like, come on, man. How many times can you actually disappoint your audience? Blizzard, every time. Like, it's not that hard to make a freaking game when you have, like, all the competitors are there, you just needed to copy concepts, and that's it. And now that you've lost the player base, now nobody wants to play your shitty-ass game. That's the worst part. Is Prism Weave Belt good? Um, I don't know, I have to check. You have to, I don't know every item on top of the, on top of my mind. But while you're playing the campaign, everything's fine, right? Like, until you get to maps, everything's fine. Keep in mind, you need to have uh, your resistances capped at 75. Because uh, game is built around your resistances being capped at 75. And don't worry, resistances in this game work compared to, to Diablo, where they don't. I don't know if they still do, but... If they still don't, but... Yeah. Dude, imagine releasing a, an ARPG game with not w working resistances. Like, holy smokes, man. Your main mechanic, sort of. And you release the game without, like, oh my lord. No worries, Uncivil. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, like, you will lose damage for survivability, and I prefer that. That's also why I don't recommend... The spell suppression is lucky, which is uh, which I like to call cosmetic spell suppress because that's what it is. It's cosmetic spell suppress, and the stash tabs loaded by everyone. Oh my god! Imagine that coding. Like who? Apparently, nine thousand people worked on the game. I swear to God, there weren't nine thousand people. Here, wiki prism weave, prism weave belt, prism weave. Oh yeah, that's that's actually very good. Yeah, that, this is actually a very good belt for for leveling in the campaign while you are playing like an elemental bow, right? It's a very, very good build. Belt. You tried to cook with 9,000 people? Hey, dude, Honzai, come on! What did they cook? They made rotten food. Army cooks cook better food than those idiots down there at, at Blizzard End. Come on, let's be real. 
you can you can find better Indian street food than Blizzard games. Oof, that was low. <laughs> oh, now that I think about it, that was low as shit. Holy shit! But that's true, actually. Oof. <laughs> Sometimes the words just leave my mouth, and I don't even know what I said. The problem is not like losing direction. The problem is there wasn't any direction to begin with. That's the problem. Like it's not they they were losing direction. No 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 no. The problem is there wasn't any direction to begin with. Like you can have a company work with that many people if every section works on specific part but if a section meddles in another section that's when things become bad welcome to blizzard entertainment where section mi mixes with another section and then they somebody forgets uh, the the breast milk and that's basically it best mobility skill for a ranger would be whichever one you choose you can choose dash you can choose flame dash i currently use flame dash you can choose frost blink frost blink works as well you can choose Blink Arrow. Blink Arrow works as well, depending on your attack speed, right? So there are a lot of abilities that you can that you can use, but the best one depends on what you like to play with. Bad like Diablo 4 through. So as an example, I like to use uh, Flame Dash because Flame Dash is a teleport. It's not. Uh, it's not like a regular dash, it's not a, a movement skill like when you move, but it's like a blink. It's like a teleport, right? So that's why I like to use it, as it can help me skip some mechanics. But honestly, play with what, whichever and whatever comes to mind. Just explore the game. If it's your first league ever in Path of Exile, welcome officially once again. And uh, enjoy your stay. And be patient with learning things, and you have to read a lot, compared to Diablo where you don't have to read a single shitty thing. So you actually have to read a lot of things. That's the sad part of uh, of Path of Exile. You have to read. And at one point in time you'll need a loot filter, but that's a completely different story. I mean, I'm gonna take Zoff's Nurture, that's, that's fine. Oh, I still have to loot the right side and then go back. Jesus. So how many Chaos do I even put in, in every map? Let's say an average all flame is 3, so... 3, that's 6 all flames, that's 18, 18 and 6, 24. And uh, the scarabs are, let's say, six. So, on average, I put in, let's say, 30 chaos, right? 30 chaos a pop. I mean, 30 chaos a pop is not that bad, right? I'm earning way more than 30 chaos uh, a map. If we count in uh, bridge stones, splinters... Uh, like items, scarabs. Definitely there's good um, return. And the experience is actually insanely good as well. Did I loot stuff here? I did, that's good. Is that for bad AI songs? No, I'm I'm not interested. I'm I'm actually like no meme, I love Diablo as a as a series, right? As a concept, I love Diablo. But the problem that I have with Diablo is the only thing that's good in that game is the story. However, the story is not worth the money. If Diablo Four ever goes on sale for like fifteen bucks, I might actually get it, right? Because for 15 bucks, I can actually justify the purchase. Five. 
But for anything else, I cannot justify the purchase, right? Okay, sure, let's do this one. I can do uh, 21 to 28 and then boom. Oh no, wait, you can't. Ah, so if it has pack size here, you can't do this here. Okay, that's cool. 200% increased experience. I honestly like Diablo 3. That was my first ARPG, right? I mean, second. My first ARPG was Path of Exile. I did play Path of Exile before Diablo, right? So, there, there's that. But, um... Honestly... I was bored of Diablo 3 after the first few seasons, because they didn't innovate in the game at all. And I'm like, why am I even bothering, right? And then I skipped seasons, and then I came back, and then I skipped seasons, then I came back, then I skipped, then I came back. Right? On, off, on, off. And then at the end of the day, I realized, dude, this game looks like trash. Graphically, even. So it's not that, uh, oh, lul, game bad. No, it's just, oh, lul, game old. It looks, it looks bad, right? When you, when you actually zoom in the characters on Diablo 3, the characters look garbage. Like, garbage. And I never played Diablo... Um, what's it called? I never played Diablo 2 and 1. Never. I wanted to, but I was like, eh. Right. Who cares, right? Uh, boom, boom. Oh, and OJ, there are no best things for everything. There are extremely good things, but the more you invest into your build, the better it is. It's not like Diablo, you wait for a random drop. No, you collect all the shitty drops on the ground, you sell them on the marketplace, and then you buy yourself an item. That's basically what you do. Three. Dude, they did they, they fixed it, but them fixing it was not adding content. So like they did fixes, they did like some updates, right? But man, if your core game is shit, whoa, you have to redo your whole core game. No. What do you mean it's is it pretty decent? No, it's the same content. It's the same content you played in 2016. 17. Yes, there are some internal things that have changed, like, uh, as an example, uh, some loot things, yada yada, blah blah, right? But the core game is still the same. You finish your campaign, you enter rifts, and then you push rifts. And you do bounties, and you push rifts, and you do bounties, and you push rifts, and you do bounties. It's the same shit. Premium stuff or something. Um, I would recommend waiting for a sale. Like, I would recommend waiting for actual, um, like, wait until you know you are going to play this game a lot, right? So give the game, like, 20, 30 hours, and then if you decide, oh, I'm, I'm happy with how it is, I want to invest in this game, then... Uh, buy yourself some stash tabs and, and and anything else that you would might might like, right? But until until then, I wouldn't recommend uh, buying stuff in the store, just so that you could buy stuff in the store, right? Like just decide that you are going to play the game and then then buy it. And also every three weeks there are sales on stash tabs. <laughs> I know I'm like marketing my own channel like so much like i'm i'm like crazily marketing my own channel but i have guides for that too breach stone poggers man nice so i have guides for that too where i've actually explained which um uh which tabs you should buy first and what basically makes you save money 
Okay, 25 hours in. That's fine. That's fine, right? Like the the premium stash tabs do not cost uh, do not cost a lot. But it's like if you think you can you can spend, if you want to spend, do it. Sure, right? Enjoying it. That's awesome. That's great to hear. That's great to hear that you're enjoying your stay. Also, I'm sorry that YouTube chat is not shown on uh, screen. I had a few YouTube haters, well, technically one guy with multiple accounts, um, coming in, and because YouTube does not have a ban account option, YouTube has hide account from, from stream, but from channel, but it doesn't have the option to disable their messages in the channel. For some odd reason, the messages were still showing on screen. That's why YouTube chat is disabled on my streams. Such a shitty thing, right? Oh, <gasps> score horned scarab. Wow. I don't even know what that one was. That was a zing. Wow. Oh my god, 88 chaos. It's not even a divine. All monster packs in here are at least magic. Damn it. Oh, there's Shizu. <laughs> uh, Shizu never disappoints. Shizu is always there when when I get uh, a zing. Shizu is always there to, to tap me on the back and say kind words to me. Thank you, Shizu, for being very kind to me. Come on, Zestula, pop a stupid corpse. Oh, there we go. Extra, extra Zoff. I need more open maps. This is killing me, man. Wow, really? Jesus Christ. Uh, un moment, por favore. Still a zing, still a zing, indeed, still a zing. Who is Death the leader? Death holds no Gravisius, Fled, Guff. My bad, should have done Fled. And that's it, clean map. Oh, let's loot. Oof. Okay, dude. Oh, that was fun. So, what's the hole? The hole is uh, an 80 Chaos Scarab. No, actually, 0 0.7 is 100 Chaos Scarab. So, 100 Chaos Scarab. One full Breach Stone. Told you guys. Unique monsters and Scarabs. <laughs> Exit Diablo 4 leave game. <laughs> Dude, I really wanted Diablo 4 to succeed, but the moment I saw the price, I, I was still thinking about buying it, right? I would have most likely bought it. I had WoW Gold. Like, I still have a Battle.net currency on my account. I would have most likely bought it because I played WoW at that time. I like, holy shit, man. I'm so sad now. <laughs> Oh, that's a stupid problem, man. A stupid, shitty game. How can't you make a game good, man? Just steal ideas from others, man. It's not that hard to steal ideas. Just steal them. Make them your own. That's what Blizzard was, was the best for, right? Stealing ideas and making them their own. However, I gotta admit, I still do miss World of Warcraft. Wow, 20 chaos mids. Dude, I'm selling all the like cheap stuff. Can somebody buy something expensive, please? Like, can somebody please buy something expensive? Like, for the love of memes, please. So I don't have to leave the the map. 
for like every single 20k 20c sale i need to lower the item pricing as well like i need to to lower the items um yes ricky what do be you doing i need to call myself um, heavy heels heavy heels tv want to buy all bridge uh, what the uh, bridge um, what are they called all flames dude i kind of have a craving to do a boss man I honestly have a craving to do a boss. Do we do a boss? Do I die on Searing Exarch four times? I have a craving to do a boss, boys. And girls. Or do I do Maven? Oh, Polaric Invitation. Let's go. Is the ring still expensive? It is. What are you trying to do, Sriki? Endurance charge on hit, we don't want that. Monster life chain, poison. Okay, that's fine. Let's do a mini boss. I have I I'm craving to kill a boss, man. Like I'm bored. I'd like to buy your blight suit destiny leather list with that. Ah, that's why. I should be able to survive this. You should not. There we go. Damn it. Nothing. Nice reality fragment. Pog. Nah, got nothing. Okay. Got nothing, dude. Oh, no. No, I don't want to do an Uber boss. No. No, I, I really do not want to do an Uber boss. No, 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 no. What do you mean, dude? Do an Uber boss? You insane? No. Okay, Polaric Invitation. Let's do one more. How much are invitations? Nah, these are 30 cast now. Sure. 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 Let's do it again. Nice. I can outheal the solar storm. <laughs> I mean, I got nothing. I got this shit. Ah! Okay, let's go back. Eight here, eight here. Oh my god, I need to buy scarabs now. Ugh. Oh, I need to buy. I need to buy scarabs. Breach. Accompanied by a harb- I'm fucked. Oh, I'm fucked. Two, four, six. Oh, I'm fucked, man. Oh, they're all tool. Oh, I'm screwed. Oof. 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 And oof. I am... Screw. This is going to be a fun map, by the way. Incubators. Nobody reminded me. Why don't you guys remind me about incubators? Okay, is there any, like, a big-ass incubator? 8k. 29k. Geomancer. I only have two. Pog. Kling, kling, 
And now I can do eight of these. Okay, I want to sell some stuff, right? Frenzy of Onslaught, Mana Forged Arrows, Peacock. Almost vendor that. Oh. Flame Dash is fine. All good. 1920, 1920, all good, 90, 1920, that's all fine. Steel skin cast with damage taken, all good. Sniper's mar mark on hit. Oh my god, what is that copy pasta? Holy shit. Um What the hell is that copy pasta, man? Okay, so everything is ready. <sighs> Let's go. Kills. 285350. 285350. Okay? 285350. Are we ready? This is going to be ass, by the way. Chat GPT, which is better? D3 or 4. Ah, I need to I need to check that. Ultimately, choose between Diablo 3 and Diablo 4 depends on your preference for gameplay style. What's your chance for character customization? What's best action with the world? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Chat GPT shat on D4. Oh, that's not a good look. Oof. That's not a good look. Chat GPT was like, I choose violence. I gotta admit, I'm I'm slightly scared to to like enter this uh, area. Did I just see resistance modifiers are scarce? Three chaos sorbs flat. Uh, Chat GPT made Diablo. Yeah, if if Chat GPT made Diablo four, um, it would be a way better game. Heavy Uba Uba filter, overview, simulate, customize, shard, stacked currency, orb of binding, harbinger shard, chaos shard disabled. Like, F, F that one. I don't want to see Chaos Orbs anymore. Chaos Orb shards. What do you mean to make it like that? I don't want to see shards. Chaos Orb shards, man. Why would I want to see Chaos Orb shards? Just give me a reason. You know? That look dangerous. Dude, I haven't heard that song in like years. Just give me a reason to get my Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh. Who sees shit in this game, right? Like, who needs to see shit in this game? Like, nobody. Who cares about seeing shit in a game, right? Why would you why would you need visual clarity? Like, visual clarity is for noobs. Visual clarity is for noobs. Oh my god, there's even a legion. Oh lord, there's even a legion. Oh my god, no. 
Oh no, and there's a... And there's an essence. So there's a legion, there's an essence, there's... A big ass harbinger. Cool, nice. Okay, let's do one more load box. Let's go. Okay, cool. Why why wouldn't we? Cool. This is all good. Let's open this as well. Like why why while we are waiting? Like we can just open that. It's completely fine. All is gonna work well. Alice is clad. I am afraid for my life. What did I say? What did I say? To retrace the same steps. And just loot along the way. Oh, actually, I don't need to loot. I kind of should not have opened the, the stupid essence, right? Like, essences are the most dangerous monsters, man. Like, they are so stupid dangerous. It's not even real. Eldritch Chaos Orb. Let's go, dude. Don't have the time. Don't even have the time. Okay, Legion time next. Oh, of course there's a Soul Eater in Legion, because why wouldn't there be a Soul freaking Eater Legion? Fine, you're a glowing orange, I'll pick you up, Jesus. Maybe it was the time that I actually um, went to bed, right? This map is insane. <laughs> <laughs> and now a little bit of tower defense to, to chill and loot. Do, 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 do. It's, branching, it's branching, Exila. Look at this. Counter sniping. <laughs> Counter sniping, dude. Look at that. Look at those red, red dots. I'm shooting there. <laughs> I love returning projectiles. It's so silly. So stupid, man. Returning projectiles are so dumb. I love it. Just to shoot like away from enemies and like. Returning projectiles are just gonna do it all. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Ouch. Who has stupid... No, I'm afraid for my life. Any boss? No. Oh, yeah, right. I don't have a bridge boss. I swear to God. Okay, we still have the rest of the map to play. Oh, my God, no. I was imprisoned! Why, Ash? Ash, Ash of the Storm. Who is Ashtola? Boss? No boss. Sayage. Ash? Boss? No boss. Sayage. Okay, let's open another one. Whee! Okay, that's another Ash. Hi, Ash. How you doing? Doing good? Nice. Me too. Oh, another Ash! Pokers, dude! Awesome! I love it when they multiply. And that's a Harbinger. I didn't even realize that's a Harbinger. Oh, oops. <laughs> Dude, what is this map? 
Oh, this is from a comic book. This is legit from a comic book. I swear to God. A comic book. Oh, a clasped hand immediately there. Nice. Uh-oh. That is off. Well, that's bye-bye. Wee. This is so stupid fun. Oh, would you look at that? Zestula? No boss. Sage. No extras off. No extras off. And is that it? Oh no, there's more than 50 monsters. Oh my god, the whole corner. Zero. Oof. How many kills was that? That was 4,886 kills. That was fun. <laughs> okay, let's loot. 40 chaos. Oh. Honestly, this would have been... That gives me ideas. <laughs> Duh. This would have been... Way more fun with like a um, a duo partner like to play behind. There's a Batman to which global emote really. Oh, Dark Knight. Ah, interesting. Yeah, that's that's a global emote. Huh? Didn't even know. So. Oh, this is the belt. This is the belt -j, right? Like this is the belt -j that you would uh, that you would actually get on like physical builds and whatnot for for beginning. I'm saying what not a lot. Damn it. Beyond scarab of hemophilia. Like, didn't I get? Yeah, three of these. Wow, they're nothing. Ah, oh, because merging radius. Some of these scarabs are are like in dire need of like an adjustment, right? I gotta admit, I am getting tired. And I probably need to go today to pick up my ear moves. Oh, I need to wash the laundry. I didn't wash the laundry yet. Oh, I forgot again. Man. Why do I keep forgetting to do my laundry? <laughs> That's so stupid. I keep forgetting to do my stupid laundry, man. Really? Wow. Okay, let's go. I still have a lot to loot. Thirteen percent dexterity. Yeah. Wow, I missed two hands. Yes, double Ulnatal. Whoa, Ulnatal's gone. Horned Scarab of Tradition. Mucho Horny, Mucho Scarab. Okay. Zing somewhere. Zing somewhere. Oh, there you go, there's another one. That's another fuck you. 
Foreign Scarab of Bloodlines. Again, this one. I was excited. Now I'm horny. Oh, another zing. Wimp. If <laughs> you. Lily. Dude, this strat is amazing. This strategy is amazing. This actual strat is insanely good. I forgot. Did I do this? I didn't. <gasps> I didn't even do harvest. Oh, that's so solid. And I'm not done with monster killing then. Le 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 le. Being immune to fire on the ground is so good. Whoop. Oh shoot, I need to make the video today. Ooh, I should sleep then, if that's the case. Yeah, I think I should sleep. Okay. Yeah, I can do I can do one more map. Pardon, I will do one more map and then I can sleep. Do you guys want me to do a breach map or do you want me to do this regular map again? What would you what would you like me to do? Like for the last map of the stream, you can choose breach map or or um, this map. This type of map. A T17. I'm not doing a T17. I need to do something I'm not gonna die in. I'll do T17s once I'm stop once I stop leveling. This type. Ooh, okay. Any any more wishes? Breach um blight map or this map? Ah, okay, the scarab setup is, is really, really simple. You do... Oh shit, I need to buy scarabs. You do um, breach scarab, regular breach scarab. You do breach scarab that gives splinters, and you do breach lord. Pretty much the cheapest breach scarabs. Hello, honey. Okay, total monster kills in that map. Uh, I usually stream every day, OJ, at around 5... I start between 5 and 7 p.m. CEST. So I've been streaming for 9 and a half hours now. So I usually start between 5 and 7. The only... PM. The only exception to the rule is Friday when I do not stream. 5.9k monsters. Holy shit. Ah, do I have enough breach drinks to buy one more? Okay, so you regex your map, right? So you regex your map and you get whatever. Your scarabs are breach scarab. Two of these. Keep in mind, if they're like this, they won't work. They need to be separated. Bridge Scarab of Splintering and Bridge Scarab of Lordship. While I'm here. Hello. Thank you. To div. And I also stream on Twitch, OJ. That's my main main platform, right? 70. Breach Scarabs, thank you. Five slot optimize. Uh then you just don't do breach scarab. Then you just do do them like this, right? Then you just do What's it called? Then you just do one. One of these two. 
that's or you like that's it like it's it's nothing too too important Okay, so one divine for 220 of these. Holy shit. So nobody's playing these. Nobody's doing these. Wow. Huh. 220. Let's see, does he have the last one? That's a that's a that's a scarab bot, by the way. Yep, that's a scarab bot. No, no way he sold them. No, please. No, please, bot, please. No. <gasps> yes, good. Good bot. Add this friend. Edit note. Scarab bot. Ah. Ah. I love tr bot traders. Holy shit, I love them. I love bot traders, man. Oh my lord, I love them. Look at the amount of these. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, bot traders are my favorite. Um, where's Breach? Toop, 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 toop. So we fill this one in. We fill this one in, and we fill this one in. And now we get the map. Okay, and now do I have embers? Oh, for fuck's sakes. I mean, do I have enough tool? Oh, these are all tool. Oh, perfect. Okay. So here's my setup. Breach, Scarab, regular. Two of these. So you get plus four breaches. Breach, Scarab of Splintering. That gives you Breach... Uh, monsters in area drop 50% more breach splinters and breach scare before lordship breaches in area contain a breach lord You add the breach on the map Area contains two additional breaches. That's two for six breaches and Activate and on all of the packs you try to put the same thing So same uh, same monster right And those all of these monsters are going to get all these modifiers, right? So all of the monsters are getting all the modifiers because all the monsters are the same. That's apparently how it should work, right? I still have all flames. I'm not using any other all flames. I'm having fun with this. Okay, last map of the stream and uh, sure, fuck it. Let's let's try this. I should be able to demolish like them as well now. You're just confusing. Hey, new marble. <laughs> what is confusing? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you are new, you are more than welcome to ask questions. If you are not new, same thing applies, right? What kind of questions would you like answered? So what would be the confusing thing? I really want to level that gem. There you go, thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna get invaded. There we go. Whee! I literally don't even need to, to open a, a breach. I am sorry, I, my eyes are kind of busy. Okay, now I can rest. <laughs> crafting mix. I mean, crafting for crafting you have to be patient, right? Like for crafting you actually have to be patient.
And you have to like read and learn and like do craft of exile as well, so there is that too. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do in this game, right? However, you have to be patient with each and every one of these. I'm dead if that touches me. Ouch. F you on death effects. They're gonna activate because they don't leave. Um, you have to start with one system and not go on multiple systems, right? Help me. Uh, you have to choose a crafting system. Nothing else would be as helpful as choosing a crafting system. What crafting system do you want to learn? Like, choose one. Tell me one which interests you the most. Is it Harvest? Is it Delve? Is it uh, Graveyard? Is it something else? Is it regular rolling? Is it Fractured stuff? Okay, I don't want to play Delirium anymore. <sighs> okay, we, we got one Gumba card. There we go. We, we lost the Gumba card. Okay, let's play the map. I do need to pick something. If you are new, I recommend no crafting. Honestly. Like, if you are new to the game, I recommend no crafting. Because you need to learn what items are good, what items are bad, what can fit well, what cannot fit well. So, that's what you need to learn first. So, I would not recommend any crafting for a new player. Because crafting for a new player is agony. It's literally agony. You need to learn what items do, what items are going there, what, I, you know. Like, you got six months in the game, so I would not... Oh, you got six months in the game. There, you're not that new. 1k hours before you craft. Minimum 1k hours. So it's leveling. It's like, what? Um, so, when it comes to crafting... Wait, if that fled, I want you. Uh, so when it comes to crafting, you want... That's good. Um, you want to start with a specific method, right? You have to choose a method of crafting. Do you want to use regular crafting, regular currency crafting? Do you want to use uh, a specific method of crafting? And so on. It's insane amount of looting with bridge splinters. I can feel the carpal tunnel, right? Keep in mind, this is so much currency, by the way, just on the ground. They just, like, can't pick up until I'm done, right? Mini dopamine hits, yeah, mini dopamine hits. Every time it goes tuk 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 right? And then occasional zing! But keep in mind, this is beginner friendly what I'm doing. Finish Atlas. Nice, dude. Congrats. Welcome to the end game. We are more. Whew. Okay, next. Oh my god, incubator is done. Okay, this is not the greatest map for Breach, I gotta admit. Like, it took me a while to figure it out, but I am definitely not on 
the money with this map and bridge. Okay, now let me sorry, let me just continue the the, the talk from the uh, what's it called uh, from the, the the crafting perspective, right? Once you choose your method, you go to poedb.tw, and there you can see the mods. You can go to poedb. .tw or you can go to craftofexile.com those both websites will teach you sort of how to oh chayula chayula let's go dude hi chayula uh, those two websites will teach you what are weights what can roll more what can roll less and so on that's the next step now you have to learn the currency. You have to learn what modifiers can roll with what. Like, those things take time, right? Like, those are the things that actually take an insane amount of time to learn. And once you learn those, then you can go on the next step, which is how can I combine the two levels of... Um... I'm sorry, I'm thinking too much. How can I combine the two levels? Zero monsters remaining. <sighs> hey, mortal. So how can I combine the two different crafting methods? How many monsters was that? I did 6k. That's another 4k monsters. Oh, 4.5k monsters. Holy shit, man. <laughs> and then... Once you learn how to combine those two things, then you can learn how to combine three things, four things, five things, right? I cannot survive this. Let's go. Heavy, I cannot survive this. Heavy goes in. Heavy proceeds to one-shot mobs. Foggers. If one of them touches me, I'm dead, by the way. All Gucci. Wow, nothing. Cool. Oof. What I would love to do in the game is or both for someone and craft in the side of my own gear. Um... If you have a friend, this type of build that I'm playing is extremely good with an aura bot. Like, this type of, of uh, build is extremely good with an aura bot. Yes, because aura bots excel at boosting everything, right? So, I am playing an elemental build that does everything. Um, you can find a lot of aura bot guides on the on the internet actually like I, I'm not joking there are an insane amount of aura bot guides proper aura bot guides aura bot to set up costs like one divine or two divines right the problem is leveling an aura bot <laughs> that's a problem and then the more auras you put in the more it's going to cost Lady, are you a scion? Sure. Crit multi fire resistance. I did it. This toxic crane. Well, I mean, you can. I mean, if you are, if you are a scion, then uh, yeah, you're basically there. Slap a few mana reservation cluster jewels. You can make them yourself. If you don't have to, you can. And uh, GG will play me. Yes, that's why aura bots are very cheap to make, because most of people want to play the game actively. <sighs> oh, I'm done after this map. Holy smokes, man. <laughs> you guys have no idea. 
Oh my lord. Like, this earned so much currency. It's like shot currency. Like, this is insane. And yeah, you can't play Ourobot alone, right? Like, Ourobot uh, playing alone is like a death wish. <gasps> Immortal Mob, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Or actually continuing the gift sub. Thank you so much for subbing. Why didn't it go off? You're continuing the gift sub. Why didn't the alert go off? Dude, thank you so, so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Three months. Has it been three months? Holy shit. If it has been, oh my god, dude. Feels like yesterday. That's insane. Jesus. Full three. Sub for four. <gasps> Dude. Holy. That's a lot of months. Hey, I mean, you got a shield now. I need to rework those ones. There's a lot of work I want to do. It's just, I'm... I'm... Like, I'm just one guy doing this thing, right? And I'm loving what I'm doing. It's just... Well, I mean, you can see it, right? You can see basically everything that I'm doing. Like, I'm trying to, to help beginner players as much as possible. I love to play, like, fun stuff. I like to get the builds from one point to another. And, like, this is all this is all really fun to me. I love doing Breach. That's why I'm doing Breach. I'm, I'm not a fan of, like, looting. But here I am looting <laughs> no. I swear to god this all pays off I swear to god this all pays off oh this is hilarious man <laughs> oh this is so silly dude this is so freaking silly. And yeah, or a bot would just make this build a boom. But yeah, I mean, how much multi do I have now? I have 560 crit multi. That's actually very nice. 560 crit multi is very very nice. I mean, might get might get more, right? Oh shit, a, a, a raw six link. No wait, a corrupted six link. That's a trash six link. That's 20 fusings if I've ever seen one. But man, what kind of build do I do I make with Paradoxica? Do I go for Do I go for like Lacerate? Hmm, do I go for Lacerate with Paradoxica, man? Like I have no idea what to do with this shit. He quits. Yes, of course. Like if he if he quits, that's that's a problem, right? Thankfully, making an um, an archer that's elemental based is not expensive at all. Okay, do I have enough? Let's see, do I have enough of these? Are we gonna hit the jackpot today? There you go, enough. Okay. Kowalski, analysis. I don't know, chief. Maybe shit. Maybe good. Physical damage reduction while stationary. <sighs> Sadly, this is a good chest.
like if you if you went with like this and you went with this like sadly this is a good chest like Yeah, let's put it for one. Okay, I don't have that many rings anymore, right? No, that's not enough. Okay, so here's one thing that I need to do. All the items are getting half-priced. All the items that I own that are on sale are getting half-priced. Slash demolished. If they are 10 chaos. Now we take the ones that are 20 and we put them for 10. So this is the part of the day where I basically just uh, take everything and I um, half it. And that's how I sell stuff. 50 goes to be 20. That's gonna instantly sell, by the way. Yeah, that's that's basically what you do. I don't even remember this. Fifty becomes twenty. Um eighty-six elder. P O E D B. Okay, modifiers. Jewelry ring. Ring Elder. Herald of Ash, trash, global crit multi, trash, sad. Oh, good, good night lemonade, that's completely fine, let's see, videos to watch. What the oh my god, what the hell is this? <laughs> Dude, I want those health bars, man. Dude, I want those health bars. By the way, console gaming. Console Path of Exile. Yeah. Uh, I can share the POB, Ray. I can share the POB. I can make it and I can share it. Give me just a sec. Let me just uh, down price these, okay? Slave drivers. Well, you get him for fifty. Now this stays two. Hmm. No, 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 no. This is cursed. Okay, three goes to two, five goes to two. Yeah, 80 chaos, 40 chaos. Six goes to three, six goes to three, six goes to three. Ten goes to five, three. These are very good gloves, by the way. Three go to two. Three goes to one and a half. Six goes to three. Five goes to three. And seven. That's mine, goes to five. This one I posted today. And they can go for eight. Who cares? They're not both. Wait, my Discord command is not working. What the hell? It is. Is it? Did it pop? 
It did, right? Oh my god, it didn't pop on my on my on my thing. Okay, anyways, um, let's do path of building. I misspelled it. Oh, <laughs> Lamar, that's okay. Okay, so let me uh, 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 three twenty four experimental Elekito spectrum Elekito spectrum. This is mine. Now we new. We import export. We we do this. By the way, you can always import my characters. My name is Heavy Heels in game, so my pub my profile is public, so you can always import my characters. Like, don't don't you worry about it. I don't hide them, right? Okay, Ella hit of the spectrum. This one is uh, single. This one is AOE. Frenzy of Onslaught, Mana Forged Peacock, Flame Dash, Skitterbots Anger, Valgrace, Enlighten, Steel Skin, Castle Damage Taken, and Sniper's Mark, Mark on Hit. Right. Save. There we go. Config. We use Solaris, Aberrath, Lowest Resonance 50. Uh, time scale is pierced. I don't know. Travel distance is like 50 usually, right? Uh, is the enemy chilled? Is the enemy shocked? Tree this, because that's always missing. Yeah, no worries, right? Um, brittle, scorched, sapped, intimidated. I don't think I have covered in ash, to be honest. Not in ash, not in frost. Um... Guardian Pinnacle Boss. Use Power Charges, use Frenzy Charges. Uh, Gale Force is uh, 10, so that's 10 Gale Force. Inspiration Charges, that's 5. Um, onslaught, yes, there's always Onslaught on. Arc Insurgent, no. 45 Tailwind, yes, like I always have Tailwind. Adrenaline, no. Flask active, no. Burning ground, chill. Number of enemies have I killed recently? Technically, yes. Have I been hit recently? Technically, no. Uh, items, I never activate my uh, my flasks because I think they are just... Uh, my, my I think my flasks are just like bloating. Let's see, we need the League Starter build. I think you have 70. Uh, you can do my... Um, you can do my Bleedbow Gladiator. How do you find the effect of shock amount? I mean... Uh, here's here's how it works, right? Skills. I put them as base. Um, Skitterbots minions have 19% increased chill effect, shock effect, right? Um, here it is. Right. That glad guide up is the actual bleedbow gladiator. Now, when you get that one, you will get my full gear. And in the description, I have shared the League Starter. League Starter is what you should follow for the thing. Don't worry. It's all in the description. Okay, import, export, generate, share, copy. Here you go. How much damage do we even do? 5 million per arrow. And I fire, what, 5? How many arrows do I fire? Three, three, two, two, seven. Oh, shit, wait, my singles don't have... Oh my god, it didn't count the quality. No, wait. Don't save. No, no, no. Ella hit import. Oh my god, there we go. 5.2, that's AoE. Single does 9.3 million. There we go. Holy shit. Yeah, single does 9.3 million. There we go. Jesus Christ, that scared the living shit out of me. 9.3 million, that's what we do. I was like, 5 million? And then, like, no quality, no nothing. And this was just from the changing of clusters. And some points on the tree, right? From... I mean, I did add... I did add uh, this jewel. So without this jewel, it's like 8.5, right? But 9 million, 9 million DPS, that's not bad. Uh, I don't know if it counts, uh, if it counts mark on hit. 
of course it it never counts this shit why is this invalid I swear to god secrets of suffering doesn't work like I swear to god that doesn't work look at that it counts it here but it doesn't whatever um I don't know what's the the effect of, of like sap and whatnot but yeah 9 million not bad it'll be what 2.7 million on the pinnacle that's not bad yeah and my crit is 6977 how much would it be with these flasks 81% crit damn it well still need more crit um, however I need to like remove tamings um, I lose 6% hit DPS 6% combined DPS when I when I remove tamings right so I need to figure out what to change them with I mean Honestly, I will still play with this build, right? I'll probably like recraft the helmet. Awesome. Um, by the way, watch the um, beginner friendly as well, and watch the the actual league starter, and watch the 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 other one. So, yes, the the pub and everything it's it's completely it's completely fine, and if you follow it, you should not have any. Troubles. Oh fuck the graveyard, man. Oh yeah. I'm literally going to to start putting things in the in the in the thing. Yeah. Do we have anything like fracture? No, nothing important. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Keep in mind, quad tab, mini graveyard, quad tab, quad tab, mini graveyard, mini graveyard, mini graveyard, mini graveyard. I'm just gonna take him out of harvest, right? Dude, I was so frustrated at the start of the stream when I started crafting. Holy shit, I was so frustrated. There's challenges, challenges, challenges. Like, I can fill in the graveyards, right? Oh, that's annoying. I've blighted rings. I need to sift through these and I need to use. And I need to use. Where are they? They'll blight, blight these. I need to use these. Oh my god, these are like 15 chaos each. Jesus hell. So I need to use these to extract oils. And I have to do, like, look at the amount of blighted maps. Dude, I might just cave in and buy Dying Sun. Isn't Dying Sun from, from Elder? Nice. I don't even have Elder invitation. Yeah, isn't Dying Sun a drop from Elder? From Shaper. Oh, yeah, right. Shaper. And is it from normal shaper or uber shaper? Very big fat body woman. <laughs> it's normal again. Okay. God, dude, that's hilarious. That name is hilarious. Jesus. Oh, my PoE players, man. PoE players, dude. Crazy, right? Okay, we got Alvas to do. I gotta, like... Oh, wait, one last Gamba. Ugh. Oh shit, we have two more. And I can I can gamba these, poggers. Okay, so we can gamba these. Black Sun Crest. We need to get a good one. 
6, 10, 12, sad. And then we sell, boom, boom, boom. 2, 2, 2, 7, reducing, oh my god. Oh, you're making me mad. Gamba, gamba, gamba. Wait. Overall, I really like this uh, this new thing, this new mechanic. I like uh, with with embers, it has been really fun. Like we've done we've done a lot of lot of good shit, right? Um, when it comes to everything else. I mean, to be honest, everything else has been has been fun as well, right? So there are a few things that I need to do. Um, I mean, I need to level gems, right? I need to like add quality wherever is is uh, is next. And uh, once once that's added, we need to we need to work on other shit. Do we need to apply incubators again? No, I don't. 20 Valorbs, nice, almost. Um, yeah, I need to apply incubators again. Okay, primal incubator is tube and tube. Like, no. There you go. So, add quality, then I need to start leveling my other, like, my other Spectrum Gems, because I bought two extra Spectrum Gems. Oh, Sniper's Mark. That needs quality, right? Increase damage from projectile hits. That definitely needs quality. That's five more damage. Five percent more damage. Hello. Um, yeah. Then... I mean, I'll just continue. I'll just continue playing, playing those things. So we we gotta buy we gotta buy more more embers uh, of these. So I'm going to basically spend I don't know four or five six divines just to buy like two hundred of these embers. Then look at how many we have. Like each one of these is uh, like let's say twenty chaos, like eighteen, like whatever, twenty, twenty, twenty. 35 and 40 that's four for one divine so that's two divines that's that's one divine that's three divines this is nine so that's three five divines now ah, the same shit five divines seven divines eight and a half divines here just in these like eight and a half divines just in these. And I've spent maybe three or four. So there's a good return. Scarabs, I don't even want to look how 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 worth my scarabs are. Like Oh, PE bulk tool. Too bad excellence doesn't work anymore. Excellence was was way better. So fragments, scarab. I have 30 divines worth of scarabs. <laughs> right. 30 divines worth of scarabs. Mad, right? And um do you wanna wanna see the, the other things? <laughs> I don't even get these, but or I do them. But yeah, I mean the next upgrade I could do is I could get awakened elemental damage, but that's expensive as shit. And I'm actually thinking instead of putting elemental damage here to actually put uh, a mirage archer. So that's uh, that's a problem as well. The problem is if I want to color this shit, it's 30 chaos per attempt. Or coloring this like literally 30 chaos per attempt to get like three up to three and then whatever is the random one so one random one needs to hit like a red or blue so we need to color that that's going to be a bitch but yeah anyways um, I'm off for tonight folks I want to thank you for stopping by you guys are awesome thanks for keeping me company 
it has been great 10 hour stream again so we continue tomorrow well technically today i will see if i go uh, to the music store today and uh, yeah then what is what is today today is monday yeah thank you guys for for stopping by you you, you guys are, are awesome if i go to the music store and everything else uh, we'll see when when that happens but uh, the stream should be in around 12 hours yeah no worries thank you once again so much for stopping by have a good one and i will see you tomorrow i will probably do the video on graveyard crafting in the morning when i wake up so have a good one see you then